got this one life Just got this one life I'm let to think that it would go on forever But I've got just one try Yeah, I've got this one try I remember when we were kids You lost your parents, I heard the hymns I swore that day that I would love you forever If those were my last words If those were my last words I might never be Submarine. I might never be an actress on a giant silver screen But my heart will make a house standing anywhere you'll be And my love will hold the diamond shining far as you can see Oh, when we grow old, we grow old with me Oh, when we grow old This one light, one light that shines all my life. Just, Just like a rose blooming out from this desert, oh, I saw these two eyes. Yeah, I saw your two eyes. I might never be a singer who's been knighted by the queen. I might never be a model in a fashion magazine. Put up with changes Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light I wanna be weightless Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see her face where
so sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town. I've heard of this place where people forget and you get another try. Everything we got, give it an honest shot, turning it on and off, we've been sliding, riding the highest dream, keeping the fire real, I call for you, hold your gun, cut the wire, aim for fun, with the light to fire, I've been flying up the ceiling, take it by this feeling, baby we're invisible, fast, feeling 
Chateau. It's Saturday. I'm moving freely. And coming up today on Building a Nation with Treaty United, I've made a couple of little signings off camera. One of them is even a real player. We have the Champions League qualifying stages. We go in a round earlier this year because we are mudded. Other Irish sides are in action, of course, on top of that. And many more things that will hopefully be entertaining and inspiring will happen today on Building a Nation with Treaty United. Oh, yes. We move. We move. It's happened. Ah, oh, good times, my friends. <laughs> Nailed it. Didn't freeze to or nothing, lads. It's great. Mithro, thank you so much for the seven months. How's it going, my friend? Oh, he's done it. He's... See, this is what I needed. I needed a run-up. A couple of little cheeky shit intros, and then I nailed it one. Oh, maybe it's weekends. I can only do it on Saturdays. It's just, just my vibe, my friends. Right, we just turn that music down a little bit. How's it going? I hope you're having a great day. Pog with the gifted sub to Inferno. That is very kind of you. One second, actually, before I even think about getting into anything else. Uh, SDR Harold, thank you so much for the 17 months. JPEX, thank you for the one, two, three, six gifted subs. Pog, thank you for the two gifted as well on top of that. And Mike Chunks, thank you so much for the follow. What happened to Ireland? Well, we got a bit mudded. Um, technically, we actually only lost one spot. Which is fucking tasty. So we actually haven't... Nothing's really changed on the coefficient charts. We actually get the same as we did. However, this year, things could get a little bit fancy. Because obviously we're losing the uh, Europa Com the Europa League final year. Is what's happening. Have you seen that? <laughs> to Coruscant? Hello, Match no, Treaty United. Better win the Champions League to make my disaster trip to a or sit. Uh, okay. First things first. Just ignoring the first part of that message entirely. 10-hour trip to A&E. I hope you're okay, Christian. Um, what happened? Are you all right? Obviously, you don't have to tell us, but as long as you're all right. Jack, with the 200 bits. Thank you very much, my friend. Oh, drinking a purple drink and eating a sausage roll. What is your purple drink, Toffee Yogi? Is it the same one as mine? Because if so, then Pog. Oh. So, where do I even begin? It's weird because I've not even really done that much off stream in terms of like progressing through time, but it feels like it because I've done it over the couple of Rabina. Rabina is solid. I even have Vimto flavored vape today. I'm going full purple. It's good times. So what do I even catch you up on? Okay, first things first. I made a couple of signings. Secondly, I made a slight change to the tactic and I think I figured something out. <laughs> he says for the seventh time this season. <laughs> and secondly, of course, thirdly, Irish sides as well. Um, it's relatively good news with a tint of bad. Much like last year, but in not in the Almost way you expect. To oh, a Twitch bab, I'm thinking either Pog 2.0 or stupid little computer man. Okay. I'm enjoying the stream always. Biggest of love to Mato, Chato and Pog. Up the body, up the treaty and a shout out to the Harold Bishop Ultra. Up the Harold Bishop Ultra's treat. Treat? <laughs> Leaf, thank you very much, friend, for the eight months. That's awesome. As the own juice. <laughs> well, it's not even got a flavor. It's just as the flavored. Vimto vape. Yeah. No, don't start if you don't already. It's like as a smoking tool to stop smoking, it's great. But I would never advise anyone to do it if they don't already smoke. Um, but it's called Fizzy V, which is basically Vimto flavored. It's kind of good, actually. Oh. Didn't blame it on my mental health. Well, there you go. It, it, hopefully that's a good thing, right? <laughs> I'm hoping that's a good thing. <laughs> Obviously, safeguarding is important. Oh, my goodness, mate. Right. So I guess the first thing we'll do. Who is tree? Tree T, Leaf. Besides, there are leaves on trees. See how I'm trying to dig myself out of this hole leaf. <laughs> Give me a break. Um, yes, so, transfers in. I made a couple. One of them is going to stand out immediately to you, but you'll save him in a minute. So, Marco Vukotic. That guy we looked at a few times has now joined us. Oh, yeah, you already know about him because you signed him when we, were, we signed him when we were on stream. Oh, our, value, our players' values have bumped back up again. I don't know why. I have no clue why. They all of a sudden have gone through the roof again. Even though we lost a place in the coefficient and our league has remained in the same spot. I, I don't understand. But I do think, though, that we've now got access to more players to sign. I'm noticing less and less NA on our scout reports, but we will see. It's certainly a good sign. But yeah, Marko Vukotic is in and is out on loan. I've got a lot more loanies out as well. It's perfect. Uh, next one is a weird one. I, I signed Ahmad Diallo from Manchester City. <laughs> because we could get him for 120 grand. Or was it 160 grand? And I thought for 160 grand, I know he's 34 years old, but... The natural fitness is so high that he's actually kind of still pretty poggy. Yeah, from City. I was not really the sort of signing I'd normally make, but I actually think for the price, he's really good. Got him on a three-year deal. Well, yeah, three-year deal. I wanted two, but he wanted three. And I thought, you know what? He's going to retire when he's like 36 anyway, I suspect. But I figured that he'd do a decent job. The main reason I wanted him as well is because I'm try I'm thinking about trying something out where he can actually play in the center of midfield. But you'll see what that... How did he put City? Good question. Um... 
Well, so United for ages, went to Milan, 25 mil, then to City for 35 mil, and then to Treaty United for 165,000 pounds. Yeah, I know the wage is a bit high. Uh, he's not actually our highest paid player, not even close as it goes, but at that kind of age, you have to pay. But for 165 grand, it's kind of like... Uh, because he was so... Yeah, he barely even played for City. Because he was so cheap in that, it felt like I could offset his finances a little bit. One of these fees is not like, I know, Treaty have done good there. We've actually done a goodie. You'd love to see it. AGF, right, let me just quickly check that. Um, we'll get a team report while we're here. Although I might have already done that, actually. No, I haven't. Okay, so best thing I can do is get you a team report on them. Now, I've got some other team reports coming through, but what we'll do is we'll do like a, a double one, so we get the under-19s as well. But we know nothing about their best player in terms of value-wise is this guy, Stefan Boyson. So that much I can tell you. Money will do. I have not. Boyson, he's actually not bad. He's not great, obviously. He's a lot of money as well, considering. Do you want to trust in the mentor? Well, precisely. Um, so, particularly as I've gone and changed the tactics again, because I've had an idea. I, I came up with this while I was thinking about it during my Chomsa video yesterday. And I think that two CMs on attack... I think, basically, most of the time, against weaker opposition, generally speaking, having a ball in midfielder is kind of a waste in our tactic. And I've tested it in two games where we had double CA. Uh, sorry, double CMA instead and we won 7-0 and 5-0 <laughs> needless to say it looks quite good however against bigger sides we would probably have to have a dm sat behind them instead of the trek up front that's my plan anyway but i want to give it a test today because uh, we've got some qualifiers and the first one is against uh it is yeah i, I think basically and also i've had another thought this is a bit of a weird one i've had a thought as to why the one-on-ones are being missed and this is no longer a case of oh uh, duh. i've had some th theories about it I think what, because I've actually looked at the XG of certain chances, both scored and missed. And I've noticed that the ones that are missed seem to have a lower XG value than the ones that are scored, generally speaking, even though they look like they're the same. And I wonder if it's actually something that's going on under the hood when it's selecting what animations and highlights to show. And I think maybe certain highlights are maybe look in 3D or 2D potentially as well, like they'd be more likely to score than they actually are under the hood. And I suspect that what's actually happening is it's selecting highlights that maybe it shouldn't be showing you in that particular style. So it's not actually that the chance is very good. It's just that you're seeing it a bit weird. So I suspect that's what it is. So it's not about creating low quality chances. You actually have to create higher quality chances. And I think this is what this tactic does. And that might be why CMAs are so overpowered. Because they, um, they make those runs. And I think they count as higher quality chances because that's what it's thinking it's creating. And that's why I think CMAs are so powerful. But we'll see. It's just the theory I've had. But it's, it's interesting, needless to say. So I think we're going to try a double of them. But against bigger sides in Europe, I'll have a DM instead of the AM. That's my play. That way they've got a bit of defensive cover. Oh, dear. No, I haven't, Pauls. I haven't seen any of this. I don't really watch much FM content, really, beyond barely watch my own stuff. Ooh. That's not true, actually. I did watch my last FM video because I was just like, I enjoyed that. Let's have a nice time. Ah, Midgeland, yes. Uh, so, yeah, that's just my theory on it. But I'm going to be testing it today just with... Well, we're going to try out the tactic. Um, right. Let's go to Denmark and let's go to Midland. I think I already have a report on Midland, actually. So they re these reports disappear extremely quickly, uh, in case you're wondering. It's literally less than a month. Once you get that report through, they'll be gone. But I'll get another one anyway, because why the hell not? Double Regista. That's a dream. I like a Regista. I like a Libero. Plagiarize my content. Bastard. I'll have to have a word. He looks just like me. I'm... My money... Not my money's on Tom, but my support is on Tom tonight. I feel like kindred spirits with with thomas fm tonight and i want him to do really well plus i like tom he's nice <laughs> that also do hey yes i hope everybody's well today so yeah what was i coming back to uh right yes so signings obviously diallo which is mad jokes uh we've got i don't know why i'm pressing back when i could just there we go in addition most of these guys are just like loan farm guys but they were cheap so i turned up santiago ortiz for what was it, a hundred and something thousand pounds or something? Needless to say, he's out on loan at Sligo Rovers straight away. Good shit, lovely news. He's all right for cheap. Can't go wrong with a signing like that. Um, we also got this guy, who's a goalkeeper. I know. Imagine, uh, DJ Mikulic. He's on loan at Scamrock Rovers. He's not fantastic, but he had high potential. So I figured again for the price, bring him in, loan him out. Standard, you know. His name is too many letters. <laughs> Carol Ford. Nah, she'd run out of letters, mate. Not got enough of them. Ticket price rises so damn slow. Yeah, I bet. I can't. I don't know what ours are like, but I can't rem I don't imagine they're being great. The method. Uh, how do you mean, Emu? I think the method is just. Well, you don't have to do it from here, but you can. Right click, team report, bam. Um, and then you just do it from there. You only get one a day, though. Uh, it's changed a little bit because I think something's a bit buggy underneath, but. 
There you go, Leon King. Oh, the Leon King. That's great. So there's Mikulic as well. We've also got... The one I'm more happy about, actually, is this guy. Militin Gluc Glucevic from Radnitsky. Really solid-ish looking right-sided player. Back, right back. Not the best tackling, admittedly. But, again, 18, homegrown, standard sort of stuff. I thought he was a decent deal. I mean, look at his value immediately upon joining us. He was £300,000. You just can't say no to players like that, can you, really? Um... Most of the time I would leave them, but a couple of scout reports came through and they were like, oh, it's a B plus. And I was like, mm -hmm. I'm probably not going to let this guy slip. Plus a couple of them would have been, uh, if I let them any longer, they might have turned 19. And the last one is the one I'm actually a bit more pleased with. He did cost us more money. So it's 2.7, but the 4.5 is in things like the 50 cat appearances. This is Davar Jov Jovetic. I like him a lot. I think he is potentially extremely good. And again, 18 Serbian Home we signed loads of Serbs and Croats up. There was just a whole batch of them came through from one of those team reports. I mean, I think he's extremely good for his age. Imagine if we had a player who came through our youth academy that looked like this. Likes the lob keeper as well. And I think long term, he could be the sort of backup Trek to Mihai Alaku because he's got that kind of Trekkie vibe. He could even finish and dribble. Obviously, we can't see fully there and you can't select. Oh, no, I can. I always forget you can do this. I want to show midfield... Oh, of course, it counts as an attacking role, even though you can use it as a midfielder, can't you? I think as a Trek, he'd actually be really solid in the future. Get that finishing up a tiny little bit, but I think that gives Alaku a bit of momentum and a bit of quality in there. So, yeah, really happy with him. And for, you know, for 2.7 mil up front, I think he's excellent. Now, as for Loney's out, uh, which is often being hidden by my face cam there. Uh, no, we can't, sadly, Rob. Uh, that said, our training facilities are nearly maxed out. But I've, I've tried to ask the board again, and they still ain't having it. But we're getting there. Like, in terms of actual facilities-wise, our training is now superb. So we're only, I think, one away from the highest bracket on training. The youth facility is definitely improving. Uh, we apparently move into the new stadium next month. But it's going to get pushed back again, I suspect, because it has been twice already. Uh, now, Loney's out as well. I got a load more guys out on loan. So who did we get? I don't know if you saw... These would have been the last ones you see. So I got Halalai back out to St. Pat's. Uh, Shablo's gone to Dinamo Zagreb permanently because he wasn't going to play for us anymore. Ortiz has gone out. Uh, Tosetsi's gone to Cork City. I sold Chavera back to Independiente Medellin because, again, he was old and he wasn't playing. Uh, we got Vukatic out on loan. I sent Vostarek on loan to Benfica. I wouldn't normally do this, but they offered us quite a bit of money, as you can see. And there's no fees or anything on top of that. My plan was basically, we can't seem to get into another Irish side. If I'm going to be back to the one-striker system again... He's not going to get game time. I want him having game time at Benfica. So if they're going to give me 700 grand for the year, you know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Um, he's already countless homegrown now anyway, so we haven't got anything to worry about with that. Uh, Mikovic has gone to Scamrock. Uh, Malta Stefansson, that guy that was on the next gen that was playing in Armenia. He's better than we thought, by the way. And he's now gone to Dundalk on loan. Look at his value. 8.4 million this guy's worth, allegedly. Uh, on top of that, we also got uh, a youngster gone out on loan. Fernie Lozano finally got a loan. Dundalk took Fernie on loan. They're really smacking their squad together. It's great. And there's one more, I think. And it's quite a good one, if I recall. Oh, no, it's Darren Brown. Darren Brown's gone to Bray on a free. Never saw it coming. <laughs> league ranking at the moment is 14th. Well, actually, where are the league? Oh, no. Oh, okay, the league is... Oh, yeah. So there we go. We're now above Denmark in terms of the league rankings as well, which is really important because I think this is actually more to do with what gets players to sign for your league. And I think if we can keep pushing this up a little bit more, we'll be in really good shape. So up to 14th on that one. Coefficient-wise, though, it's also 14th, as you'll see. The problem we've got, though, is this. This is the big problem. We're losing a 10-point season. And... Oh, look at that. Switzerland, Denmark, Czech Republic, Serbia, all go above us this season. Now, obviously, that's preliminary. That can all change. But it's... Uh, it's a tough year. This is going to need... We're going to lose coefficient this year. I think there's no way we get a 10-point season this year unless we do a mad one, which we could still do. And other Irish sites. Right. Speaking of the other Irish sites, the final part of our catch-up project is the other Irish teams. I'm happy and also a little bit disappointed at the same time. You'll see what I mean. So, by the way, we're playing against FK Sarajevo, in case you're wondering. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? League path. So you'll see that Dundalk are playing Pauk. Uh, problem was... Dundalk got drawn against CSKA Sofia in their first round. And I actually kind of wanted Dundalk to lose. Because if they lost and then won, they could have got into the group stage of the Conference League. And I think they'd do better there. But by qualifying through this round, they then can't drop into the Conference League. They can only drop into the group stages of the Europa League. Which is good for money, 
but I don't think it's going to be great for coefficient. But unfortunately, when I saw that they draw against CSK or Sofia, I was like, I think they'll probably win that. As it happens, they did actually lose one of the legs, but then hammered them 3-0 in Bulgaria. So not a lot we can really do about that. It's just what it is. But that said, I think they might have a chance against Pauk. I wouldn't be surprised if Dundalk actually reached the playoff round. And that is pretty bloody ridiculous. And good for coefficient as well. So I'll take that. Should you go back and look at the next genders? Uh, no, because when I, when I say more people, it's a completely like apocryphal in the sense that I felt like I was seeing less NA. It's still not like it is with Tromsa. Like with Tromsa, basically no players have NA on them. The only reason that they'd have an NA on the Tromsa ones are if they're under a certain age and can't leave the country or if they have just signed a new contract. There's still something blocking things with Treaty, and I don't know what it is. Hopefully one day it'll disappear, because I think that's been our biggest problem. Yeah, they got a very good draw. And if I recall, their playoff draw, if you like, isn't even that bad either. Yeah, so they play Braga or Besiktas, which, you know what? They lost to Besiktas last year in the Conference League, but I feel like they could actually maybe sneak through there. If they get past Pauk, I think Dundalk have a decent shot at actually getting to the group stage of the Champions League with us. <laughs> I don't think they will. But even if they don't, I think they could have an okay time in the group stages of the, uh, the other one. Competent in helping build a nation. It's the loans. We've got 28 players out on loan now. So, as for Bose, it's a bit more straightforward. So, because with Bose... So, we didn't get the buy this year. I don't know why we didn't, but we didn't. But Bose did. So, yeah. They're straight in. They're playing against... <laughs> Would you believe it? They're playing against AGF, who we looked at earlier. That's going to be tough. So, and that's actually fine, because if Bows go out there, group stage of the Conference League. Bish, bash, bosh. Easy, mate. So, I think at the very least, this season... Well, actually, not even. I think at the very least, this season, we're going to have one side in uh, probably all three competitions, which is pretty sick, honestly. Bissonlander! Thank you for the nine months. Oh, that's how you have to do it, Danaf. It's the only way to really build it. Got such a bad cold. Oh, that's terrible. That's not good. As long as it's not you-know-what, I suppose. You're all right, I guess. Concede a goal right after scoring. No, me neither. I've never seen anything like it. Definitely wouldn't happen to me. Not this guy. Oh, no. That was mad. That Rosenborg game was mental. I had a great time with it, to be fair. That's the best case scenario, Pilts. Yeah, best case scenario is getting our groups, getting the Champions League groups, which I think we will do, because we're either we're going to play FK Sarajevo, then probably Malma, which is, I would say, fairly straightforward, usually. Hello, Pogs. That is some top quality froth there, love. Lovely stuff. Look at it. Look at that froth. Ooh, lovely frothy. I've got coffee in Mm. You're getting better and better at these. My little barista. The barista regista. Spraying long balls full of coffee. She, she, I've lost her. I've lost her now. I've gone too far, chat. Mm. But yeah, best. She is am professional. You're right. I'm really proud of that. It's very good. It is. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, dear. Big froth em. <laughs> I like, I like it. I, I love your work. <laughs> that is solid. Good work. Very good. Oh, dear. So, yeah. Best case scenario. Champions League group stages. Get nine or ten points, but somehow come third. We get, like, a really shitty fourth. We haven't had a really... E the problem we've had in the last few years is there hasn't been a really shit pot four side in our group for ages. That's been our biggest issue. Then, we have the others do stuff. So, yes, there are still sides in the Conference League as well, but I think our chances there are a bit slimmer. Uh, so, you'll see why in a sec. St. Pat's playing Aberdeen. And who's the other one? Drohida. Drohida are playing Siska. Drohida are in the. I, they were good for a bit last year, but they're not. They're struggling mad bad. A grinder in a machine with a. You joke, but she'd love that Holbrook. Like, she'd be well on board with that. And I'd be on board with that too, eh? Mm. So, all in all, it looks pretty good for us, I'd say, at this point. Provided we do our part. Now, one thing I'll show you about the tactical thing I was talking about. Basically, I noticed that the two striker thing wasn't actually working that well for the most part. And I think that we're way more balanced if we do this. So the idea basically is it's the original tactic we used to play with the Trek thing. But instead of a ball in midfielder, it's a second CM on attack. Now, the only other change I've made is I moved the other inside forward to a supporting role just to give us a tiny bit of support. And it does seem to work quite nicely. One thing I've also noticed in the two games, admittedly small sample size, that I've played this style is that inside forwards that behave a bit like wingers seem to work really well, i.e. with the wrong foot. So an inside forward on the right using his right foot. It's... Falconhorse has been unbelievable lately. 
He's got 11 assists this season. But if I recall, the last game he played, he got a goal and an assist in that one and looked sensational in that position. Obviously, he didn't play. Uh, or he did. He only played a little bit in this one. But I think that works really well. But we'll see. So we're going to give this a crack today. Now, I think it gets bigger sides in Europe. We'd need to drop the T. We'd have to drop the Trek in here, either as a deep line playmaker or as a halfback or something like that, just to sort of sit. No defense, just vibes. Yeah, but against smaller, weaker sides, you can get away with it. Against bigger sides, no chance. Um, so unfortunately, I'm... Um, what's his name? He's got an injury at the moment. So, uh, And he also got a wage bump, which is a bit disappointing. But there you go. A few players are a bit pissed at me for the standard reasons. You know, they want to leave because reasons. But they should be all fine at that point. Punch the ball above the weight. Play it with a DLP. Interesting. As in a DLP behind the two CAs. CMAs. Oh. Never had a coffee grinder. Probably a grinder still somewhere. Uh, right. Yeah. And Diallo actually looks really good in midfield as well. So there you go. We got... Oh, we got more than that. Literally, you know. We actually have more. Because we've got um, the Priestess here on the bench. And uh, there's another guy too. Where is he? Oh, no, he's not registered for this, I don't think. We've got uh, that other Romanian midfielder. We love Romania around here. They produce so many amazing players. Oh, dear. We're the biggest start. Well, we're, we're already the biggest, but we're just going to get bigger, you know? Support as well. So the reason I don't want to do that is because I was noticing how effective he was at getting into this position. So for the moment, I'm happy with this. Um, how's the Priestess doing? He's doing okay, but Emmett just scores goals, and it's 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 Emmett. You know, it's I just don't know what to tell you. He's just so good. Also, Diallo looks really good in the central midfield as well. So, for the moment, though, this is what we're going to have to go with just because of some injuries to... I think Millie's got a slight knock or... No, he doesn't, actually, but uh, I don't trust him. <laughs> it's Emmett. Whenever you need a goal, you go Emmett. Oh, the other thing I changed, rather, is the tempo is higher as well. Because with so many forward runs, I've noticed that really quick interchange just completely unsettles sides when we play like this, and it's... It's filth when you see it in action. Watching both the donut and thighs freeze marauding through from the midfield, like taking it in turns almost, is an absolute joy. But the donut got a hat trick in our one of the games I played. Florida man, he's still here, but he's fallen down the pecking order a little bit with the likes of Stanislav Spack and uh, Danko and even Tortosa now. He's going to be back in centre back for a bit if we're not playing. He could obviously play as the deep lying midfielder if we need him to of course so you'll see what i mean in a minute you'll get situations like this where almost all of our attacking players are we have only got like three players back here but they're all behind the opposition midfield meaning that if you get one touch of control here it's just ball through goal let's see if this works right now alaku full course even the carp gets forward but because you're so aggressive and maintain so much possession against teams doing this oh it means that even when they clear the ball you've got enough players back to deal with it it's quite useful Oh, and off the bar. Close chance there. Oh, got slaughtered against Manu, though. Yep, standard. Sounds about right. That's what happened to us. Oh, hey, Mike. Hey. Oh, you someone to work with a broken wrist. Well, I hope your wrist is feeling better, man. Um, hey, I just like to have fun, you know? That's that's my vibe. And hopefully today is going to be a little bit more of that. But yeah, it basically just pushes teams back all the way and allows us to just sort of chill on the ball. But look at that. Ball over the side for Stoyanovic. The amount of bodies we have in the box here, it's almost impossible to deal with. Mihai Alaku, 1-0 to Treaty United. Against bigger sides, it will not work because they will be able to break through our midfield. But that's where the DM comes in against the bigger sides. I'm excited about testing this today. But I think it just makes us so much better as a whole. We create higher quality chances. We get loads of bodies in attacking positions. There's always an extra man free. Look, look at the overload we've generated at the back post there. They don't know who to pick up because there's like five attacking players going to the same position. It looks... This idea actually came from yesterday when I tested something in a treaty, in a, uh, not treaty, with a Tromsa game. Because I was just noticing that the ball in midfielder was sort of not doing anything because we weren't having to win the ball because we already had the ball. Look how much possession it maintains as well. We will give up goals occasionally from just like random chances. That's just going to happen. But usually you score four or five, so it doesn't matter. Stoyanovic bops it through for five threes now from midfield. Oh, he's a cheeky boy, isn't he? Backstreet back, all right. That's great. I know this has gone under the radar and no one else has noticed this yet. It's Pauk nil, Dundalk 2. <laughs> Come on! I told you, they look really good. Fatimir Demiri has got seven Man of the Match awards in the league already for Dundalk this season. That's insane. Clipping it long, one of the guys will push out and win it, and we're good to go. Now, you do end up leaving them occasionally in like a two-on-two. -two. Uh, no, I didn't, Emu. Um, I, what does it entail? Give me the TLDW. How old is Ahmed? He's 34, but he's got such great natural fitness that he might as well be 31 or like 28. He's absolutely brilliant. Particularly when I put him as a CM. It's... Unai looks very good at that one. Uh, right. Okay. Could do with a few more goals, but we'll, the chances will come. 
Even on the breakdowns from these, we just leave a couple of guys back. It's all good. Oh, Alaku won't quite quit. But look at that. They never know who's going to make the run. Is it the striker? Is it an inside forward? Is it one of the two central midfielders? Occasionally, you'll get little opportunities like this that will just pop up. But for the most part, also, Mihov's done really well since coming in. His save percentage is already 9% higher than Bart's. And I say not 9%, like 9... It's, it's not actually 9% higher, but it's 9 percentage points higher, I suppose. I suppose. You get my point. Oh. Covering all stats for the game, you find effective play. The problem I would say with that is that we, as we've already discovered, the game doesn't track stats very well for other teams um do you remember we were looking at those results and we noticed that a team had got um had a game that finished where they finished with 0.39 xg and they'd had seven shots but one of the shots was a penalty which means that that xg to value was completely like impossible and so i do worry about the game's ability to track stats properly oh what an effort so that's why i'm always a little bit worried about doing stuff like that the do, do look very good and the donut over the crossbar has he? Oh, how so? I'm curious. Still probably not something I'd spend my time... I, probably not something I would do. Um, but it's still interesting, nevertheless. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Even the carp's getting forward. He probably shouldn't be, as it, as it is. One thing I have noticed is occasionally, because we're so focused on those central runs, the wide players can sometimes get a little bit isolated and left out of the game. But they still just randomly pop up from time to time. Palanik Mate, and it's off the post again. Oh, and look at Alaku here. We probably could have had a couple more goals in this first half, honestly. But we still, we move. We're doing all right. Logic of how stats... Tr oh, wow. Okay. That's interesting. How would you even do that? I am curious now. Now, one thing I would say is because they're playing such a narrow system, we might not be as effective as I would like, honestly. Oh, Larson. Right, chance through the side. And that should be easy for the keeper. Lovely stuff. Somebody... Yeah, this is another point as well. I I'll have to check it out after the stream. Why do I sense an FM call? I think it's because this system is very heavily reliant on... Look where our attacking players are, right? You, you'll, see, you'll see a pattern here, right? All the attacking threat is this midfield quartet, essentially. And because they're playing such a narrow system, I wouldn't be surprised if I switch this on a little bit because they're such a narrow team. We would not probably get a bit more joy and it will allow our fullbacks to get into the game a little bit more. Javi Simons. I nearly tried to sign him for Tromsø the other day. He's still available. The dog are doing brilliantly, Mr. Brogger. And if they get through, they've actually got a tie that I feel like they could potentially win. Alaku drops it through. ED7, 2-0 treaty. Gorgeous. 20th goal of the season for Emmett Doran. He's just the best. Thighs Freeze, by the way, has got 22 goals and 18 assists this season. He's tracking over a goal contribution a game again this year. It's actually... What a touch from Emmett Doran, by the way. And a great pick out from Alaku. This something about this tactic just feels better. It feels really tight. But you can see what I mean about the uh, wide players again. For this particular scenario, anyway. Not a bad first half, really. They're just the 21 shots we've managed. But the difference is they're better quality shots. That's the key. I've completely flipped my opinion. Imagine. <laughs> hey, Salty Fugle. Oh. Would like a couple more goals. I'd also like it if Dundalk could get a couple more goals. Was it Stephenson? Yes. He's surprisingly good. Um, I was genuinely amazed when I saw him come through and he suddenly dropped up to like five star potential. It was one of those things where our scouts got it wrong, but in the best possible way. Oh, Emmett. Espen, back to Emmett. With this build up, so many bodies to pick from. Oh, hey, slugs. If Dundalk could get... They scored two in two minutes as well. You'd love to see it. If they got through to the playoff round, that would be outrageous. Particularly if they'd play Besiktas or Braga. Games, I feel like they would actually have a chance in Emmett breaking them behind again. Emmett's through. Oh, he's won a penalty. Nice one, Emmett. That was very, very soft. How are Bo's doing? I don't know, but I'm afraid if I take it... Uh, we'll have a look in a sec, actually. Oh. I don't know if Bo's are even playing, actually, yet. I don't think Bo's are playing till the playoff round, so Bo's aren't playing today. They got a bye. Their round is until the next one. 23rd goal of the season for fives. Threes. 3-0. Three Cushy. Backup tactic against stronger teams. So, basically, I haven't even actually built it yet. Um, because I basically, I've only played two games with this tactical style and it was after I'd finished recording yesterday because I had to get, catch up. But essentially, nil-nil there as well. Let's just check out Conference League for a second if we can. Uh, I don't think any of our guys are going to be visible. No, they're not. That's a shame. But essentially, the idea is it'll have a DM. That That's basically what it'll be. Instead of the Trek, we'll have a DM instead sitting behind. That way... 
we can allow the CA the central midfielders to burst forward still and create those cheeky runs, but it won't leave us quite so exposed because we'll have an extra defensive player. Was it Drogheda nil nil? Wow. Against Siska? That's very impressive. But you can see just the sheer amount of chances we're creating. Now, obviously, I know it's FK Sarajevo, but so far since I've tested this tactic, we've won 7 nil and 5 nil. And now it's 3 nil here, but we've got more goals than us, I suspect. Falkenhorst cuts back, drops it across. Alaku, he's in there again. Mihai Alaku, 4 nil, another one for Alaku. He is really looking good in this system. Ah, but the wide men are the ones getting a bit iced. I mean, if you're scoring so many goals in a game, it doesn't actually matter that much, provided it looks good long term. And believe me, it feels like it does. I honestly wonder if a winger on one of them wouldn't be the worst. Oh, Aspen Falkenhorst. There you go, he's actually contributed. <laughs> so the reason I feel like inside forwards using their opposite foot as in a left side and inside forward on his left foot, it's because of those balls into the channel. Those balls round the side rather than cutting back and going like that. And I think that's why we need to actually go the opposite way. I want inside forwards that are like wingers, but not wingers, if that makes sense. I want them to behave like an inside forward, but use their left foot on the left and the right foot on the right, kind of. The best of both worlds. Let's get Diallo off for a little bit. Get, uh, maybe not, actually. Uh... Hmm. Actually, Palanit Mate is looking a bit tired. So we'll get him off. And that'll be fine. Angle through ball. Yes. So I want them to behave like an inside forward, but often inside forwards cutting inside on their left foot from the right. I actually want them to be using their right foot still. So making sure that I basically want to get wingers and then play them like inside forwards. Essentially is what I'm looking for. Because I think that's way more effective, which is why Espen Falkenhorst does so well on the right hand side when he plays there because he's right footed. So on the left today, let's just put Falkenhorst on the right for a bit because I've got uh, Millie on the bench, even though he's, you know, he's right footed as well. But you get my point. So let's try that. Oh, dear. Hopefully, Boat Dondorka... Ah, we can't see it. Let's have a look at Drogheda again. Still nil-nil, to their credit. Yeah, I think for the... Um, for fullbacks, that actually could work really well. Like, sometimes the carp does really well when I play him on the opposite side. So, Falkenhorst inside here. Slots it through to Alaku. <laughs> Hat-trick for our trek. Fulkenor's immediate impact when I moved him onto his right foot on the right-hand side there. Bags another assist for the... The man is an assist machine. It's 5-0 to Treaty United. So that's in three games now. 7-0, 5-0, 5-0. I'm liking it. And a hat-trick for Mihai Alaku. Look at the sheer number of bodies going forward here. The other thing about it is it pushes everybody back. So even if they do have some players left up the attacking threat, even if they leave players upfield, it means that you're dominating them in their own final third a lot of the time if they leave those players upfield. And if they don't, it means if they do win the ball back off you, they've got no one to pass it to. That's the thing. Or they've got one guy which one of our centre-backs can just absolutely trash, basically. Look at passing on those wide players. It's to look at. Uh, maybe. But honestly, right now, a 5 nil up, I'm happy. <laughs> Blue Soul, thank you very much for the follow. Goal alerts. Yeah. In other competitions, that'd be sick. Alaku's on a 10 because he got an assist as well for the Emmett Doran goal. He's just been stellar. Carpenu, the donut makes the run. Goes for goal. Ah, could you drop that across, maybe? I have complained, I mentioned it for a while that I would really like it if you could designate certain games and get goal alerts specifically for those games. That would be kind of cool. But, hey, it is what it is. So, you know, it's round the side for, for Alaku again. Emmett Doran. I think he's off. He's not offside. It's 6-0. Emmett Doran with the goal this time, and Alaku with another assist. So Alaku's got a hat-trick and two assists in this game, and we're 6-0 up. Now, I realise it's only FK Sarajevo, but do you remember last season when we were trying out that new style, and we just suddenly looked a little bit eh in the playoff rounds? New role, advanced goalkeeper. Yes. Why the hell not, eh? What would that even entail? Also, for some reason, this system seems to have really freed up Alaku to be even more crazy. Not just from a creative standpoint, but from a goal-scoring standpoint now. It's just everywhere. Uh, so, so very many, Mr. Progger. Like, I've still got a backlog of about 50. I've been doing the Brazilians and the um, Argentinian clubs lately. The donut tips it up. And Emmett Doran! Chat, it's a hat-trick in Europe for Emmett Doran. 7-0 to Treaty United away from home. So, just to clarify, that's three matches with this tactical style. 7-0, 5-0, 7-0. It seems quite good. Lovely assist from the donut as well. Look at this little dinked ball. Emmett with the header. We're going to get ourselves a nice ED7 after this match, so it doesn't... Uh... It's nice to have him back, isn't it? Just doing his thing. Oh, oh, insta highlight off the kickoff. I'm very glad that this has worked as well in Europe as I was hoping it would do. Because it now means we can rotate for the second leg if we want to. Try out Prea Taser through the middle, maybe. Corn it, and just gives it back to the Tortosa. 10-0, maybe. I think it works, yeah. 
I was worried for a second, but you love to see it hide, right? It's the perfect entry, considering he's actually been very good lately. Carpenu. Right, here we go. Now Millie could try that ball. Ah, nice. Oh my god, surely not. Emmett Doran. Oh, good effort again. I mean, we could have as many as we like. It's perfect. Oh, see you later, Holbrook. Ah. Think about how to be bigger team. Precisely. Um, although really, I think it's just going to be a simple... I mean, this might actually work against them, but you can understand why I'd feel like it wouldn't do. Well, I wouldn't be opposed to just trying it in the group stages, provided there's a really shit weak side in our group and we can guarantee ourselves third spot. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be opposed to just going full hammer and tongs out at the massive sides as well. Able to keep it literally hide, yeah. Um, although he has had a couple of seasons of sort of being in and out of the side, mainly because of me being a bit silly. Emmett Doran, is, the keeper's given him the whole goal and it's 8-0. Emmett Doran with his fourth goal of the night. It's 8 nothing. Yeah. I think we might have stumbled on something here, my friends. <laughs> they just don't know how to handle it. 8 nil. I can't remember the last time we won 8-0 in a Champions League game. Lovely finish on his left foot as well. Great finish from Emmett. Oh. Oh, I don't mention it. <laughs> He's at Man United now. <laughs> okay, so just the 8-0 there in Bosnia. 24 shots on target. I think I might have done a good chateau. <laughs> oh, Emmett. Look at him. Look at his beautiful... <laughs> I know they're not great, but... He's <laughs> finished. Right. I love that. Amadiallo's still got us. Maybe Billy Child, but I think in the showdown it would get absolutely ruined. Uh, Dupe tried to play a tactic like this in showdown last year and got absolutely destroyed. So how did Dundalk get 3-0? <sighs> Pauk nil, Dundalk 3, away from home. Dundalk have basically got one foot in the playoff round. Holy shit. What did I change? So basically, uh, I'll explain again, just for, because I realized I explained it really early. So basically, what we changed, I went back to our original, do you remember the one we made with the Terek, where we were just trying to get more out of Alaku? And I was coming to the conclusion that basically our boarding midfielder was useless in most games, because he wasn't contributing anything, and he was rarely given the chance to win the ball, because most of the time, we spent the match with 65% plus possession. Ergo, I decided that, fuck it, let's try a double CMA. The other thing I moved back was the supporting... Um, inside forward here. So essentially, it's like this like pincer that goes through the center of the pitch. So that way, when we get the ball in a wide position, there's going to be four or five runners that they cannot surely overload and pick up the right people at the same time. Also, it plays a higher tempo now. And needless to say, it works quite well. <laughs> it's my point. It's 34, is Diallo. But that's all I changed, basically. Um, so it's two, CMs, two CMAs, move this side back to support, and I made it so that we play a higher tempo. That's it. Because I just wanted to test it. How do I notice these things? Uh, basically, the reason I noticed this is because... Right back to support. No, no. So, for some reason, having... Mainly because Ackman plays there, he's so lethal in this tactic. I mean, look how well we played. High tempo wants to... Yeah, it precisely high. And I feel like I was under that... I, I, I mean, you all know this about me. I have this habit of not adjusting tactics as you increase your skill level. So, a tactic that might be good for you at, say, when we were newly promoted to the Irish League... It's fine, but it may not. Well, it might not take you to that elite level. Now, I think that against bigger sides, we'd be better off having a DM sat behind so that we've got more cover. However, today, if we get a group that I feel like the weakest side in the group is going to get comfortably trashed, I'm going to play this in all matches because I just want to see how it does. Because I still wonder if you could get enough chances against big sides to kind of get away with it. Precisely a confusing person. Yeah, so you want a CMA that's got good finishing and a bit of good tackling. Diallo, he's still really good. Like, he's not spectacularly good, but... Because he's got such high natural fitness, he's barely lost any kind of a quality. He's great. And bearing in mind, I paid £160,000 for him. So that's really the reason I signed him. One hundred and sixty pounds from Man City. We weren't going to be able to get a player of this quality for anywhere near that money. So I realised that it wasn't quite a lot of money, but it's offset a little bit by... And he could do a great job as a central mid. Because, obviously not as an attack, you know... He's really good for that central mid on attack role. Obviously, ignoring the tackling. We, we don't want him doing any of that. But I played him there against Derry City, and he was insanely good. Um, despite, yeah, he got a goal in that game. Really, really good. So that's cool. Ooh. And the rep from the signing as well. Exactly. Right, so other Irish sides. Let's see. Uh, so there's no Europa League at the moment. They're not in it. Yeah, he could, exactly. Um, right, how did they get on? Did Drogheda do a good? So Pats drew two all. And oh, they lost 2-0 in the end. You know what? That's fair. Like, I didn't think they had any chance there. But St. Pat's getting a draw against Aberdeen, even if they don't go any further. 
which let's face it, they probably won't. That's still coefficient points. And with Dundalk winning two, excellent news, eh? 1.2. So, wow, Croatia have started well. Holy dog. Uh, we've got a lot of work to do this season to kind of dig ourselves out of this hole because of that. But that's a hell of a way to start going on it, you know? Oh. I know a real player, me. Signing a real player that wasn't Fernando Avila is absolute blasphemy around these parts. Alaku just got the three goals and two assists in that game. You love to see it. Let's see how it works against Bose, because they're a better side. Arsenal, Maganich. I want them to go away. Uh, we've got the same sort of stuff as always, bidding for our players. For the most part, they're not being too awful about it, but there's a few. That's Fajardo. Still can't get him, by the way. Um, just have a little look to see. Hey, boys. <laughs> Wait, am I really scouting? No, I'm not. Okay. So what I've been doing basically is I went and got a lot of scout reports on various South American sides, and then I'm gonna, as they come through, I'm then getting one of their under 18 squad. We need a Europa League. We do. Um, but at least we have the opportunity this season. I, I think we're gonna have three sides in Europe again, and I think it's gonna be Dundalk, Bose, and us, which is pretty solid for the most part. Particularly, I think we'll have one in each competition. Training stuff with been worked out. Oh, okay. Wait, what happened? Because I don't, I, I use RDF's training stuff, and I've always liked it, honestly. Um, or put it this way, I've certainly seen no reason to change it lately, because I actually think it's working really nicely for us. No faith in Scamrock qualify. Oh god, no! Literally, as they are not in it, which is the perfect scenario for me. Them not qualifying for Europe was my favourite thing of last season. <laughs> you love to see them fail, right? Oh. Okay. Uh, Matt Palik Mate. That's fine. Who? Oh, yeah, I forgot we're in Ecuador now. There's less high-quality players around, but still, there's so many good players that come through this youth, uh, the um, training reports. Is somebody. Oh, by the way, we've got two more youth players poached. One by Everton and one by Man United again. And the one that came through at Man United, or rather got poached by Man United, actually had three-star potential on the thing. And that usually means that it's way better than that, because usually it's like grey stars, the ones they picked. Nah, not even close, Otto, because some of them are really difficult to do, or things that you just don't want to do. Ah... Uh... Oh, speaking of Ireland succeeding, by the way, they go lost the Euro final on penalties. Just slip that in there. I'll just uh Oh no, I think I did see that hide actually, because I think I responded to that comment as he goes. Or was it do you message me on another platform, I think? Uh needless to say, I'm glad it's sorted, obviously. Um oh, you wait till you see the semi. England, Scotland, and Ireland in the semi finals. And Ireland knocked out Spain, by the way. Like, what a fucking game. Ireland is so well. They knocked out Germany as well. Absolutely mad. I couldn't believe it. Millie's got like 16 caps for Ireland now. If I recall. Oh, yeah, this is Owen O'Reilly. This is Ireland's like star player. Plays for West Brom. He's ridiculously good. What a wide player he is. Look at this. Obviously worth insane amounts of money, but he's Ireland's like standout star these days. National hero. Yeah, I got an achievement the other day for something, and I don't know what it was or why. <laughs> oh, wait till you see that semi. Right, okay, let me do Dimo Kia. I think we've already done that, so it's not going to be any different to last time. Um, but hopefully it's still there, maybe? Nah, it's gone back to being that again. Um, it only lasts a month, but... I'll get the team report, of course, but... Anyone who was good, I would have already, like, scouted, I suppose. Uh, same with Vesta. We already did the whole of Europe. I think they're just called Red Star in the game, aren't they? Uh, let's try that. So there's a few interesting players in Red Star's ranks that I've been looking at, but most of the ones that are any good, I already nicked. <laughs> like that guy I showed you earlier, Davor uh, Jovetic. Another coffee, and it's amazing. Well, Pog, I would say, look, for what... Oh, no. Just, you're having a nice time. Just enjoy your day off, love. The Nubio. Uh, I think I'm actually already... Oh, wait. Must have not clicked on them. Well, there we go. Hey, guys. Man City want Dia. No, but look at his value. 10 million quid. Spax value, 14 million quid. I love I love me a valuation bump. I still don't understand what controls it in the background, though, because why did we lose value last year? Who's the new keeper? Oh, yeah, sorry. So he's one we signed on the last stream. This is, um, what's his name? Lubin Mihov. The main reason we brought him in was because I was starting to worry about Bart a little bit, and I just felt like if we could find another keeper that was really solid, it'd be worth bringing him in, even if he's older, because Bart El Barto then can develop without the pressure of having to be our first choice in every game. 
and I quite like him. Mainly because he's got great aerial reach and great reflexes. His one-on-ones are really solid, and he has really... He's just solid to me up. <laughs> but I like him a lot. And considering how much we paid, which was like, what? It was like, yeah, 2.9 million pounds. I thought he was a good deal for the, for the price. Even if he just ties us over for like three or four years just to get ourselves uh, sorted. Reply doesn't work on YouTube. Ah, it's probably just, unfortunately, Hyde, it's just YouTube being shit. Uh, I've had that happen to me before. Sometimes it just won't let me. Re what it happens, I find it happens where I've already replied to a comment and I'm having like a string conversation. Sometimes it just won't let me respond beyond like the second string of it. Bartev. <laughs> Have someone better. Well, I guess they must do. But either that or it's one of those weird situations like with Bart getting Spain caps for seemingly no reason. Get the keeper who was number one on the next gen. No, uh, we went for Mihov instead because he's better and cheaper. He's obviously a lot older, which is why he's better. You can't at all. Oh, well, so if you went to say my last video, Hyde, you wouldn't be able to comment on it, on it at all. That is weird. More than two. Hey, I've been I've been in the comments a lot more lately. Oh, you can. Oh, that's weird, Hyde. I don't know then. Um, I've been I've been way more in the comments lately. I've been having a great YouTube has been super fun lately. Like I've been really enjoying making YouTube videos. Even when it goes wrong. <laughs> Board objective is to be recognized as the best of the rest, and somehow I failed despite winning my turn. Wow, that's some ain't that some bullshit. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Let's do. Probably not going to put Diaz through the middle. I'm like, what foot is Diaz actually out of interest? Left foot. Okay. This is a good test of this then. I'm going to put Diaz there. I'm going to give Thighs Freeze a little rest. And Espen on the right. That way they're on their, the opposite feet that you would expect them to be on for the role they're in. And we'll put Priotaza through the middle here. Um, give him a little run out too because I want the Priestess to get a chance. One thing I haven't done is give him a face yet. Ackman's back. And I'm going to put Dia in if I can because he needs football. Even though he's a bit pissed at me at the moment. The Donut's also annoyed at me. Um, but that's because... That was from before I switched the system over. So prior to me doing that, he was complaining about a lack of football, but now he's come back in. I'm hoping he'll drop it now that he's going to be playing regularly. Same as always, basically. Right. Okay. This is going to be fascinating. Plus, they're not playing the narrow system. So this will be a bit more of a test for us. Jason! Tell me what you're chasing. Thank you so much for the three months. Hope you're well. That a good training schedule will help you with. So, okay. Honestly, Stephen, the person you're going to want to talk to about training schedules is in the chat right now, uh, which is a, a bit of a rarity. So, Hyde, what would you say are the key things that a training schedule will help you with? So, for me, long-term player development, as long as it's the right things. But, in addition, a sort of secondary feature for me is that it will give you certain buffs to certain parts of the team for upcoming fixtures. But I'm sure Hyde will be able to explain that in a little bit more cognizant detail, because I am, as always, a dullard. <laughs> Oh dear. Hey, Clip. Right. How you feeling, man? Uh, second. Right, okay, so this is good. Bows should be higher up the table than they are. They've actually been better than Dundalk this season. They just really struggled. Okay, this is going to be an interesting test. I do like me some attacking movement. Usually, right, if I've got a schedule and there's too many matches and I need to take something out, I'll always dump out a really high intensity training and dump in on an attacking movement or something, or rest if I really need to, like, save the legs. This is going to be interesting. The one thing they've really done well over the last few years is the uh, player development for me. It's right. So these are areas where we could get caught out playing like this. It's really going to be up to these guys to try to defend this well. But the moment they get back like that, it's... Oh, Priotaza's in. Oh, this guy finishes like nobody's business. Silvio Priotaza, 1-0 to 3 United already. So we've not managed to score less than five goals in a game so far since we've switched over to this tactic. It's been 7-5-8. But the moment they stop, our midfielders are just in on them like raptors. It's a great finish, though, from Preo Taser. What about that? Really different. I actually don't mind that. I think it's a more natural curve, wouldn't you agree? I've always felt that sometimes players got too good too quickly. Sometimes. Or rather, too many players got too good too quickly. And then some players fell off too fast. Whereas this year, it feels like natural fitness is really key. But to, in a good way, meaning that like if they've got a oh, solid natural natural fitness, I feels like they'll actually be able to get a decent longevity out of them. The donut, it's Diaz. Oh, it's two, two and five minutes. Juanjo Diaz on his left foot because they're going across the goalkeeper. Oh, oh, basically, hi. What I was asking is like, what would you say are the biggest benefits that can come from having the right training setup? 
um, we had a question in chat about it, and I figured that you are the, the expert on these things. Look at this lovely little pick out from the donut. Drops it through, but because he's on his left foot, it means that they don't have to try to... Yeah, that seems to be so key for finishing, is having them going across the goalkeeper. And if they're straight line, then you kind of just have to take a pick on it. That's two shots, two goals. We've managed to make one of those teams. Two shots, two goals. Good start. Stealing a top player. Oh, no, selling it. Yep. Welcome to the club, my friend. And that's a penalty. <laughs> hey, Vente. Did you do part run today? Yeah, they don't realize what they're up for, up against now. Oh, of course, Thais Freeze isn't in the team. Chance for Ahmed Diallo. Can he make it three? Of course he can. It's 3-0 Treaty. And this is a good bow side. A really good bow side. Oh, you volunteered. Sick. I really need to do that at some point. This is bullying. This is what we want. Luckily, their tie in Europe isn't for a while yet because they've got the second leg of the tie they're not playing in first. So it's going to be at least another three weeks before they play again. Simo, thank you very much for the follow. Look, what I'm saying is we've managed to... I'm now getting these types of games where we're scoring three shots. That wasn't happening before. And I reckon what I was saying earlier, I'm right about in that it's not that one-on-ones are worse. It's that the animation engine is showing chances to look like they're better than they actually are under the hood. And I think that's what it is. Because I had a look at the XG of goals scored and goals not scored. And I think that's what it is. I think it's just because of maybe there's some changes when they moved over to the new animation engine have caused a few little... It's another penalty. Insane. Hey, Jamie. Stockport County. Up County. I love it. I would love to see Stockport back. I have a huge... That was not a pen, though. No. Um, I, I have a huge amount of love for Stockport County. It was one of my... I love that save so much. Hey, Jackie. I don't know why I keep calling you Jackie. But I will now. Jack, how's it going, man? 9K, Nice. Mental side, yes. So it's... I reckon running, running... There's a lot of running is mental. It, it really is. It's not realising that you can actually go a lot further than you think you can. We've had four shots on target in school, all four of them. It's the tiniest things, isn't it? Ah, oh, dear. <laughs> this is working better than I actually thought it was going to. Am I a cyclist? I am not, no. Oh. Sort out back... We do need to sort out back to the future. But we also need to sort out... um. Go to, I mean, I know you've booked the time off for us to go to Treaty now, which is good. Ah. This is, this is pleasing. A blind punk. Oh, Why wouldn't you? Yeah. And Andorran on the next gen. Hell yeah. Clee Perry. Thank you very much for the follow. We've been kind of average in this game, honestly, but you know what? We'll sometimes take average. Average is good. Oh. Uh, it's just like expensive to, like I don't have a bike and the thing about running for me is I can just get up and go I don't need any equipment and I kind of like that about it plus I just really like running oh losing the scammer yeah that's annoying hey to be fair they're probably tired from their absolute trashing of palk we like exactly average is good well, I should probably make subs here actually so Alaku has had a bit of a tough one here, but then what I might do is actually put Diallo there and then get the frozen thighs on for a bit. Even our defensive-minded players could still do a jobby there. It's great. Uh, let's see. Ackman maybe for Carp, even though he's on the wrong foot. Just so I don't want to... Ackman's a bit injury-prone, and I want to make sure that we keep him uh, in cotton wool for a little bit. And maybe Millie actually for... Ooh. Yeet. To be fair, they'll get a massive rest in the next game anyway, because it's against home for because uh, it's against the second leg against FK Sarajevo. Yeah. I mean I I, I like the RDF ones. They work fine for me, so I'm gonna keep using them really. I, I feel like after a certain point it's like diminishing returns, so if I'm happy with what I'm using. Oh, there we go, free goal. Nice. Man marathons, no. Uh I've run half marathons, but not marathons. I mean, look at me. I've only just got back into it. A la cute. Oh yes. We're even playing assists off the crossbar now. That's how pro we are. <laughs> yeah, yes, Pog. Ah, oh. so the record continues. Still now, four games with this t tactical style, five goals minimum in each game against Bohemian. Might change your mind. Uh, well. I mean, I like them. What, what? Just what's wrong with them then? They work fine for me and my players develop nicely. So I like them. And again, I'm not going to change something unless I have a very strong reason to. And at the moment, I just don't. They work fine for me. £60 a ticket. Wow. Okay, that's quite a lot. But hey, Gomez. Oh, it's that goalkeeper again. 
the goalkeeper that isn't interested. Ah, we'll keep an eye on him. He'll be around. Diallo, though, with a brace. Obviously, two penalties, but still, they all count. 5 0. Look at this. We haven't conceded a league goal, by the way, in six games. We've conceded one goal in our last nine league games. <laughs> That's good. Defensively, looks pretty stable. Hello. Well, well, okay there, Lucius. Lucius? Luis, Matt. That's good news. He looks quite quality. Let's keep these guys coming through. Oh, another Bulgarian. Is that Bulgarian? It is. Ah, we don't know much about him yet. That guy's at Chelsea. He's worth £58 million. Pounds. Probably shouldn't bother with him, really, should I? Uh, D'Alessandro. I'm just looking for any, like, letters that stand out. As they get more scouted, I feels like, it feels like it narrows them down a lot more. And we actually start getting a better letter grade on some players. That's how I found those Serbian guys. I was just scrolling through the side panel a little bit, just keeping an eye out for anybody. Hello. Nah, he's 27 on Hugh. I mean, he's very good, don't get me wrong, but those wages would be... And he won't talk to us, obviously. That, that is a bigger factor as well in there too. Uh, Paolo. Yeah, same kind of problem, really. Just can't afford those guys. Okay. So FK Sarajevo. Oh, imagine if Dundalk fucked it up. They're 3-0 up from the away leg. Surely they can't do that. Doesn't want to go there. Fair enough. They've not offered much money. It's weird how Carp's rate uh, value didn't get the bump when everyone else's did. It's kind of odd. Whereas Mate, we're getting like, 16 million quid there from Arsenal of all places. Not enough, of course. I mean, we turned down a bit of fucking 47 million for Alec a little while. Jamie, thank you for the follow. Uh, no longer wants to join Paris Saint-Germain. Excellent. So SPAC is good. He's happy now. £37. Pound. Nice. When about in June, though? Because I thought we were going to go away for our... Um, for our anniversary two rows from the wow that's isn't that oh no because you kind of you'd be craning your neck quite a lot wouldn't you i suppose it depends on what theater it's in i guess 2008 football yeah they do a bit don't they some of them are really high valued but some of them also aren't for sort of inexplicable reasons but yeah 28 million pounds in the bank does that still make us rich it does so that's good it's sort of trying to figure out whether because I don't feel like it's a certain dollar value. I feel like it's as a percentage of something that we can't see. But it's good to know that that actually keeps us rich. That's the reason I'm not signing anyone at the moment. Because I want to wait until we get our um, Champions League money through. Hello. Ooh. I mean, they're definitely worth a, a quick scout, aren't they? Actually, even him. 22... <laughs> Zero Portenio, of course, home of Fernando, or what, former home of Fernando Avalar. You can't go wrong with that. Ah, cool, just Ten Hag. I, mean, I don't know, really. I, I don't know what to think, really. I'm not a United fan. I've not really watched much of Ten Hag's teams other than when he was managing Ajax for, like, that little Champions League run they had a couple of seasons ago when they went really deep. I have no real opinion on it because I don't have any knowledge of it, you know? Uh, Uno Alonso scored... Oh, he scored twice in that game. Good shit. How many goals has he got this season? It's not as many as I would have thought, actually, in fairness. He's actually underperformed a touch. Vosterek scored for Benfica. Good. Nice to see him getting some football. Maybe that'll be the making of him. You never know. Benfica kid on... No, you're not. How, what are we up to now? That's, that's less money. Just got to get through August. <laughs> hey, Ben. I am enjoying this fine Saturday. It's a lovely... Orly. Good name. Ah. Oh, Olympia. Wait, these guys are good. As is this guy. Arturo Cuenca. Cool. There's a high potential guy down here as well. Daniel Arzamendia. Do uh, a bit of that. Do a bit of that. Get that one back in the pipeline. Good. So we've got FK Sarri over there. Then Home Farm. So that could be an absolute bloodbath. But not for us. Obviously, that would be ridiculous if it was. Uh, the, uh, he doesn't like the fact that I'm still training on crossing, but I like that. I might have to look into that at some point. Paraguay, just, they've got some quality players. Long-term save. Ooh, who are you going with, Steven? Uh, Libertad. Wow, they're quite well-rounded, actually. Have a look at some of the guys at the very top. Yeah. Not everyone's going to be perfect. The good thing, though, is if it does find, if they do find any solid players, they'll just dump them straight into... Hello? Who's this? Hmm. We just need so much more information on a guy like this, right? There's this guy as well. Sebastian Ermut. Mercenary person. I just wouldn't. I just wouldn't. <laughs> I just wouldn't. Is that Turkish dude still knocking about in here? He is, yeah. 
10 million pounds though that's the problem uh that would be the z gens uh funny gaming Licksteiner, yeah but mercenary I mean, we'll scout him fully because he's still quite good value i'd say um but i really do like the team reports things if, if there's sometimes they'll find players and they're under 19s that they don't even show you on the report and then they will end up in these reports too which is kind of sick so a big fan of that <laughs> um crap <laughs> Uh, get you guys in as well. Chavdar. What a name. Chavdar Todorov. He's not awful, actually. Might get a bit more there. Janchik. Uh, 28. Walter Castro. Solid-ish, but won't talk to us. Because for some reason, more like Chavdav. <laughs> more offers for SPAC. Uh, we only just signed him. Why would I let him go straight away? We've literally only just signed him. Plus, I actually think he's quite good. Right. Sorry, Evo. Dundalk there. Surely we can both get through. I think we'll be fine. Dundalk has to worry. Ah! Oh, wait, no. I was like, why are both playing Sligo in the Champions League? <laughs> ah, shit, Steven. I missed uh, what club that was. My apologies. So, FK Sorry, Evo. We'll obviously play... You know what? Fuck it. We'll play... Oh, chat. We didn't do the ED7. I am so sorry. Emmett scores a hat trick, and we don't do an ED. That's bad luck, isn't it? We can't. We have to re. Right. Ooh. That is unacceptable. We. That's terrible. That's like breaking a mirror whilst on a black cat's head. Okay. Uh, yes, Hyde. We don't know why, but it is now sort of fixed. Like it. We managed to get with more. We managed to get more upgrades. Basically, it's gone again now. But we think it's something to do with our stadium. Right, okay. You know what to do, Chato. Let's give a pre-match Emmett Delrun and get this one ready. Ah, oh, right. Uh, let's go. So, a five and a four and a three and a two and a one. And Emmett, this is for you, buddy. Oh yeah, that's better. Now I'm pumped. That was me reaching far too far to put that drink on another table. Ah, that's the idea, Hyde. I did a bit of photoshopping. I did. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I remember the first time I played that. Dodger jammies. Thank you so much for the follow. Ah, oh, well now I'm ready. Watch him go bang another hat trick now. Because I can't almost... Because the thing is, our next match is a cup match against Home Farm where I'm going to rotate anyway. So I might as well play Emmett for this game. He's ready. Who do I want? Although I do want Ackman if I can, right? Oh no, we played the last game actually. So what I do want to do though is maybe Diallo on the left. Can he play there? He can. What foot is Diallo actually? Left foot. Okay, I want to try this today. And then Espen on the right. This is my little test to see if that thing about the footedness is actually working for us. Roddy Proctor. Thank you for the follow. Oh, the smoke machine. It's coming. It's gonna It's gonna be a thing. It's first, first thing I buy when we move. It was like, so far, I'm like, smoke machine, mate. Obviously. Priorities. Jeez. Ah. We've got to start Emmett anyway to get him a head start on being top scorer in the Champions League for us another season. It's what he does. The donut is unsure. How dare you? Better? Good. Lovely stuff. Plus, I'd quite like double figures on the tie. I mean, to be fair, it would only require... We won 8 nil away from home. Right. That tie there. Pauk versus Dundalk. Mental. By the way, we, we play the, min the winner of Malma Maribor. The M tie. Donut's real name. Uh, Jonats Dogar Shernat is his real name. You can see why I go with the donut. And a ball in a Palmek Mate over the bar. And Jamie with the brand new tier one. Thank you very much, my friend. That is unbelievably nice of you. Welcome aboard, everybody. Right, so kind of you, my friend. Welcome to the club. Enjoy the emotes. Youth to take levels. Um, It's not supposed to the youth. I think basically the, the, the thing that makes it irritating is actually the youth to take previews because they are completely broken. That they are... I realize that there's an element of an inaccuracy because obviously, after all, it is a preview, but I've never seen one that is even vaguely related to the preview. 
Most of the time, they'll predict a golden generation, it's half a star. There's being wrong, and there's being so catastrophically wrong that there's that. And that's every year, no matter who is in charge on every save I've done. So that does it. Just get rid of the preview entirely, I'd say. It's just way easier. Hey, Icarus. New stuff will be installed. There you go. Good news all around, right? Uh, one not a, Okay, that's who... Uh, is, hang on. All right, I thought it was... For some reason, I thought it was... It's not even the same name, Matt. Ah. Uh, maybe we just had bad luck. So, so, so what we think it was, Hyde, is for a while, it's because... I think the board were planning to build a new... So the board basically announced plans to build a new stadium. But it obviously didn't show up as a proper item and through that entire period of like two years of them planning to build a new stadium we were unable to touch anything else then during the process of them building it we could but now that it's been delayed i now can't again <laughs> it's weird so our stadium's already been delayed twice hopefully we'll move in at the end of september but you know i'll believe it when i see it the board would sell the yeah probably <laughs> oh that's a poor tackle that's just unacceptable that's it just force him out wide everybody's back all in good save Mihov seems really consistent as well. Like, he's got way better save percentages than Bart in the games he's played so far for us. I'm a big fan of his. Oh, nice. Well, that ball just took a hell of a bobble there. Look at the space Alaku's got. That's insane. Falcon horse. God, I want another eight goals. But I'd settle for like four. That'd be fine. Or just to keep the run going and get five in every game so far. Stoyanovich. Emmett Doran. And it's 2-0. Emmett's on the end of it again. Yeah, it's something I think that I can't be sure, obviously, Hyde, because it's completely apocryphal. But I believe that that's what's doing it. It's something because they're working on things in the background that you can't interfere with. It might seem to stop you asking for it, potentially. Automatically better. Yeah. But Bart isn't even here anymore. Uh, he's technically still at Porto. They are rejecting bids for him, though, when teams put bids in, which is kind of odd, considering they were the ones that were selling. But sure. <laughs> ah, dear. Second. Uh, well, I'm going to play the Priestess in midweek in the game against home farm because i feel like a game against a really weak side will just get him even more confidence in his game plus emmett is just champions league magic it's 10 nil on aggregate but beckers is through go on mihov well played don't know what the striker was even doing there but <laughs> what's he doing he's like i've got a really good angle here how about i make it worse good save again from mihov i like him i like him a lot oh so i can't believe that actually worked then again, it still nearly cost us because it took us a while to find a guy that I was even... Mihov is the first keeper, really, I feel like I'm actually genuinely happy with. I feel like El Barto just made a lot of mistakes for seemingly no reason. And I mean that because goalkeepers I find are so weird on FM. They just... You can have a goalkeeper with really good attributes, but they just don't perform. And then sometimes ones with slightly worse attributes do. It's very odd. Amad Traore... Oh, not Amad Traore. Diallo pops it back inside. The donut. Oh, it's scored! 3-0. The donut. We're on our way, friends. We're on our way. Searching for a new stadium site for two years with absolutely no updates. Yep, that's kind of what happened to us in the end. Uh, luckily, they did eventually do it, and now it's been... Maybe they still haven't found the place. Maybe that's why they keep delaying it. <laughs> still trying to dig. Helps for not much else. Yeah. Well, we've got a, we've got a better hoid now, so hopefully it's good. <laughs> but it, the first experience of it wasn't particularly good. Uh, going to have to bring on... I shouldn't have loaned out all the right backs, really, should I? <laughs> then again, we technically didn't. It's just because Ackman's tired. Okay, that's fine. Wide players seem to, having, seem to be having a better game today. Are they playing a different system? Yes, they are. Okay, that would explain it. Probably. Really confusing person. I take it you had like the editor on so you could see that information. That's kind of cool. Use Ferenjez. I, I've always, I've heard about him. I know that he's one of like the standard Wonder Kid keepers, but you, given that I, I just don't touch like... Um, I just don't go near the Wonder Kid, like the real life Wonder Kids for the most part. And let's just find a wobbler. Because I just don't find it that interesting. Ah, a treaty bit. Oh, really? What did they, I'm curious. What did they actually, like, if you could just like, take like the, the most important thing. I am curious because we've tried everything that's been suggested on every single website. It just seems that every year it's still crap. <laughs> but what can you do? Uh, Ivis. Oh, hang on. Ivis. Thank you so much for the follow. We've not actually been, all, they've been all right today, actually. We're still winning 3-0, admittedly. So <laughs> there is that. Uh, might give Chenk a little run to the right. Fuck it, we got Prayer Taser on here. Why not? That's going to do it. Yeah, Dundalk, provided they don't concede three goals now in the next half an hour, should be, si should be set for a pretty good... I think they'll probably lose to either Besiktas or Braga, but just getting there is actually pretty sick. I'd rather them get knocked out and get through another round, because at least it's more coefficient. Because if they'd have got knocked out in this round... 
they'd go straight to the group stages anyway. So only three goals. Yeah, useless. We need to at least get five. Can we see draw hitter score? Yeah, you're right. Maybe. Yeah, it will show up because uh, C. Well, that's the other thing. Things there. One of the reasons I plan certain saves in a way I do is because that way I can always be like, I don't, I can't sign this guy. I can't afford him. So it sort of gets me around that problem anyway. Uh, that's more of a YouTube issue than it is uh, for Twitch, I would say. Uh, the donut. Come on. This is our chance. Pops it up. And Chenky. Chenky Bayrak. 4 0. Good. Let me just turn my Facebook Messenger off. Don't worry, chat. It wasn't you. Boom. Ah. Uh, hey, Wayne. Right, that's perfect. Now we just need one more to keep the streak alive. And also, 2-0 to Dundalk. They are 5-0 up on aggregate against Pauk. 5-0. What the hell? Uh, Europa Conference League. Uh, oh my god, what's going on here? That's not done well for him. So, some pats are done. And... Um... Hi. Siska nil. Drogheda United 1. They're winning, not in Russia, but like wherever the hell they are. Unfortunately, they lost the first leg 2-0. Imagine if they won, though. I love that Dundalk are winning. That's staggering. Still, Yeah, we'll just keep that score up if we can do. I mean, the win would be good, even if they went out. If they were managed to win a game, that would be solid. The other thing about this tactic is it feels like we are able to concede a lot more chances and weirdly not concede them. And I think part of that is Mihov being awesome. And part of that is it feels like I've almost done to the AI what they've been, what I've figured it's been doing to us, which is where the chances it's getting actually aren't as good as it thinks they are. So, oh, go on. Give me the fifth goal. Thighs freeze. Oh, I wanted that fifth one to keep the streak alive. And you're right. We haven't conceded a goal since we started stream today yet, which is always good. And we've gone six matches in a row in the league without conceding at all, which is good. Some Pats were 3-0 down with a red card. So they're probably going out, sadly. Oh, careful. Here we go. Martins can drop one around the side for someone, surely. There's so many, but... Yeah, he's not a fullback. I think I've jinxed it. I think we're about to concede this time. Although, if we get a man across here... We've got bodies coming in the box. No, fine. That's actually all right. Oh. That's the kind of finishing you're up against, then you should be fine. There we go. 5-0. Done it. We've done it. Five goals in every single match since we moved over to this tactical style. 13-0 on aggregate against FK Sarajevo. This is the round before the playoff round. And we're hitting a team for 13 goals. Good header from Palanek Mate as well. Still only 1-0 draw header. I'll take that. 5-0. Did it again. You'll love to see it. The question is, though, obviously Bo's... 13-0. So, yeah, it's going to be Besiktas versus Dundalk. Now, Dundalk lost to Besiktas in the Conference League last season. But Dundalk have just dispatched Pauk 5-0 and won both legs. That's extremely good. I can't believe they're in the playoff round. How did the transfer window work? It's, it's gone reasonably well, back at Joe. Like, we've signed a couple of extra guys up because we weren't actually in the transfer window at the time. So we picked up a new goalkeeper who I think is ridiculously good, who's done really well here. New tactic, it's literally barely any different. So the only changes I made, this is thinking back to the old tactic anyways. We're back to being 4 2 3 1. The only changes I made were we're a higher tempo, it's a forward on the left is now support, and it's double CMA, basically. But the reason why I think double CMA is, is OP is because of the thing I was talking about earlier, in that I think the match engine, 3D match engine, and also in a way the 2D match engine, are showing you highlights that aren't actually supposed to be the ones you're seeing almost it feels like because i feel like highlights are sort of spread into categories of the chances and it feels to me like a little bit certain one-on-one -on -one chances are falling into a category of highlight that is too low for the xg and as a result you see it and go that should be a goal but if you look at the xg stats it's actually a lower rating than you would expect it to be and i think that's why they're being missed it's not that they're actually that they're just worse chances but you it just doesn't look like they are and i feel like cmas seem to get better chances when they go through on goal for whatever reason new right winger uh don't oh, we got we got diallo sort of but obviously with the uh inside forwards now it's not quite such a big deal plus falconos is brilliant junior talent nation list yeah so we've got the best youth recruitment possible essentially We've got good facilities. We've got... I say got good facilities. We can't upgrade them anymore. We already have, really. That's the issue at the moment. 
Uh, so the donut is unhappy because right before I switched over to this, uh, I actually think I just did one for SPO. So I'm not going to do it. Well, I can do it. It'll go back. It'll go to the back of the list. But I actually did one off stream because that's why I've got the under 19s. So any players in here, these were the three best players, basically. So that's why they're being scouted more. The rest of them weren't. They were good enough, but they weren't good enough for us, if that makes sense. Where is Danko? He's there. He's just, um, where is he? He's not played as many games as the others yet because I'm trying to sort of wean him in slowly for obvious reasons. Plus, he gets a little bit, he's a little bit unhappy. Why is he unhappy? unsettled oh yeah i turned down a bid from like um someone big for him and because he hadn't been here long enough you know the standard spiel get yeah, mal that's standard uh mihov six saves sorry eight saves in that game this keeper is good i like him yeah unfortunately hide our board won't let us have any affiliates and when they do they cancel them after like a year because they keep saying we've got too many affiliates even though we have two and when i try here's a fun one for you chat i asked the board a little while ago you guys were here when this happened i asked the board for an affiliate club uh so where is it we already have enough affiliates we have two both of them are irish lower league sides two affiliates is that enough affiliates um operating etc i love that acceptable level how about i quite like to improve the club i just don't understand this we've got money we've got Everything you could possibly want, and yet they're just like, nah, don't fancy it, mate. It's so annoying. Like, our affiliate sides, other than the senior affiliate, are two lower league sides. Do it, any more YouTube saves? Uh, how do you mean? Like, I have a save ongoing at the moment. Um, so, if that's what you mean. I, I have a, a YouTube save currently. Uh, let's see. Uh, right, what was I doing? <laughs> Can you imagine that, Slugs? <laughs> I am the daddy now. Cancelling them. Um, well, uh, to me, that would just be... So then we'd have less affiliates and they still... Bear in mind, they were saying we had too many when we had one as well. And then when I asked them for a foreign affiliate, they said yes, and then they provided me with a list and they were all Irish things. <laughs> it was like, what? Um, let's try it then. Oh, I can't. I can't negotiate existing affiliation. Weirdly, I can negotiate this one. And I don't know what I would negotiate about it. What is there to negotiate? Oh, shit. No, 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 no. That's just cancelling it even more. Um. Sorry, affiliate. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I tried to ask for a new senior affiliate the other day, and they said, yeah, and then they just didn't bring me any clubs because reasons. Yeah. I don't know. Stuff like that. It, it used to be that you could actually get a lot of affiliates, but now you can't, which is weird. And I don't know why. Do we really need letter canny? No, but the thing is, if I cancel it, we just won't have it. And they still won't let me get a new one. They'll just say we have too many again. Um, that's the thing. So I can cancel it. Wait, hang on. Yeah, so I can cancel the affiliate. But it won't make any difference. They'll still say there's too many or they'll just come up with some other bullshit reason. That's the problem. I remember having a save before where I had like seven affiliate clubs. Like Man City and big clubs have loads of affiliate sides. But I mean, not that we're the biggest club, obviously. But it's just weird that we're not allowed them. Uh, save that 12 grand. Ooh, that's a lot of clubs. I guess with Barca, maybe there's a certain thing to do with like the club's rep or something that they do it with. Wow, hello. God, there's some quality in here. Elvio Peña. Yes. Why does he have a face? The other guy doesn't. I think the reason that we're finding a lot of players without faces in here is that we literally had no knowledge that they existed prior to this. And that's why they weren't showing up when I was doing the scouting thing in order to do the Z-Gens. Muzinga. I'm annoyed. There was a guy that went to Leo from PSG that's now worth like 40 million pounds, but it is what it is, right? That's true. City do be owning half of them. I just figured out, I figured out how many affiliates they had the other day because I was doing that little test save with City so I could test the team report thing. And it was just like team report, team report, team report of all their affiliate clubs. I was like, how many do they have? Do the admin manager think? No, I just, it's more of an effort thing. I just literally go to the scouting thing, turn off all of the uh, like transfer stuff and then just do it from there. It's just probably the reason why we get less of them and occasionally they come through. But I'll just run it again at some point. Any new clauses? No, sadly not. Well, there are, but they're all the same ones as before. So these are all uh, the youth players ones. 
So, like, Ilya Keating, by the way. Really good player at Man United. Annoying. Um, but there you go. Still can't sell the Kubek Claws yet. Nor can I sell the, um, yeah. Buying more now. Of course, yeah. Got to go all the bin. God, FM's going to suck when that loan limit thing comes in. I might just have to try to find a way to break that because that ain't fun. Not for these types of saves. The loans are the, w loans are the world. Oh, Inter and offer for Tom FM. Speak of the devil. Um, interesting that they've gone for him, actually. I would have done it earlier, but they've just we've never managed to get him scouted properly. They just will not. You're right there, Rustler. Yeah, apparently there's going to be a loan limit, which is annoying. Oh. Alice Irvin's decided to be... <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, all right then, Alice. A lot of business fans protesting. Really? What, because of the city thing? So how many players have we got on loan? We're up to 28 loans now, which is, for me, pretty good. Uh, and each year, I just want to make sure that it's going up and up each time. Your first ever 5k at Park Run, it was 21.58. That's faster than I've ever done a 5k. That's what very impressive, that? Rob. Fair play. That's insane. Uh, home farm. So I wanted to do pre taser today. And when's the next game? It's Malmö in four days. So this is kind of rotation in it. So Ackman, I'm not going to start today. I'm going to start uh, Stoyanovich because Ackman I want for the other game, even though he's... Oh, no, I can't, can I? Actually, we'll play Pablo. It's a perfect time for the big Pab. Danko would be a good chance to bring him in now. Maybe Milosevic alongside him, actually. These two in the middle need to be different as well. I might get Diallo in. Jelly Tots. Nice. You'll love to see it. That is extremely good, Rob. Seriously. Outrageous work from you there. Get Hansen in for a bit as well. Alaku needs a rest too. Oh, I could bring in... um. Yes, Bob. Yes, Bob. Okay. Um, I could bring in that new guy, Ovalar and Bench. Ovalar's retiring, uh, unfortunately, and I think he might have already retired, actually. Where is my guy? Oh, there's Ovalar. Maybe this is his chance, actually. Where's my guy gone? Ah, oh, there he is, Jovatic. Technically, he's not fully trained in this role yet, but I want to get him sorted playing further up. So I might just do that now, actually, while I'm thinking about it. But we'll put Ovalar through the middle. Why not? Get him training Trek. Has Ovalar scored for us? No, but today could be that day. Maybe. I want to give him a run for Prayer Taser, but this might be Ovalar's last chance, honestly. Because he said he's going to retire at the end of the season. And the last thing we need is... Well... I wanted to score a goal for us before he retires, you know? Man needs it. We can't be complete without it. Not to, Nicely done. Danko's aggressive. Standard. I guess that's what happens when you've got 20 aggression. Like, he does, like, the washing up aggressively. Guys who generate favoured personnel. Ah! what? As in wondering why they are and who they get as favoured personnel on, like, a more regular basis. Is it, like, scouts, coaches? I'm not sure they're scout person. I don't think that works, does it? Hopefully today we'll be able to do enough to get a chance for Fernando Ovala. That's all I want to see. One goal from him since joining us. A panache, bra a panache brace is always a good thing. And it's not an uncommon thing either because panache is an absolute god. Oh, nicely done, Ahmad. Nice. We go again. Oh, I'll be so happy if Fernando gets a goal. That'd be a dream day. Hello, Millie. Drop it across. Okay. He's somehow managed to find neither of them. We'll never get him back. I mean, I, I don't see any reason why we'd get him back. I mean, he's at Man United smacking in goals and he's worth £150 million. There's no way Juliet ever comes back to us. And he wouldn't be worth it as well, which is the other sad thing about it. Yes, but look at the number of bodies we've got in the box. <laughs> Lone farm. That's the dream. That's just every other club. Ahmad. Oh, it's a pen. Please tell me this has worked. Chat, it's happening. Fernando Avila from the spot for Treaty United scores his first goal for Treaty United. Oh, 
a happy day was had by all. Fernando Avila, he gets one before retirement. I can sleep easy at night now that Fernando Avila has scored a goal in Ireland for Treaty. Hello, Pog. You, you okay there? Oh, I was just saying about my little corgi teddy. I couldn't find it. Oh, well, now you found it. Oh, ha Yeah, watch him. Now that he's got one, he won't be able to stop. Is foot golf fun? Because I've never actually played foot golf, but it does look quite fun. Look, there's a course in Cambridge. Yeah, we've got to put him on the spot. It's Fernando. He needs it. He needs that confidence before he... I was about to say he passes away, but of course he's... <laughs> he's like 35. He's doing fine. There's a course again. Yeah, true. Oh, nicely done, Danko. That's good stuff. Patience. I think Danko has the potential to be extremely good. Looks harder. Oh, I bet it is. I bet it's so much harder than it looks. I, I mean, having played golf, it can't be harder than golf, though, because golf was ridiculous. <laughs> that was a... An ex I think that was an experience like I did it only once. Sadly not. I wish I had. Uh, to an extent. My favorite thing about golf, honestly, was after we'd finished playing golf, going to the clubhouse and having toasties and curly fries. That was my favorite thing about playing golf. It was breakfast. Ovalar, he's through again. Oh, Fernando. That should have been two. Like, yeah, I was going to say, it just sounds like golf to me. <laughs> Except you don't carry a weapon around. Well, yeah. Played squash. No, I haven't. Um, A lot of my friends have, though, because we went to Centre Parks a few years ago, and a lot of them ended up playing a lot of squash when we were there, and I'm just like, no. No. <laughs> I think I was in the spa or smoking. That was that was me relaxing. <laughs> spa was good though, to be fair. Can we go back? Yeah, it was well good. The spa at Centre Parks Woburn was it Woburn Abbey? I think it was Woburn Abbey. It was really good right, and you, relatively cheap as well. Right, another one. Another one. Yeah, the spa, I thought the Woburn one was good. There was a room that smelled like lemsip. It was great. <laughs> oh dear. Have you ever played bowls? I haven't, no. Um, one of my mum's clients is really into bowls. Like, he was like a really good bowlser. If bowlser is bowlser, is that the word? Let's, yeah. So they had all these like different spa rooms. Some of them were like saunas, some of them were cold rooms. But there was one room that was a sauna, but it had like a it basically smelled like you were in a giant glass of lem sip. It was just like Well, lemony. Dean can back me up on this. Lemon and honey, try it, yeah. Bowls, but I, I don't know if that's the right word. It's probably not the right word. Let's face it. Bowl is probably the right word. <laughs> oh, well, I just scored again, by the way. <laughs> Hattie incoming. That one counts more because it was open play, right? He deserves it. But it kind of also shows that in this tactical style, even a Fernando Ovalar can score goals in it. <laughs> oh, Lee's through. Ah, missed it. Dean with the Twitch Prime for the 22 months. Lemsip is awesome. Best drilling. This out of this would be ill again just to have more Lemsip. <laughs> Dean's out there catching viruses just so he can eat, drink Lemsip. You can't. You're a father now. <laughs> yeah, we were all just... People just walking in and be like, why are these lads here sniffing urinal cakes? And we're just there like, it's, mate, it's Lemsip. <laughs> Ever played cricket? Uh, I played it in school, but that's about it. That was about as far as I ever went with cricket. And I'm from a quite a crickety area too, but I just didn't care. Hello, Pog. I was in a cricket team. There we go. Pog was in a cricket team. She was the stump. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, only last, I only lasted like five weeks. <laughs> 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 cricket bitches. Oh, you'll love to see it longer than I would have lasted, in fairness. Vukatic just grabbed a couple for Dundalk. I mean, I know they're playing against Letterkenny, so it's not a huge achievement, but still, I'm happy for him, right? I get that. I'm actually fairly pleased with this sort of mished up lineup. Pablo Rodriguez looks solid as well. But I, I do still want to make sure that we score five goals, because we have to keep the dream alive. Even with a weakened side here. Espen Falkenors, Hansen's ball, Millie blocks Millie. Okay, second time's the charm. And it's 4-0. I think we might get the record. Not the record, but we might be able to keep this record going. Just need one more goal. I need Davo Jovetic to step up a little bit here. Value himself a little bit more. Oh, this is good news. 
Didn't score 20. Yeah, embarrassing, honestly. But we still haven't conceded on stream today yet. And we've not managed to score less than five in a game so far. Oh, Fernando. Go on, slip it through. Ahmed. Jovetic. Now's oh, your chance, bud. Cooper. Oh, poor, but Millie on the rebound. Okay, patience. Oh, clear away. Lucas. Thank you so much. Oh, Luca. Thank you so much for the follow. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Nah, I'll take this. Solid. Hey, that sounds cool, though, honestly. Oh, Danko scored. I've always thought that once I can get into a bit less of a round shape, um, playing five a side or something would be decent. Just something to do that's not just running, running. Uh, you cackled. What's up? Yeah, like everyone, well, I hate when people say I'm getting into shape. It's like you're always, you're in shape. It just might not be the right shape. You know, my current shape is upside down trapezium. It's, it's not what human needs. Millie, six, so done. Uh, no, not create a club. A Jack Stone, you thank you very much for the follow. And have a lick me I, yeah, I don't know the rules of cricket either, JPEX. I he I've heard it's absolutely batty. Koi King, thank you so much for the follow. But yeah, no, this isn't Creator Club. This is a real club. Great finish though from Millie. Really good stuff. Inverting the triangle. Jonathan Wilson's out there like, yes. Uh, well, I said a trapezium. Didn't I say a trapezium? Yes. But trapeziums are not regular, are they? So if it's upside down, it would have a different... Hang on. I think I'm, I think I'm on the right track here. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Five or something. Yeah, I'd like to do that at some point. Thoughts from Boris Becker? Great tennis player. Even better hair colour. There you go. Chat, I gave an opinion. You're proud. <laughs> the runner are a bit like um, Bray Wanderers in this save at the moment. Bray have won a game though, in fairness. The Trapezoid. I don't know. What do I look like? Some kind of shape specialist. <sighs> Two of five is in jail. Oh, that's silly of him, wasn't it? No good tax vendor though. True. True. The good tax... To be fair, you'd never know if someone was a good tax evader because they would... You wouldn't know that they were doing it. The best magicians never reveal their tricks. And there's Hansen now from the... Oh, ho, ho. I beg you to spot. No, RPG man. I'm going to keep you on tr on track here. Inverted wing back. Yeah, but I'm happy. Like, I'm not going to change... Look, we've scored five goals or more in every game so far since I switched this. I'm happy with the tactics right now. I ain't chutching it until I have a damn good reason to. Right now, this is fine for me. <sighs> this is good. I'm a shapes specialist. I'm not sure I know the difference. This is the problem. If I was a shapes specialist, I'd have a clue, wouldn't I? Oh, it's Kostash. It's useless. This is why you play for home farm, my friend. Yes, I think we are. We're in. We're in good spots. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far today. We're not conceding a goal, and we're scoring lots of them. What more do you want? Exactly. But the the magician isn't the one revealing it. Get more points than George Russell this season. I feel like probably over the full season he may well do, but the moment Russell is doing a spectacularly good job in what is clearly not particularly up to scratch equipment at the moment, isn't it? Another eight. Ah, this is this is good times. Share pulling. Yeah, they really do hide. So the amount of times that we've had youth players poached by English sides in this save is probably part of the reason our youth intakes are so gash all the time. Every year I'll see it like two or three times. And it's just like, what? what is the point in us even having youth intakes at that point then? It's like they're stealing my players before I even get a chance to sell them. Paul McCartney and Ronnie Wood. I don't know. The world would not win though. It's just an advance forward. Just standard, bog standard, advance forward. Ain't no fancy shit. Oh, of a last throw. What about... Oh, do you know what, chat? I've missed Fernando. Doing things like that is what I loved about Fernando Avila. The unselfishness. He's like, no, there's one player that's below a seven here, and it's Davor Jovetic. We need to rectify that situation, and Fernando's gone and done it. Glorious. Look at this. He's throwing goal, but he's like, no, no, no. You have a go, son. Great finish, to be fair. Just the nine there. It could be that come raid, yeah, potentially. Oh, I think it's probably not as uh, detailed as that. It's probably more likely just a case of... Uh... <laughs> That's just how the game's programmed. Both wings is just a forwards. It's sort of, yes. 
Although Millie is more of an inside forward type of guy. I think it's kind of a bit of both. Good goal. That's the first goal we've conceded. We've been live for an hour and 45 minutes. That's the first goal we've conceded. <laughs> Nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't care so much about the poaching thing if you could do it back. And I know that you can, but I've seen it a grand total of one time in all of my saves since it was introduced as a feature. And to me, that is simply not enough. I'm not saying it should happen as much as the other way around, but fuck me. I've probably had maybe, I don't know, three or four hundred players poached ever since that feature was come in and one my team has poached. Nah, that is a completely ridiculous, like, ratio of those things. Ahmad Diallo's through. Can we go for ten? Oh, Ahmad. I am now Ahmad. Yeah, I just, I mean, to be fair, I didn't... The only player I've ever actually sold to England like that was the Chris McLean one, but I feel like at the time, we that was a good piece of business. Ball through. Oh, Ahmad's in again. Go on. 10 this time. Yes. 10-1. Ahmad Diallo. Good stuff. Yeah. So when you get the news article coming through to say they've been poached, whether they haven't even come through a youth academy yet, basically. Uh, it just doesn't happen as much. Uh, it, like I said, it's happened once. I've seen it happen one time since the feature was introduced at all. And to me, that's a horrendous ratio that shouldn't exist. A ratio plus L. <laughs> They've certainly taken the L. 10-1. I know you're right. The tactic's useless, chat. We just can't progress with this tactic. Tell you what, it's because they're going narrow. Ah. Oh. If only their goal counted for 11 goals, then we'd be in real trub trubs. Good from Fernando, though. 9.9. .9. Did he get a hatty? No, he didn't. But he did get that assist in there, too, which is nice. Also, on loan from us, used to play for us. You'd love to see it. Macania as well, trying to step it up. No, England's not even loaded, um, but they still do it because it just is, yeah. Scouting investigation going. Uh, which particular one, James? I do a lot of scouting investigations. That is the Amad Diallo. Yes, I got him for 100 grand, 160k from Man City because we needed a right-sided player or someone that could be a bit versatile, and I'm glad for it. Two goals, two assists, and a 10 out of 10 rating. Cheers, Amad. How's he done since he's come in? Nine appearances, six goals, four assists. Lovely. Uh, right. Right. I think I've got some lookups. I need to take a few of these off anyway. So we did AGF, Midgeland, Kiev, Schwester, Danubio, SPO. Uh, don't think I did that one, actually. Let's just look up Tolima. I probably... I mean, I probably have already done them. Uh, in fact, I've literally already done them. <laughs> we can see their entire um, team report ones. Basically, my conclusion is that with team reports... They, they do work. But essentially with a team report, in 24 hours, you can get an insane amount of information, basically. That, that, my conclusion is that they're really good for quick information. Gifted musician in their youth. Wouldn't say gifted. Musician I'll agree with. Gifted, absolutely not. I played instruments, but not to a degree that anyone would be like, yeah, it's very good, very good, you know? Ain't nobody clapping for me. Um, just keep those guys coming through the system, I think. Building up a nice little pocket of players for us to go after in the next window anyway, at this rate. Good. National Team reports two. Uh, as far as I know, unless you, if you know a way to get team reports like that from national teams, I'll be very curious because I've not managed to figure out how to do it. Which button is it that we press? Because is it in here? Because I can't seem to figure out a way to get national team reports. It'd be cool if you could, but as far as I know, you can't. Not in the same way that I just... Did. Oh, they, oh, it was there last year then? Wow. Right country... Oh, okay. Good question, yeah. That's... You could assign Scout, but... Hey, look, it shows their... Uh... Yeah, sorry. Yes, Pog. What is that? Cherry Fizzle... Okay, well... <laughs> I've just noticed that. It shows their scouting knowledge. In theory... Oh, no, I know in theory you can poach players. Um, it just doesn't happen. It's happened to me once. Um, I don't know. You can see that. So they should not see report. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh, I was just curious that it's actually displaying their knowledge before. I have not seen it do that. Usually it doesn't do that. Interesting. Yuri Yarosh. Has that report got any better? He's, he's, he's all right. 
Unfortunately, United signed that guy from uh, Zagreb. But at the time, just wasn't right for us. I probably should do Inferno, yeah. I'll have to do that after stream. Uh, actually, I'm going to get a second look at a lot of these guys, just because at this point. How's the poaching work? Uh, it, so basically, you'll get a news an article saying... Hang on, one sec. Veni was still at an primary shoulder of us this Pavel. An I was reading on my bicycle. An I met him. An ten event to the shop to for some is a crumbs. An on the way home. An ten event home. Thank you, King Albert. That was a hell of a story there. Have you sold the movie rights yet? I'm just curious. Thank you for the hundred bits. Uh, River Plate. So I've already done River Plate, but... Yeah, as you can see, there's some quality. Also, right, here's a fun one for you. So I tried to sign uh, Leopoldo Sanabria from Godoy Cruz before he went to River Plate, and I got the thing about how he wasn't going to get the game time he was getting at Godoy Cruz or something like that, right? But then immediately signed for River Plate, where... Why would he... Get... So it clearly shows that that's complete bollocks, and it's just a way of the game saying, no, you're not allowed to sign this player because reasons. Uh, River Plate in Uruguay? Wait, there's a River Plate in Uruguay? Oh, yeah. I love it. They were like, we're going to steal the logo, but not entirely. I get the feeling they're probably not going to be that great. But as for the other River Plate, I um got a team report on the memory. Like, there's some really good players here. The issue is, of course, just the pricing on them is, is insane. And their wages are actually very high. Managed to spell their name right. Great. Yeah. So the, you'll get a news article saying that it was your player was poached by X club and it will show like a little preview of them, but you can't actually click on the player yet. You'll only notice it because these guys here, these are all poached players. So you'll see here that it doesn't even list Treaty United. But if I go to his bio, began his career at Treaty United. So you'll get like a little solidarity thing from them, but you won't see anything more from them basically at that point so those are th we've got so many of them in our clauses right now um i'll show you so coleman cunahan uh keating i don't know about lynch i think no lynch is one of them mclean is one of them o'hara uh those are all currently the ones that are out there at the moment but there's there's more as well we've had more players poached we just don't have them they've not actually genned through yet uh are there pirates is it Masters? Oh, interesting. Now, I definitely haven't done one for Orlando Pirates, so this will be interesting. Yes. So you can get five. Well, it's 5% though. And they will sometimes sell you the claws. So they'd have to sell them for a fuckload of money for you to really get anything truly beneficial out of it. When I'd much rather just have the player. Like, Ilya Keating's a legit good player. 28 games of being. Good. Good stuff. Countless homegrown at club. I don't know. Because we want... We wondered, actually, at one point, if Emmett Doran was poached by Rochdale. But when we looked at his, it doesn't say that. It says he came through at Rochdale. But that doesn't explain why he's homegrown trained in Ireland, considering he'd never played in Ireland until he joined us. But maybe there's something else for Irish players. But I've had other players that don't have that. It's weird. Yeah, so that will happen a lot, Chikia. It's a new thing that I've noticed this year, and it's very irritating. Oh, damn it. So I rest Ackman out so we can play, and then... Yeah. Then he gets injured anyway. So the one problem with Ackman is that. Something. I suppose so. It'd be nice if it just showed up in like the bio though. Like if it's implying that, at least have something. They just pick a random side and assign it to him, you know? That'd be kind of cool. Just anything like that. So we've got Malma next. And annoyingly, we're going to be doing it without Ackman. Although... I don't know if I was able to register uh, my fr our friend there. Good to see. I love getting a loan report through that shows... What? Unhappy at the promise not kept. What? Um? Correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but at no point have I had the opportunity to re-register these guys. We haven't been prompted to register any players for the Champions League yet. So why are they upset about the fact that I didn't register them when I haven't had the opportunity to do that yet? Uh, we've not had anything come up, say, register your squad for the Champions League yet. But they're upset because I haven't yet... What? Shouldn't it know when the... Blah. Okay. We move. That's a little bit annoying. Heron Vane. 
Chat. Do you know what my favorite thing about Hero Vane is? Do, do you know what it is? I just... I think it's so cool, chat, that they have hearts on their kit. It's just... It's so pretty. It's like they love their fans, right? It's just... Beautiful. And we move. King Hour with 100 bits. Hot Vasa Tolle Story Talk og Tolle Gjær Ølt Dolde Journalist On Live Polish TV Just Somebody Spek Also The Journalist Was Stalking To Everybody Oh dear That's quite cute though Albert That really is Every time Every single fucking time <laughs> I love it Because people can't resist correcting you It's amazing I love it Even if I say it in the most sarcastic tone <laughs> No, they're lilies. Um, but every time I see Heronvin, I always do that just to see if someone bites because it's just funny. Ah, uh, didn't take long, did it? Ah, I do like their kits, so they are pretty sick. Right, FAI Cup and Sligo. That's annoying. Valencia want Diaz. He might actually get a bit shitty, but he's been here six months. Chill. <laughs> oh, sh you've just joined us, you bell piece. No. I'm not selling you after six months. If you wanted to go to Valencia, you should have signed for them six months ago. He's actually... All right, no. You've got... A, your contract is... Oh, well, I don't care. <laughs> He's an idiot. You've been here six months. Pipe down. Oh. Well, to be fair, she wouldn't do anything that I wouldn't be because I'm barely doing anything myself at this point. Plus, Pog is busy currently. <laughs> Red kidney beans. I'm going to use that one next time, Johnny. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, no, I, I always do it just because it it's just funny to see how people go, oh, no, someone is wrong on the internet. Like, I'll do it more and more sarcastically each time and people still fall for it. It's fun. Um, I, I have a good time. Danko's progress. Good. He's making it. That's the key thing. Rodriguez as well. It's a bit all over the place, but he'll get there. Oh, and Danko could speak English now. Sick. Or Irish, in this case. Or most likely English. Who are Chincha? I actually have no idea. I think they're a Venezuelan side. Maybe. Or could be Peruvian. Yeah, they're a Peruvian side. So I was looking at the top teams from each South American nation, and they, if they were in the top six, they probably got a scout report. Just in case there's anyone absolutely ludicrous there, you know? Most of the time there isn't, but... Patrick's fallen off a little bit. Oh, he was that guy with a really good passing. Yeah. I am still kind of interested in him. So, thankfully, he's on the shortlist anyway. So, there's no big deal there. Team lookups now. No, no, we could do team lookups as well. Well, no, team lookups was just they wanted to see the team. But if people are doing team reports, then I'm if I'm going on a team, I might as well get a report on them anyway. Uh, wait, what was this? Oh, yeah. Every two weeks, Barry Cunningham comes and complains. And then he'll complain again in about another 10 days. And every single time, I just send Emmett around to have a chat. Like, just... Jesus, Barry. Bits are coming quite high for Palinic now. It's almost like he's really good. Municipal. Anyone? Mm, probably not. Have a look at you. For Nordbeck. Uh, nope. Those are all Norwegian sides. Weirdly, Nordbeck has turned down every single loan I've tried to arrange for him so far. So far, it's very annoying. Him and Jonsson, they compl they complain about not going out on loan, and then every time I try to arrange a loan for them, they turn it down. That that for me is just a bit silly, isn't it? Uh, right, okay, this is huge. Dundalk Besiktas, Treaty Malma, Bohemian AGF, and well, obviously no one else in here because they got knocked out, didn't they? That reminds me, we didn't actually see if Drogheda won, did we? I assume they didn't. So pass loss 3-0. Drogheda did beat Siska. They actually beat them. Oh, they lost the tie, but they won a game. That's very impressive. I'll take that. Talking to the persuade them. So the problem is I don't often get the chance because it just gets accepted. And then it jumps straight to the negotiations and then I can't talk to the player. I think that's one of the downsides of having my uh, loan manager do stuff. So we're, we're doing all right. 1.8 points. We haven't gained anywhere so far today. But the key thing is, look how close we are to all these guys at the moment. So if we could just have a solid season and start to reel these guys back in, we could maybe not 
we could maybe not lose too much this year. And really, this year is just about not losing too much because that ridiculous year we're going to lose. Uh, okay, so. Emmett, the double boys. I want to see how they do against a better side here. Uh, it's going to have to be Stoyanovich because of the issues there. Carp, Palak, Mateus back. Uh, that's... I'd say that's okay. Who else we got? Oh, wait, hang on. Need to get rid of the other 19 squad, otherwise we'll... There we go. Dia needs to be on the bench, surely. Danko's tired. Ackman's injured. Well, not injured, but like rubbish. Uh, Kozlowski. Oh, what the fuck? Who's the new keeper? That would be Mihov. And he's extremely cool. Uh, Kasper Kozlowski. Kozlowski. There he is. Oh, he's Man United. 32 years old. Man United. Yeah, he's a bit good, isn't he? 68 caps. Rubbish. Get one more. I Damn it. He's, he's a bit all right, isn't he? <laughs> I talked to him in a fortnight, literally, yeah. It's one of these days. He's got some decent attributes, hasn't he? Particularly his mentals. But then, I suppose, he is an older player. Ergo. Then again, you sometimes get really young players. Whenever I see a younger player with really outrageous mentals, I'm always just like, yes. Because you just know they're going to get even better. Generally speaking, anyway. Hey, Maris. Right, let's do that. That's worrying, but I don't get the feeling that we're going to score. Alban Sandberg is really good, isn't he? Yeah, he's quite good. We're, we're probably unlikely to score five goals like we have done in all the other games so far today on stream. But at the very least, yes, we might get... As long as we win, that's what matters, right? Damned! Thank you very much for the follow. The hair salon. I like it. What did you get? Was it a perm? Tell me it was a perm, Marius. Pogs just... Why, why are you laughing at, Pogs? That's a perm. A perm. It's very 80s. Right. I love it. We don't even have to change screen to concentrate on Dundalk. But what I can do is put the Bose game on this one here. Love it. We're dual screening it live. Imagine if Dundalk got through. That would be genuinely a game changer. I know the coefficient would probably get a bit fucked by it in a way. But then I feel like the money they'd gain from a Champions League group stage appearance. And I think the, they'd get a coefficient bump from getting there as well, wouldn't they? Oh, dear. Come on. I want to see how well we do against a slightly better... Oh, Alakou's through again. The gap's opened up and it's 1-0. <laughs> Eight minutes gone. Mihai Alakou. God damn. This is... This is looking something else. Alakou looks really good in this system now. It's like this has allowed us to get the most out of him, even though what we were doing before as well. Lovely pass, actually, from Thighs Freeze. Alakou's in. It's just a great finish. Costs about four times as much in it. Literally, that it. This is the uh, the playoff round, so the final round of qualifying. It's weird seeing three Irish sides still left in this. Person's ball in. Oh, that's a chance. And that's a goal. Always Roy Malmer. We do seem to play them a lot, don't we? I think it's just because there's a limited number of teams that are going to be in the champion's draw that get funneled into that every year. And... Malmo always seem to win the Swedish League, so as a result, we just always seem to end up drawing them for whatever reason. It is just a bit strange that we do play them so much, though. We've not done that well so far here, actually. Um, Diallo struggled a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Freezes ball. Yes! Stanislav Spack at the back post. One, no, two one to Treaty. Good stuff. We're still scoring goals. That's the key thing. Maybe we will get the five after all. It's a lovely little flick on heading. You don't see this that often, but it's a great little flick on from Mate to the back post. Four times amount of yeah. It's I want to see I want to see Yurtaborg be able to challenge. We'll press Alban Sandberg. We've been eh so far. But we'll let the game settle down a little bit and see what else we can do. Alaku. Oh, the space. Look at the bodies in the box. All the way through. Right now it could be a chance for Malma. We need to get just get a tackle on him here. Oh, that's okay, actually. We forced them back. It certainly gets the um, midfielders doing a lot of running. So they're going to have to be seriously fit in order to play these roles for us. But this is a good test because Malware are definitely a lot better side than FK Sarajevo. Oh, we've intercepted it brilliantly. The donut. Look at the runners. Millie's on the left now. There's five, six guys going towards the box. The donut. And it's it's 3-1. Okay. I'm liking this. Even against good sides, it feels like we'll give up chances more, obviously, because they're better sides. But it feels like we'll, we will be absolutely lethal on the counter-attack. Because look when we pick this ball up. There's one, two, three, four, five guys 
bombing into the box to get on the end of this. The counterattacks are going to be absolutely outrageous. I mean, I'm happy with what we're doing. We're 3-1 up. I ain't changing it. We're good. I'm... Oh, I, yeah. ah, I'm happy with this system right now. It's all good. Originally, I was thinking about maybe playing him as like a... A, a CMS, but at this point... I'm fine with it. Bows have equalized. Go on, bows. I'd kind of like bows to not go through. Yeah, I know, massive man. I was like, I saw them go 2 0 up, and I was like, perfect. They're going to do really well, go third place in the league, and then Galway score three in 15 minutes. I was livid. Right, three, one and a half time is solid. Yeah, three would be a bit excessive, but I'm, I'm fine with two. Dundalk are beating Bashik. Chat, Dundalk are beating Bashiktas. This is not a drill. <laughs> Come on! Holy shit. And of course, it's Unai Alonso from the spot. I can't believe this. They're winning. Oh my god. If, Dun if Dundalk qualify for the group stages, that would actually be ahead of schedule. In terms of, I don't think we had another Norwegian side actually get all the way with us for a while. But they were regularly performing well in the other competitions well before they actually managed to get someone to qualify for this. And Spac's there as well, and it's offside? Maybe. It might be given. Oh, dear. Whew. We'll see. If this is given, bloody hell. Mm. It's 4-1. We're 4-1 up in Sweden. We might actually get the five goals again. Even against a team like Mal uh, Malma. We're scoring. Look, we've scored every shot on target. This is not how we used to behave. It's... the ch I'm telling you. It's something about the way that you create chances. I am going to get Stoyanovic off, though. Just because he needs a rest and he's knackered. Diallo's having a weirdly bad game, actually. But I wonder if, again, that's because of the footed. This is very intriguing. Mulder tuned up in there, by the way. Isn't this incredibly vulnerable on the counter? Yes, but the other thing is, it's also incredibly... It makes them incredibly vulnerable on the counter. Watch when we win the ball off them in any area of the midfield. <laughs> it's all I will say. Because we have such an attacking threat there, it makes us such an counter-attacking threat ourselves too. So I feel like you will concede goals doing this, but we have such a huge attacking threat. Attack at defenders all? Probably not, which is why I think against really good sides, we can probably go with a, a DM behind them. Emmett Dorrance through. It's 5-1. It's 5-1. I think this one actually is going to be offside. Oh, I was worried about it. Um, but now I'm starting to think that it actually is legit. It's 5-1. We've actually continued this run. We've scored five goals in every single match that we've played this tactic, no matter who we're playing against. It's a great ball through from the donut. Emmett's onto it, and we're 5-1 up in Sweden. A BBM-type player? I, I suppose, but I'm like... Like, I'm fine. This tactic is fine. Um, the type players... It feels like you could kind of put anybody in it at this point. But if they do have a good... Def I'd like it if they had a bit of tackling about them just in case. But I don't think it's the end of the world. I'm very, very pleased with this. Let's see. Maybe Preo Taser? Just give him a little rest. Most important stamina work rate. Um, I think finishing is also quite important just because they are going to be going through on goal quite a lot. So it's kind of key. Well, that, and we play ball winning, uh, ball playing defenders, which means that they're often some of the ones actually finding those little cheeky passes, as we will now see with Mate. Because they drop deep to pick the ball up, but then they will just bomb. It's brilliant. So now Alaku's there. Look at the runs. It feels like there's definitely, it's nowhere near as defensively stable for obvious reasons, but it's so attackingly threatening that it feels like it's almost impossible to deal with. Oh. Plus, with the higher tempo as well, it just unsettles everybody constantly. Millie drops it around the side for the donut. And back for Millie. And it's 6-1. Six, 6-1. One. Six, one. Alec can see him and just drop him. Um, Probably just drop him. Because we wouldn't be using that very often. So he wouldn't care if he missed the odd game here and there. Um, the other thing is about it. Because, as I was saying, because we have so many attacking runners, look how far back their midfield has to retreat just to track them. And so when they do win the ball here, say this guy intercepts it. They've got one guy up front, which means they'll inevitably have to try to play a long pass. Because if they try to play out from the back, we've got six guys that are already in a trigger, a press triggering position. So if they do lump it long, one knockdown header and you're off again. Now, we will still get caught out with mistakes from time to time. I can feel that, obviously. But, yeah. 
Oh. Then we go outside the UK and I with the regular league and not too many nationality restrictions. Illinois. Well, we did Norway last year, uh, so that'd be kind of pointless. But I I'm probably doing Hungary next year. <gasps> with two or three strikers. Well, if we had two or three strikers, it wouldn't have... Those play you can't just add. You have to take them from somewhere. Or do you mean like from an, an opposition's two or three strikers? Well, think about it like this. If they have two or three strikers, they have to take those positions from somewhere. So it means that they'll, they'll be even lighter in the midfield. So basically, if we get a really weak pot two side, sorry, pot four side in this group that I feel like we can absolutely smack, then I'm going to try this against all the big sides too because I just want to see how it behaves against them. Um, Besiktas now the 10 men here. Sadly, AGF now winning, which is annoying. But I don't mind, actually. I'd rather Bose lose this tie, to be fair, because that means they'll be in the group stages of the Conference League. And that's better for us, because they got through last year, and the coefficient gain is mega. We had six shots on target and scored all six goals. This is not what would have happened before. Something's changed. And I think I was right with what I was saying. Because the chance quality is still pretty de decent, but they're scoring them now all of a sudden, where they weren't before. It's... I, I think I was right. <coughs> Dundalk won. They are a goal up. If they don't lose the second leg, they will be in the group stages of the Champions League. Yeah, Hungary would be fun. I'll probably do Vassas. Two goals. Did he get two in that? Oh, he did, didn't he? So, so far, here's when I switched it over. There. That's when I decided to try this tactical style out. Seven, five, eight, five, five, ten, six. And just the two goals conceded. Which is surprising. We should have conceded more. Honestly. Our, our goalkeeper's been a massive help with that. I'm excited. What does that do coefficient-wise? We should be above two points now, right? Or not quite. 1.9. Really? We both won and it only gave us a... Okay. Fair one. Although... Yeah, that's fine. Because Greece are having a really bad start. The Youth Academy Challenge. Uh, which one's that? Is that where you just don't sign anybody? Because if so, uh, I think it's fine. But I would never do it. Uh... Let's see. Bad cow. Agreed. <laughs> I bet that's not what it means in Sweden, though. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's not a challenge I'd ever do. Uh, like, I, I would... For content, it would be boring as fuck. Let let's be honest. It would be. So I would never do it for content. Um, Nasya now. I mean, we can't afford these guys, obviously. Look at the... Actually, he could be affordable. Ooh. Daniel Mazzoncini. I like him. Look at that. Obviously, we need more information, but... And he's okay on both feet. What about you guys? Jose Luis Morena. A... Ooh, and okay tackling. Considering. Good stuff. Bruno Ganesh with Scotland. Don't need it. That's this save, apparently. Guy is having blue poke. Ah, hang on. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Physicals are a little bit sus. Translates as Malma. Interesting. <laughs> Meaning to Mal the Mer. <sighs> that actually is a good point, Hazy. He's kind of interesting, actually. Anyone I see that comes through with early analysis that isn't a C. Uh, why Vassas? Because Pushcasts are in the top flight. Uh. Hang on, let's try and get this right. Why am I struggling here? Nails? Nick Burns? I'm so sorry if I've screwed your name up there. I'm sure this is like something I'm stumbling over. But thank you so much for the follow. How are Ross County? Not super well. Uh, he's gone, Hyde. He's gone back to Colombia. I sold him to um, Independiente Medellin in the summer because he he basically got swamped by other players and never really found any game time. So I thought it would just for the best of his career to get him gone. He, he did work well in terms of the... The actual transition worked, but it just wasn't going to be long-term good. Yeah, very good free kick. I mean, to be fair, he can't take a better free kick than thighs freeze, can he? That man's free kicks are off the charts. So I like him. What a cool name. Edo Norax Cavo. Big fan of that. Just anyone that comes through that isn't rated as a C, I'm intrigued by it. Particularly as he'll talk to us and he's 18. When does he turn 19? Oh, ages away. So that's perfect. So we can keep an eye on him. Because he is someone I wouldn't mind picking up. But I want to wait until we get group stage money first. Because at the moment, I think we're still considered rich. Yeah. But I'm worried if I bought a player, it might... You know what the danger we're in. We don't want any excuse for the board to do silly nonsense. Bames Ward Mouse. Gin yeah, Gin 
Thijs, I wish there was a free kick score stat, but there isn't, is it? It only breaks it down by penalties. He scored maybe seven or eight free kicks direct this season already. Um, it's actually, and two in one, no, he's scored multiple, he's had multiple games in which he's scored more than one direct free kick. And I am, I don't know why. He's only got 16 free kicks. They're, like, they're good, but not that good. Do I want to bring in any of these new guys? I don't think I can. I think we've kind of got this squad maxed out. Yeah, I have. It's sort of pretty much perfect state right now. So Diaz is going to get annoyed at me again, but whatever. I uh, haven't brought anyone new in. I did manage to get the Vakovic registered though, which is good. I don't think I can really change this squad. It's maxed out really. Uh, intakes are September. So we should maybe either get it today or next stream. Three countries to make a great long save, Kevin. Um, it depends what kind of save, Kevin. If I'm doing building a nation, Ireland, Hungary, Poland. Those are the three. Uh, I think everyone else is sub to that. Uh, Austria is good too, but it's too high for me to start with. Those are my favorite three. Is Demiri still the top? Yeah, seven man of the match was for Demiri this season. Absolute filth. Direct free kicks on the team stats for the league. Oh, you can, can't you? Uh, six direct free kicks we've scored. That's still quite a lot, in fairness. I think he's got some in cups as well, though. 13 corner goals. That's really been useful for us. Poland was is great fun. Offers me for Palinic Mate. Just got to get through a few more days. Romania's fun, but if you're doing building a nation, the, the rules in Romania are quite restrictive, are they not? Great place to get players from, though. Romania is very poggy for signing players. <laughs> That's the key. We've got so many good Romanian players in this save. Then again, Croatia have obviously generated a few quality players, too. Ah, oh, Inter have signed Tom FM. They just never scouted him enough. No matter what I did, they just never seemed to get enough scouting information. <sighs> a combined Sweden-Norway database. Oof. How do... That would be very tough, John, I would suggest. You'd, you'd really struggle. The Irish sides are good in sanity. I say that. We've lost two. So, Drogheda are done. St. Pats are done. But Dundalk are 1-0 up against Besiktas in their leg, in their, like, tie. And Bows are 2-1 down, which is actually good in a weird way. Harabish Vultures. Right, yeah. Right, okay, 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 okay. Let me just set up this lineup up. And then we will go from there. I'm going to start Prayo Taser again here. And I'm also going to put Diallo in the midfield for this one. Because I feel like he performs way better in centre mid. Possibly because of the footed thing. Which makes me think that actually doing that would be better. Ackman's Backman. Is he though? Surely I could play a different guy. Fuck it, let's put Cole Sprouse in. He's actually developing all right. If he can do it in the league against Dundalk, then there's really something. Rest for Alaku. Yeah. Uh, who do I want, though? You know what? I know who I want. I want Tom Howcroft. Big Tommy H. He can do a job. Palak Matic can do the rest, too, which might mean a space for Danko. We've got a wealth of quality centre-backs. It's, it's a nice position to be in. Oh. Dundalk. Oh, Dundalk are, are Mulder. No doubt about it. They are completely and utterly Mulder right now. That team that is just well above everybody else, I'd say. And it feels like Bows are starting to slowly become Braun. Did Bows play? Yes, they did. They lost 2-1 at home. Okay, right. So, Harabish Vultures, firstly, to get us ready. And then, I need a pick. <laughs> hey. So, and a five, and a four, and a three, and a two, and a one, and take it away, Harold. The minute you get up tight, you're dead. <laughs> I try not to lose my temper with myself. Oh, ah, goodness sake and shit and balls. The minute you get up tight, you're dead. The minute you get up tight, you did. And yes, hopefully Rosenborg are Scammer Rovers. That's the play. Right. I need a pee-pee today, but uh, today, he said. <laughs> I don't take them on Fridays, chat. I've been holding it in since Thursday's stream. <laughs> no. Um, so, new plan. Pun game today is going to be slightly different. It's good. Uh, you came in summer. I in have winter. selected a person from chat, and you're going to make puns based on their name instead, like we did with Henry last time. And that person is Leaf. You're welcome, Leaf. <laughs> so, we want puns related to leaves or using Leaf Green. There's your, there's your challenge, chat. I hope that's okay, Leaf. Obviously, if it's not, then we won't do this anymore. But I thought it'd just be a bit fun. Um, Regan, thank you very much for the follow. I'm going to go pee-pee now. Back in a sec, friends.
Welcome, my friends. We have returned. Ah, oh, dear. What did Icarus do? Hang on. Wait, let me have a look. I can't... S oh, well, let me scroll, damn it. Jan Venegor of Heeseleaf. <laughs> oh, dear. Silo Leaf Green. Good work. Hmm. Ah, good stuff. Right. It's time to see if this will work. I just want to keep the streak alive. Just for one more day. So this is what happens when I can't think of an actual pun prior to peeing. I was that desperate, Chato. Let's do that. Ross. <laughs> Ross, but actually that kind of worked. I like that. I think we had that. It's too close to trees, really, shouldn't it? It's too close. Leaf. She was absent without leaf. <laughs> that moss Barkley is good. Oh, Dundalk have started well here. I don't actually mind if they do, to be fair. They never left. Leaf is omnipresent. <laughs> she transcends. <laughs> like an ethereal being. Oh, some effort. Okay, I wouldn't even mind if we lost this. Like, it wouldn't do our, us any favors, but it would probably help Dundalk keep their. Uh... I love. I love that Cole Sprout. This might be the first time I've actually played him in a game like on purpose. Looked at him and gone, you know what? I think he could actually do a job for us in the league. He's a youth player chat that came through our academy and everything. Oh, ball through Esmond Falcon Horse wide of the post. Leaf is life, true that. Okay. So why is Danko pissed? At, why is he? Oh, it's probably just because he's aggressive. <laughs> it's just a standard setting. Cole Sprouse, Ahmed Diallo. That's, yeah, I was going to say, that is definitely not a pen. Yeah, Roy Gavin's still here. I'm trying to keep him around long enough to get that testimonial for him. Which should be fairly close, Cole Spruce. Ball in. Gregerson, wide of the post. Hedrus picked first. <laughs> ah. I think we made Henry's day with that last time around. It's actually a 36 game season, Kevin. Uh, you'd be surprised. Which isn't always a good thing. Um, <laughs> because it does mean that this season, when, wait till you see our Champions League group uh, fixture congestion. We're going to have like four games a week, pretty much. For like four weeks in a row. It's not good. But this is what I mean about the breakdowns of the attacks. We are going to get caught on the counter. But as long as we can get one opportunity for them to turn back inside, we're good. Leaf, that means you have to give us a pun now. <laughs> Them's the rules, bud. <laughs> Leafy and Turan. 27 games, yeah. That's the thing. I like that we have a longer season because one of the things in Norway that our players were... It was less opportunity to try players out domestically because we only had 30 league games. Whereas now, with 36, it does at least give us that. But the fixture congestion is absolutely heinous. I get the feeling we might not be getting our five goals today, friends. This might be the first time today that we've not scored five or more in a game. And I think at that point, really, we should just tear it up. Tactics ruined. Absolutely useless. Andy's still... Actually, Andy's out on loan, if, if I recall, still. So we... Uh, he's doing all right. He has scored goals in the second tier for um, Shelbourne. We're doing a pretty good job, though, even with a weakened side of playing better than Dundalk. So that actually does make me feel pretty good. I was kind of hoping that Dundalk would catch some Pats. The last thing we need is some Pats in the Champions League next year. I say, I'd say, yeah, just tear it up at that point. The Donuts had a poor day. Surprisingly. As has Howie, but... Actually, do I even want to do that? That's a waste. Let's bet Tortuza off there. Tortuza. And uh, maybe... Ever well, Prayer Taser struggled. I wonder if his comes deep to get ball is now going to be a problem with this Star Wars before it wasn't. Three games in five... Yeah, exactly. Uh, we have because of the Champions League. If you have Champions League football in a season where you've also had an international tournament, which is what's going to happen this year, 
you wait. Thankfully, we've already won the league nearly, so it doesn't actually matter if we play quite literally the B team for every single league game for the rest of the year if we wanted to. Whereas, be But before, it was much more of a bigger problem when we were actually having to battle for the title. Look, we literally could have won the title there with nine games to spare. Uh, I'm still going to yell at them. Had to be done. But again, Mihov is really solid. So we're 26 points clear with a game in hand on them. It's tight, isn't it? It's tight. And that means we qualify for the chat. Oh, budgets. What do we reckon? I feel like we've almost qualified for the Champions League too early. Because it feels like we end up qualifying before we get all our Champions League money. And as a result, the board don't allow us to... They did give me more transfer funds, by the way. But too little, too late kind of thing. What do you reckon then? I reckon 15 mil. I reckon we get 15 mil a budget. Also, we're only a couple of weeks away from our new stadium, hopefully. Finally. That I can finally change the name of it. 15 would be... 15 to 16 would be acceptable. But I reckon we're going to get fucked. Oh. Does it give us more budget, at least? Wage budget. Nope. No new wage budget. And that is not good. Where's the 30 millions we were getting before? When we had less money in the bank. It's not great, is it, really? When you look at where we are. It doesn't make it easy for us because... The reason is, it's because we, we end up winning qualifying too early. So we don't get our Champions League money in yet. And as a result, they don't give it to you. Do we have any debt? I don't think so. Or, or if we do, it's very minimal. 1.2 million in transfer debt. So it's, it's not a great deal. We're all right. So we could structure some deals if we want to for a bit. Which is actually surprising. Usually I have a lot of transfer debt because of the way we sign players. But even now, we've been very good about this this year. Champions League place. Good. What I would say, though... One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven league games without conceding a goal. Nine, ten, eleven. One goal conceded in the league in eleven matches. That's kind of ridiculous. Our defensive situation has been great. Be a good trek for rotation? Oh, probably. But I really want to get um, Jovetic in more once he's trained that role because I think he is the long-term successor, if you like. Well, maybe successor, but challenger to Alaku. But he needs to learn the role first. Which he is doing, of course. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, although as a Trek. Pardon. More information required, but still cool that yet another ridiculous Romanian's come through. Because of course he has. It's just a it's just a pattern at this point, isn't it? Rick Caller. <laughs> what a great name. He gets gassy too often, though. That's the one problem with old Rick. What this guy? 44 million. Yeah, no. <laughs> You guys, I think, for the most part, are... But look, see here, look. 18-year-old Brazilian will talk to us. 19-year-old Brazilian will talk to us. It's better. It's not perfect, but it is definitely improving slightly. Romanian national team. I wonder how many players we've got in it. I think it's at least three. Yeah, three guys. We've got three guys in the Romanian national team. And technically, Stalea is another guy I was looking at before. He's a pretty good trek as well. The finishing's a bit of a letdown on him, actually. We've got three guys in it currently, but Preo Taser is also pretty close to national team level as well. So, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty good. And we've got another guy that's probably going to get in it one day. Uh, no, it won't be in yet, Hyde, because I like it would go to the back of the list of about 50 reports, and you only get one a day, so it'll come through at some point. I'm still getting the South American reports through at the moment. Gone are the days where you can get multiple team reports in a day, sadly. Because um, I think there's a glitch with it. Have we got three and a half star rep? I think it's still three stars. Yep. Luckily, the league is three and a half star rep, though. So I think that's helping, to some extent. Delegate a lot on first impressions. Yeah. So I'm doing way more secondary and tertiary scout reports on players. Now, I have actually delegated all of our scouting back to Tom Brady, though. I'm no longer using the manual scouting because it just wasn't doing anything for us. We weren't gaining any knowledge by it, and that was really what I was hoping we would. So, yeah, it's a shame. But it just didn't work for us. New stadium is due on the 9th of September, unless they've changed it again. Oh, uh, wait, hang on. It's in facilities, isn't it? Yeah. No, sorry, the 7th of September. That's our move-in date, allegedly. Yeah, exactly, Hyde. Um, plus... From, it feels like you can't progress your own reputation that much beyond what your league's rep is. So it feels like getting the league rep up is key for you and allowing your, actually, your current growth as well. So having that three and a half star rep that we've now got for, for Ireland, I think has also allowed seemingly other 
Irish teams to start signing better players too, which is kind of key. Major trophy. Yeah, I wouldn't know anything about that. We lost our only major trophy final. It's a shame it's not my other save. Then I could feel good. I think it is Musharak, yes. And it would certainly have extension capability because it's basically just shy of 10k in terms of its capacity to begin with. And then we'd have room to improve a little bit more. He's all right, actually. But he's nearly fully scouted. The problem is we're kind of running out of space for players like that. And I feel like we'd be better off just trying to focus on younger players than a player like that. Still good, though. Bump up to 4.5. Hell yes. Right. The next one is the big one, though. They accept loan offers. I love how his value just immediately jumped. Have we got him fully scouted yet? No. They just haven't been doing it, have they? Salgado, by the way, has been amazing for St. Pat's. 15 goals this season. He's the top scorer of all the loan guys at, that are currently out on loan. Salgado is smashing it. He's the reason St. Pat's are doing as well as they are, because they've got him. Even though they had him last year, but they also had... So Florian Weiss has not even got a loan spell this year, and it's a shame. Luke Wilson's injured? No. No, no undefeated seasons. Every year we lose one annoying game. This year it was 2-1 against Derry at home. Super annoying. But also, I think it's because that other tactic we made was really bad for Insta results. And this one feels like it's going to be way more solid. Although, admittedly, I have not tested it yet. So that could be wrong as well. And that's always where it tends to get us. They're always Insta result of games that we lose. You'll look at the stats and it's just like, how? <laughs> but needs must sometimes. Oh, see you later, Ricky. Have a good day, man. Okay. Luckily, Fulham aren't playing until Monday this weekend. So I can uh, enjoy the weekend a little bit first. Have a lay-in tomorrow. It's going to be lovely. Go for a nice run. Oh, dreams. Twisted ankle for Malthin. No, that's actually kind of bad. He's been really good for Dundalk. Hopefully that doesn't cost him in the Champions League. Because this next game could be extremely useful. If Dundalk pull that off against Besiktas, that would be the biggest thing that's happened in the save so far. And I include us getting to a Europa League final. Having an Irish side actually go into the group stages this early would be insane. Thank you, Hyde. Looking forward to it. Sort of. <laughs> Test shots when we win the league. The problem is, it, I find that it's bad for rotating players as well, which is why I tend not to do it in areas where we need to sort that stuff out. Which is why I tend to use it for that period where we've got nothing else on. We can still test it on stream at some point, though. Because there's nothing wrong with that. If we get a little, little like, gap, like, maybe before the Champions League games start, we could test it. Uh, oh, Diallo got another... Wow, he actually got recalled up to the... IRE there you go. Your dreams come true, bud. Oh, Caracas. Okay, we're getting through South America now. Wow, the tackling. 23-7 caps. Nice. When is the bank holiday again? I've forgotten. Or is it this weekend again? I always lose track. Okay, that is immense. What happened in Europe so far? Playoff round. Us, 6-1 up. Dundalk, 1-0 up against Besiktas. We could have two RSIs in the Champions League group stages if they do it. Monday. Oh, sick. I'll be doing nothing. I'll be working. I don't really get bank holidays, unfortunately. Um, let's see. Emmett, Millie, Diallo. No, no, no. I'm going to do Diallo left side again and then Espen right side again because I really liked that last time. These two are good. Ackman's back, finally. It's the first time he's managed to rotate back into the full squad properly. And I want Deer on the bench just in case. I'm very Danko, actually, instead of Milosevic. He's just a better defender. When did Sanjiallo? I signed him off stream um, for 160 grand because he was available and we desperately needed just another right-sided player. And because I couldn't find anyone that was, like, young and ready to go, I saw him there. I was like, let's just get him. <laughs> uh, like a job at all? Uh, no. Nope. I can promise you it feels like a job because it is a job. Um, I kind of hate that, like... It's like, at the end of the day, it is a job and it still functions like a job. Like, do I enjoy it? Absolutely. But no more than anyone else enjoying the job that they do, really. Um, so believe me, it does not feel like a hobby. Uh, there's a lot of pressure. Let's put it that way. Like, there's no, like, safety net. You are your own boss, but in the same way, that means you are responsible for everything. Oh. How do you reckon that's going to go, Daz? Prioritizer, he's doing okay. Um... I'm trying to put him in at striker every chance I get when Emmett isn't needed. So, and with obviously Vostrek out on loan now, that's good because it means that there's less space in the squad that's going to be taken out. Particularly with one striker systems, of course, now we are, um, there's less room for it, I suppose. The off screen stuff. Well, that's the thing. Um, <laughs> that, that is literally it. It's the, yeah, it's, it's cool and all, but the, in order to get to those next games, what I have to structure each stream, that's like another four hours of work. 
Cool joy of playing games. Uh, not really, no. Believe me, if it was, you'd know. Um, I have had moments where I've been a little bit burnt out by it at times because, but I'm, I'm getting through that now as I'm starting to understand what makes the match engine tick this year. But it's taken me a while to get there because uh, it's a bit counterintuitive. But I think we're kind of getting very close to figuring it out, it seems. Because whatever we're doing right now is working like crazy. Frank and Ericsson out. Take them together. I think he could, honestly. Right, this is so damn key. And we will go to here as well. Imagine if Dunbrook did it. That would be such an achievement for them. Like, I was disappointed when they got through the first round because I then knew that they would never be able to get into the group stages of the Conference League. And I figured they'd just get hammered in the group stages of the Europa League. But imagine if they actually did it. Hey, Blobsnail. If they went all... I mean, they're in good position. If they don't lose the game, they're through. And we'd have two Irish sides in the group stages of the Champions League. The money that that would make for Dundalk would be insane. Ackman. Oh, I am seriously having fun with it, um, Anarith. I'm really, really enjoying making YouTube videos lately. The comments have been fantastic. The support on the save has just been amazing lately. And I'm just having fun with it, really. every I'm trying to keep treat epi every episode like a self-contained story. Uh, I just had to encourage them when we were technically 6-1 up. How did he not put that over the line there? Oh. I think if they... Yeah, that's the thing. I think they're good enough to actually give it a crack this time around. They were well underpowered last time. And sort... Thank you for the two months. Have a great weekend, of the mat. Thank you, my friend. Very, very good. Ah, it's one all now. Disappointing. They nearly had it, though. I also just forgot that we won 6-1 in Sweden. This isn't even... <laughs> wow. Um... The reason why I don't think it would be quick throw is because I just feel like they would probably get smacked anyway. And if they're going to get smacked, well, I would rather have them in the conference league because they would smash it there and get loads of coefficient. But at least if they get to the Champions League, they'll get loads of money, like a lot of money that could be huge for years to come for them. Both are not done yet either. They could both end up in the conference uh, in the group stages of the Europa League at this point. I'd rather they didn't, though. I'd quite like both to go out. Just because I want them in the group stage of the Conference League. Because they did so well there last year. Yeah, that Rosenborg game last night was brilliant. I couldn't believe it. I actually don't mind chat so much about losing coefficient this year. If we go down a bit this year, we go down a bit this year. I'm no longer thinking like um, melodrama of, oh my god, the save's over. I'm feeling like long term, if this save does go 35, 40 seasons, plenty of time. Sometimes you've got to take a step backwards to take two forward, right? And I'm fine with that. I'm adapting a new lease of life. If I feel like what we're doing tactically, and I believe we are, is the right thing to do and is going to set us up long term, then I'm fine if it happens to be a bit of a weird season for us. Um, I feel like we've signed a lot of good young talent that's only going to improve and this team will slowly really start to go for it over the coming seasons. And I'm excited about the, the things to come with this team. I would like to win this game though, because any extra coefficient points would be kind of useful right about now. And... You just never know who Dunlop could get in their group. Imagine if they got a group that somehow there was a really weak pot three side and it allowed them to get third spot and knockouts of the Europa League. Ackman now, ball back for the... Oh, look at the amount of bodies we have in the box. And Espen Falkenhorst smashes it home. Like, we've beaten FK Sarajevo 13-0 on aggregate and now we're 7-1 up in the playoff round against Malmö. This is like old school treaty. Back when we were really at our very best. These are the kind of results we were putting together. Something feels different. The false position. Yeah, exactly. I feel like we overperformed a little bit to get into that final. Um, something just clicked for us, which was cool and all. But, du oh my god. Did you see that? I assume that chat saw that too. Dundalk are winning in Turkey. It's it's 1-0 to Dundalk. They are 2-0 up on aggregate against Besiktas. They are literally half an hour away from the group stages. And uh, look like an injury to uh, Besiktas player. Emmett Doran. Oh, Emmett. The money, exactly. The money is so good for the champions. Look at that. It's Cummings. The the money's so good that it's worth it. That's like £13 million Dundalk would get there. I mean, that is serious cash. Mulder didn't start getting regulated to the Champions League group stages until we were, like, challenging for titles in Europe. That's how much ahead of the curve Dundalk would be here. And it's now 2-0, and the Donut squad is 7. The Donut had no goals for this team this season when I started changing the tactic. He's got 7 in, like, 8 games. Oh, this is... Oh, what was the news, Maris? And we're just scoring up. Look how many shots on target we need to score a goal now. It just feels like we're just scoring everything. I really do think we found something here. And I think my theory is correct. 
Although Alaku's actually struggled a bit in this game. So has Diallo. So we'll give Millie a little run. And actually, Thigh's freeze has been a bit rubbish today. Let's get the Tortoise win. I know he's not really a good central midfielder, but I just want to see how he does there. So the club shop, club shop cup. Is that Mike's thing? See you later, JPEX. Hope you have a great Saturday. Kick out with the 99 bits. Going to go barbecue now. Have a nice day, Mark. Enjoy your barbecue. That sounds sick. I haven't had a barbecue in ages. Good save. Uh, I already actually am Hyde. I talked about this idea actually came from the Tromsa save. So the the double CM thing that I implemented a couple of games towards the very end of that episode. So against Arundal and against Songdal is when I did it. And it, it worked instantly. We were nil nil at half time against Songdal, and that's when I switched it and we won four nil. It's there's something to it. And I don't know why it would affect the way the strikers score, but my theory is that I, for those of you that missed this earlier, I'll, just, I'll run this down one more time. I think the match engine is showing you highlights that look better than they are. I.e., they'll go through one-on-one, -on -one and you'll go, they should have scored that. But then you'll look at the XG that it's attributed to that shot, and it'll be lower than one that you've scored, almost from a seemingly same position. And I think that's because when it's choosing what to show you as far as animated highlights go, it's not quite picking the right things that line up with what you'd expect them to look like in terms of the quality of chance. And I think that's why you're like, how are they not scoring these? And it's because the game actually doesn't think that the chance is that good, but you're looking at it and going, surely... I think that's what it is. But this tactic seems to create more chances that are just massively high quality that should be scored every single time, and they are. Hello, Pogs. What up, Chuff? I, I meant to say Chief, but I said Chuff instead, and that's, that's bad. <laughs> no worries, Hyde. Which one would you like, love? There's a whole selection here. I've got a plethora. Oh, it was given. Blackcurrant. Uh, let's see. That's Blackcurrant, but it's empty. Uh, that is mixed bear. I don't think I have any black. Have I, any in it uh, I believe so. Yes. Uh, yeah, you could probably get half a pot out of that. Uh, the, do you know what? I'll tell you what. I'll just give you all the vacancies. Here's a fun fact. Well, Tara can try and then you can decide. Just two blocks How about you? that? On the house. Who is the donut? That's um Jonas Dogar Sernat. Ah, uh, D Park. Thank you very much for the follow. Plethora is a great word, isn't it? I want a plethora of words like plethora. Gregerson is really good. Like, legit. 10 more minutes for Dundalk. As long as they don't... Actually, no, I'm saying nothing. I am... No words are being spoken by me until this is over the line. Just say plethora or agnosium. That's the one, Bob Snell. That's the guy. Good to board game, Mike. Sick. Crash him in wingspan a few times. Thank you. Like, see you later, Pixpinner. Depart straight in with the Twitch Prop. Well, that's very, very kind of you. Thank you so much. Welcome to the club, my friend. Yeah, Pog, uh, no, Pog um, didn't get the job that she went for the other day, but she did feel really good about it. So that's good. Yeah. They went for someone with more experience. You know the usual conundrum, the we want someone with more experience, but the only way anyone's going to get experience is by getting a job in the first place. And then, yeah, the standard one. We did score five. This is true, but we did be 9-1 in the playoff round which is a bit ridiculous. It's facing the game. Yeah, it has to be. So yes, um, Dundalk, I think the only t the only game that Dundalk didn't win was their first leg against DSK Sofia, where they actually lost 2-1 at home, but then won their away leg 3-0. So that's all good. Same as us. Seriously, Questionable Penguin. Up the mat and M's. You'll love to see it. Questionable Penguin's girlfriend's also called M. So there are mat and M's too. You'll love to see it. But she's not called Pog, though. Or you're just learning that her name's Pog. <laughs> Another Pog be out there. Yep. Dundalk are in. Oh, you're, yeah, exactly, Hyde. Lying on a CV. I know. She's getting a lot of offers to work for recruitment agencies. <laughs> she's got like three or four of them have just been like, do you want to come work for us? <laughs> Yeah, they might earn us nothing for the rest of the year, but they'll get points for qualifying and they'll get moon money. Urton, BC, thank you very much for the follow. Uh-oh, Koi King's about to, to slap some truth bombs on us here, I sense. The caps is uh, is worrying me. At least Bose went out and got a point. So I got a draw, which is more points. Yeah, I wish we could see their finances. So, well, they're going to get the same as us. 
Oh, not hire them. But that, I meant like actually work for them. They might. If they get like a good draw, they might get lucky. But their coefficient is going to be really low. Recruit youth players. True. So yeah. Uh, yeah, there is a skin that allows you to see it. But I don't like using that because for me, it feels a bit cheaty. Um, Espen was great again. So Dundalk will have just received the same amount of money as us there. So they've just got 12.65 million quid. It's great. Right. So what does that do coefficient wise? Four points. We've already got four. Chat. I, I, we have four points before the group stages have started. We ended up with 5.1 points after the group stages last year. And that was with Bose doing well in Europe. I mean, we may not be able to put a dent in that enormous deficit that we're going to lose. But you know what? We're going to give it a bloody good crack. So, as things stand, we would lose places to Denmark, Serbia, and the Czech Republic. So, we'd go down three and above Greece. We'd actually only lose two spots right now. And I mean, look at that. That's such a good season so far. We've got... Other than Norway, lol, and the Czech Republic, no one else has... This is very, very interesting. After tonight's games, well, this is... Those are the games. So that's now in. That's like after those games now. Um, okay. So now when's the draw? Chelsea want Mate. I want to go away. So now our finances are much better. We're back up to 40.1 million. Ruskin with the tier 2 at 12 months. You love to see it. Ah, oh, it's stay above fifteenth. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. Northern Irish, really, Bob's now. Thank you, Ruskin. How's it going? Rotorex. Thank you very much for the follow. The key for us is to not fall out of the top fifteen. If we somehow get through this season and don't fall out of the top fifteen, that is an extremely good year. I don't care if we fall down one spot. I'd rather... I mean, imagine if we made gains this year. I don't think we will. But also, Belgium are losing an insane year. Other transfers... I made loads. Um, I say loads. A decent. Um, there was... Mihov, which was, you already knew about. Vukic, which you knew about. There was Ortiz, who's a, a youngster that's gone out on loan to Sligo. There was uh, Mikulic, who's a youngster that's gone out on loan to Scamrock Rovers. There was uh, Glucevic, who's a youngster that I tried to get out on loan, but the loan fell through because reasons. Which is good. Uh, Bose, they'll be in the group stages of the uh, Europa Conference League. And then Davo Jovicic is the one I'm most excited about. I'm retraining him up here to play him as a Trek in theory because I really like him in that role. He's going to be like the Mihai Alaku successor, I'm thinking. So, yeah, Bose went out. They lost 3-2 on aggregate, but they did at least draw in one of the games too, which helps. So we're going to have us and Dundalk in the Champions League group stages and Bose will be in the Europa Conference League group stages. Doesn't look like young. Yeah, he had a tough paper round. Can't even remember that. Oh, he's going to complain again. 32. Oh, Pablo's back in the national team squad. Any newbies in there? Mm, Danko. Oh, no, he was already. Oh, no, that was his first cap he had before. Ah, there you go. The donut's happy now. Right, here it is. We're a third seed this year, of course, as a result of losing the uh, season that we went to the whole way. So this could be more complex or it could be beneficial for us. As long as our fourth seed is shit. So top seeds, Real Madrid, Liverpool. I mean, standard stuff, really. Porto are probably, again, although they've done really well once more, probably the best top seed. Although there's notably no Scottish side in there this time. So Scotland have obviously had a bit of a struggle. Pot two. Celtic, Red Bull, Salzburg, Inter. Those are the ones I'd like from pot two. Particularly Red Bull, Salzburg or Celtic. Pot three is obviously us. So at least we get to avoid... Do you know what, right? That's quite a lot of good sides we get to avoid there. The likes of Dortmund, Lyon, Marseille, Valencia, Benfica. What about pot four? This is what matters. Oh my God, Ajax... Roma. So we want someone like Brugge or Mulder, don't we? Or Ren. Or Slavia Prague, actually. And we can't obviously get Dundalk. They've got 10 coefficient points. They have the lowest coefficient of anyone by comfortable margins. Watch us get United and get battered by Juliet. It's, it's natural, isn't it? All right, then. Let's go. I just want a, I just want a group where third place is comfortably achievable. and We don't have to stress about it the whole time. Mulder would be great. Slavia Prague would be great. Brugge would be fine. Any of those sides. I feel like we could sweep them out of the way easily. Um, that's the dream. So, Group A would be good so far because Red Bull Salzburg. Group B, fuck no. Or C. D would be actually kind of interesting. Not E. 
Hell no. Definitely not F, which means we're getting F, by the way. We're going to get group F. You know it because of Fs. Right. Group A. Oh, shit. Oh, please. No, please. No. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, it's going to be group F, isn't it? You know it. It's, it's going to be group F. Oh, that's really hard. Bayern and Atletico. Well, that's third. We're not getting, we're not qualifying out of that group, are we? It's all about the fourth place side, isn't it? So right, Leipzig got Mulder gone. Dundalk get home. Oh, Valencia though. Slavia have gone. Oh, please no, not Ajax. Anyone but Ajax. Yes! Br Ron is fine. That's fine. Stad Rene, that's fine. We should be able to absolutely slap them. I, I don't see them being too much of a problem for us, honestly. They're probably the fourth best team in France. As far as qualification, that's fine. Um, also, I'm not being funny, but I feel like Dundalk might be able to get a point off of Valencia potentially at home. Maybe. What did Brugge get? Oh my god, look at that group. Oh, third is massively better from coefficients, for sure. This feels like the type of group where we can hopefully do Ron home and away, and they'll hopefully get slapped by these two, which is the key thing. And maybe take a point at home against one of them. Uh, I think they were, you're right, yeah. That's, I'm okay with that, honestly. I love seeing Dundalk in a Champions League group, but I can't believe they've actually done that. Bo's group, right, yes. I don't think their group will have been drawn yet, will it? No, that's, that's tomorrow, so we have to go a day. Seven points has to be the goal. That's fine. We get through the knockouts of the conference, uh, the Europa, it's a, that's what we want. That'd be more points than last year, anyway. I think this is doable. But that's the downside of being seeded third. But those are tough ties. But that's actually okay. If anything, having a group like this where the top two are so clearly better than everyone else is actually better because it means that most likely that third, that fourth place side is probably going to get battered by them as well. So we don't have to worry about them hopefully taking random points like we did last year. That was our biggest issue was that uh, it was that game where I think it was when Nice beat Dortmund. That's what screwed us. Michael Doshek. Is that with the DM train? No, uh, because I said that if we got a really weak side... So if I said that if we got a group that I felt like we could happily get third spot, I was going to try the main tactic against even the big sides because I want to see how it performs. It shouldn't work, but just in case it does. Oh my God, it's stab. We're playing them first. Or are we? No, we're not. It's Bayern Munich at home first. Then away. That game's going to be amazingly big. Big, huge game. Oh dear. I think they should get pumped. Um, you'd expect them to, but they will hurt, but I want to give it a go because I feel like they'll be more aggressive than a lot of our opponents. And I feel like at the very least we'll have counter-attacking opportunities. I still suspect though, that they, we, they will hump us, but I suspect they'll hump the others as well. And I'm willing to give it a crack. Worst case scenario, we come after that going, okay, yeah, we need a system with a DM after the, the four games or whatever, but I feel like it's... You don't learn unless you do, right? And I think we're going to try it out today. Won't be in the home stadium. Ah! Where's the game? Yeah, we will. Hopefully. The, the stadium should be done by then. Uh, we've got to go to the 30th to get the next tie done. There is a way that you can sometimes see the tie... Hang on. The draw. Oh, no. I think it would have happened by now. Yeah, it has. Who did they get? Oh, please. Glenn Torren qualified. Legia. See, oh, go on. That would be an all right group. Oh, no. Okay. What, what don't we want? Icor, Stiverspore, maybe? Astana? No. Nope. Cluj, Applewell, Vanikos, Strava. Oh, God. Bows, Tottenham. Oh, are you serious? <sighs> they got Tottenham in their group. <laughs> but they also got Kukeji of Albania. So... And I reckon they could give Aberdeen a go. They're not winning this group, though. Tottenham are going to go six for six, probably. But I feel like third place is definitely good in this group. And they might be able to take Aberdeen. It will just depend heavily on what happens there. 21 million. Uh-oh. That's the kind of money that the board are like, hello there. And, ooh, hello. Miguel Mari. Uh, he is... I mean, I'll add him to the scouting list. What could go wrong there? But not sure how much I like that. 25 million. Wow. That's big. Second or third? Yeah. I don't think they come bottom. I think they're comfortably better than that lot. I mean, they nearly beat AGF, so 30 and a half million. Holy shit. It's like Mihai Alaku all over again. We just... 36.5 million pounds. Wow. 
Now I can stall it. And that will cause the deal to fail. Ah, good. Right, so we got away with that. It's a lot of money, but, like, why would we sell our best centre back? <laughs> I think Spurs probably will. 100 mil for spat. We, uh, I mean, 100 mil, maybe, but 36 mil, fuck no. Like, 36 million would be pointless to us. It's like, okay, cool, we've got more money, but we don't have a really good centre back. Or well, we do, but we've just, why would we sell our best centre back? And he is objectively our best centre back. Danko's good, but not yet. Luckily, we've got kind of got the board we've called the boards bluff a little bit so what i might do here is rotate it like that and then insta this to see if it still looks good in an insta result environment it's not the complete full strength team but it's pretty close to it so let's test the oh, way on let's test it because this is only a cup game anyway i want to see if it's still because you often get different results when you insta games compared to when you don't three two still looks pretty solid I'd say that's all right. We won the game. Still scored three more goals. Let's have a look at the stats for the game, actually. 6 0 to Dundalk there. Sligo are a decent side, anyway. Uh, oh, wait. No, I can't because we're on the wrong day. How do you use the games? You need a skin that has Insta Result in it, uh, which my skin does. So you just press Insta Result and then it just does it. I'm not sure exactly what it's doing under the hood, but generally speaking, you, certain tactics will. So, for example, when we used to play right backless, Insta Resulting would not work. It just would not function properly with an Insta Result. But when you play it in the actual match engine, it's fine. Which is interesting, because I wonder how it's like calculating stuff in the background. There's some quality in here. There's a lot of these are still guys from last year that we looked at, but at least their full year of scouting on some of them have certainly given us a bit more knowledge, if nothing else. It's a win, exactly, and a win's a win. It's like I went no mugs. They've got a lot of players on loan from us as it goes. Uh, the only game we've not won so far today was the Dundalk one. Let's have a look at the actual stats of the match. Pretty much as you'd expect, really concede a fair amount because it's quite an aggressive strategy. Uh, wow, look at that. It's very concentrated on this right-hand side. And then 2.81. That's fine. Overperform. Good. Uh, Novakovic. Nope. Arsenal now won him. I love that. We just turned down 36 million from Barcelona. And uh, then Arsenal are like, yeah, but how about 22? Standard Arsenal behavior. The babysitting was what caused the no... Yeah. Because we did have to do a lot of babysitting with that other tactic. Is George Shakhtar online? Okay. Zamora. Bobby. Ooh. David Salas. He's right, actually. Oh. Was that Spank that they were bidding on? You're right. It might have been a different player. Which is weird, actually, that they wanted so much on him, actually. Because I think Palanik Mate is actually better than him. I get them too confused because they're both just... I, I see In my head, I just see them as big, good starting centre-back. Because I am uh, small brain. Like, oh, hang on, I've missed a few here. So I did, I did, I did that one. I did pirates. I did Heronvin. I did Kozlovski. I did Harabish Vultures. I did the Romanian national team, and I didn't do Napoli. God damn it, Matt! I love playing against Napoli. <laughs> well, I do when I'm Tromsø anyway. Let's see, I mean, we can get a team report on them, I suppose. It will obviously, go to the back of the list. Uh. But it doesn't appear that they've won anything new. In fact, it doesn't appear they've won anything so far in this save at all. Poor Napoli. There's loads more bids coming. Oh, there are. Okay, this should be funny. At least we get a bit of a rest now. We can finally tie the league up properly. Reverse report. Cool. Vukovic on top. Oh, I'd love to see it. Although that's not good. What do they want now? 29 million. Okay, now they're bringing it up. Wait, they're back. Back streets. Wow. How do they want to loan him? But also, I love how they loan him, but then only want to pay 10 million. It's like, really? That's going to be a no from me, friends. And also get rid of you. Just got to keep an eye on this, just in case there's anything sneaky coming in. My connection wanted by Liverpool is good, is interesting. Diallo won player of the month in Ireland. Wow, he really has settled in nicely. They all want a friendly. They love a friendly. Don't, to be fair, I've done that before as well. I never thought that Diallo would come in and actually do such a good job. I suppose the one downside we've got here in this game is that we're going to have no players. 24 million from Bayern there. Whew. Thank God our board are no longer as greedy as they were before. Although mostly that's just because we're keeping ourselves in a rich situation. By Derry City. Okay, cool. It's a different game against Scamrock. This is what I mean. There's too many cup competitions, man. We don't need a League Cup 2. But yeah, we're doing all right. 29 million for him. 
It's not going to come close to the other one. Yeah, if the board did go full board, then technically it wouldn't be the end of the world. It would be stupid, though. Because I reckon if I actually negotiated with Bayern for SPAC there, I could probably get 50 million and a 50% of the next selfie clause. The screen flow setting. Uh, how so? I mean, I use the screen flow setting for certain things. But how will you plan on using it? Oh, yeah, it can. Um, but sometimes I like to build the suspense, honestly. We use it mostly for international tournaments. They will loan him and then pay what? No. Optional fee of 13 million. I love how when they put loan bids in, they always lowball you massively. Look, 5 million. The loan bids are always so weird. Uh, hello, Jorge Mangana. I think I've looked at you before. But yeah, we already are. Cool. Scouting update. Loads more of these guys. Good. Some of them are already fully scouted, but I'm just keeping them in the uh, in the system for a bit. One thing I do need to look at is maybe I'll have a look at some African sides. Because that's one area where I think we could really make bank. Oh, Surinamese dude. But Sparta Rotterdam. Cool. Some of these guys have fallen off a little bit, I think. Did they bid 43 million? Oh my god, they did. 43 million. Still not the record, though. The record bid we've had on a player is 47.5 million. Wow. Glenn Sultana. You love it. Uh, oh, yeah. Facilities. Yes. We actually can. Why won't they let me touch the youth facilities, though? It's only like six days until we get our new stadium, too. So after the... Our next home game should be in the new stadium. Unless the board are idiots again. Oh, my God. It's worked. It's actually worked. The record sale, that would be uh, Zlatko. That's 21 million pounds. Just straight off the bat. Didn't even have to ne ne negotiate with them. First try. 5 million quid. Easily worth it. Because that would max out our training facilities, which would be really key. Maganich. <laughs> 15 million. <laughs> try again, City. Also, hasn't your transfer window shut, City? 38 million there. I love how... Liverpool are just like, no, no, we'll go for the fullback guy. Oh, watch that. Oh, Diaz happy to stay as well. He is going to be an absolute baller one day. 14 caps for Senegal already, and he's only 20. Even Arsenal, see now Arsenal are after, wait. Obviously, I don't want to do that, but that's certainly interesting. That City are trying to poach uh, Barto from us now. God, they're just after everybody at this rate. And we register, and I think it should be the same team. Yeah, it is. That's I'm happy with that team. Let's get the feet. Yeah, is he Wonder Kid now? Interesting. Five, 900 games in management. Good God. Harrison Madison. Mm, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll disrespect him all we want, actually. Setting on clauses. Um, not yet. So the clauses we've currently got are not available to buy or to sell yet. So the Kubek one, for example, uh, we've not yet had an opportunity. Let's have a look, actually. See if PSG are willing to do it. No. Um, so far, oh, look at the scroll ability here. This loan report is tasty reading. Fatmir Demiri. Four goals and eight assists and a 7.51 average rating in there. Vukatic doing well for Dundalk. Stefansson doing well for Dundalk. I love seeing so many Dundalk players so high up. Notable, though, the exception of Bose. Only have one player on loan from us. It's Bastien Golfier. It's mad. If only they'd taken someone like Vice. How much could I get? Like 600 grand? Which just isn't much. In the grand scheme of things. I'd rather hang on to it for a little bit. Uh, ah, here's the River Plate one. Oh, that's River Plate Reserves. I'm down to my reserve team scouting now. Malco, Mario Civit. Civit bang. Cool. See you later, Christian. Right. So, that's River Plate. Cool. Oh, it's just nice to have a bit of a rest from matches for a second. River Plate under 21. Hello, big dollop. Uh, I think all three of these guys probably get a scout report, right? Just because they're there. How's Bootman? He's a good assistant. Like, he has good assistant attributes, and I like him a lot because he's Regan Blasted Booty. What's not to like, eh? Uh, right, half the squad's missing on international duty here, so... I say half the squad. Look how strong it is even with half the squad. Hang on. I just don't want to put Diaz as a striker. Emmett does need a rest, but... Ah, all the other strikers are pissed off. 
Fuck it, Chenk. It's your time, buddy. Yeah, Dave is still being a walloper. He won't come back. And I did manage to get him to at least agree to be an assistant, uh, a coach, but then he wanted more money than I was allowed to offer. Yeah, the problem is with resting them, the guys I would probably bring in in their place are on international duty. We definitely do need... To, let's get Silvera in. We definitely do need some more midfielders now if I'm going to play a double pivot. Not double pivot, but like two of them like that. I get Tortosa in there as well, even though he's not really that type of player. Honestly, I don't really care that much because after this match, we've got a ridiculously long rest anyway. So I'll maybe drop out Spack and put Danko in. So swap those two over so that Danko's the one they're aiming the corners for. There's a long gap after this one anyway. Oh, no, these aren't instant. I tend not to do them for no reason. I do, I do stop. One of the other reasons I want to keep watching matches for the moment is because I'm quite enjoying watching the tactic just to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. And I think I am. Whenever I switch over to a new tactical style in some way, I like to watch as many games as possible just to sort of make sure it's still doing what I want. But so far, it's been utterly brilliant. We scored nine times. So far this season in the Champions League, we've scored 22 goals in four matches since we switched over to this. Um... I mean, putting nine past Malmo over two legs is quite something. Considering what we... In the past, I think we scraped past Malmo a couple of years ago, like 2-1 on aggregate or something. And yet here we are with a 9-1 victory. And just looking that little bit better. Look at the paint. One touch stuff in the build-up. Oh my goodness, me. <laughs> it's 1-0 and it's Chenky. Oh. If I was in a more competitive league, I'd probably do something similar, Hyde. Like maybe a comprehensive. But obviously in this league, we could just, I would just play loads of games. Look at this one touch football. Just little pop shots. Lovely stuff. God. I want to at least hit the five. There. Hey, Buffy. We've got to get five past Scamrock, right? It is an inevitability. I want to try to at least get a game of Champions League group stages in today as well. I know, it's the Bayern one, lol. Hey, Ballistica. Coefficient is surprisingly good considering we're losing the Europa Conf we're, we're losing our Europa League final year. So we need the best year possible. But the beautiful thing about having two teams in the Champions League group stages is that we got a lot of extra coefficient for that. Ah. Oh, I can't believe we've got Dundalk in the group stages of the Champions League. That is far beyond what I expected them to be. I didn't think we'd see another team actually be with us in the group stages for at least until we were regularly challenging for winning it, honestly. They've done so well. But maybe building the loan farm a bit earlier has actually paid off this time around. We just have to balance it. Um, it did definitely did cost us, though, for a bit. But now we seem to be perfect. He should have definitely won that ball there. That was very poor. Hmm. Just noticed that Arrowsmith's at Scamrock now. He was at Dundalk before, I think. Or was it Bose? Needless to say, he wasn't at Scamrock Rovers. Because I definitely wouldn't have condoned that. Ahmad. Go on. Chenky. Oh, it's a pen. Chenky Bayrak with the dive, quite clearly. But we'll take that. Who's taking pens now in this team? I don't even know who would take them. Is it someone like Tortosa? Oh, it's Ahmad. Of course it is. Player of the month. Oh, good penalty. By this, he'll end up at like double figures by the end of this stream. He just keeps on smashing it. How are Liverpool and Newcastle getting on, by the way? Last time I looked, it was 1-0 with Naby Keita. But it doesn't sound like it's been like an emphatic performance. I don't think we're going to quite get the... Uh, the five goals today. Still 1-0. Wow. It's not bad from Newcastle, actually. Okay. Oh. I can see a goal. Don't you dare. Do not allow it. Oh. I've had nothing. Oh, fair one. It's just one of those games where Liverpool can't score. Not that Newcastle are really doing much to stop them, I see. I've always liked Dubravka. Although, didn't he make that horrendous howler during the Euros? We're going to see a lot of chances like this, I sense, against us when we play against Bayern and Atletico. But we're going to have to accept it. Talk about other Irish That's exactly it. It's a kind of paternal instinct, Anarith. That's how we talked about the Norwegian sides too. They were like our kids. We were so proud of them. We celebrated so unbelievably heavily when Mulder won that, champ uh, that Europa Conference League. Like, more so properly than we celebrated our own Champions League win at one point, to be fair. That's how much we wanted them to do well. Right, now we're going to get... Uh... The donut in there, I guess? Yeah, fuck it. 24.8 euros. To be fair, Scotland got to the semi-finals of the Euros on this save. 
And then the big gin. Yeah, the big gin was when we lost that... Uh, was it to Dortmund? When we lost the Europa League final. That was the big gin. We've actually underperformed a little bit here today, which is disappointing. But hey, every... Oh, another post. Two and a half extra time. Yeah. Yeah, that Molder penalty win, though. When Scamrock was a European tournament. Pfft. I'll shave my head if Scamrock win a European tournament. <laughs> I will do everything I can to prevent them from doing so. Carps hurt himself. Treaty Papayo against Bows. <laughs> it ain't happening. They are not going to... They're not going to any Europe, let alone a European tournament. Ah, see, this is when it begins. This is when it gets a little bit dicey. When you have, like, three games a week. When you play Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. It's even worse when there's European games in there, too. That's when the fixture congestion begins. Luckily, though, we've already... Haven't technically won the league yet, though, have we? Haven't played a league game in ages. We will win the league. Just gotta wait for it. Oh, at least we get a rest now. I see look, another Argentinian player that will talk to us. Another Brazilian guy that will talk to us. Another Argentinian. It's definitely improving. I just wish I knew what was the trigger for it. This Vinicius guy looks very good. Yeah, he is a bit good, isn't he? 14 million pound release calls won't talk to us, but still. One of these days, we'll actually be able to shop for those guys. Although I prefer to get them when they're slightly younger just because they'll be cheaper. More than anything else. Uh... Get more information on you. <laughs> yeah, the day I'll be true super duper happy is the day that we could finally get an Algerian player to talk to us. That's the dream, right? Uh, yeah, so we thought that too, Ballistica, and then it just didn't. We got like a couple of them, but for the most part, they say the same three things every time. Either, I don't want to move at this stage in my career. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get enough playing time at the club they're at for some reason. And then the, you'd need to improve your stature in the league we're already playing in. Either one we've won 11 years in a row. We need to improve our stature in it. It's just complete... Basically, it's just the game's way of saying no fuck you kind of thing. Lakatus, thank you very much for the six months. Hope you're well. Yeah, I wish the board... I could ask the board for more money. Potentially. Inky's transfer budget. Because we've got more cash now, so maybe they'll say yes. Hmm. Actually, that... Usually they wanted to... Maybe we might get lucky here. Because we've got an extra load of money now. Last time I didn't have that option, basically. I couldn't ask them for more money. The only thing I could ask them was to increase next year's transfer budget, which, of course, they didn't do. But that is... A, I mean, look at these. Maybe one of these would just randomly want to talk to us. Algerian striker. He signed for ES Seti for the second that he was available. Like, they had no interest in the guy the whole time. The moment that he was released, he, he they put a bid in and he signed for them straight away. I tried to bid on him, but he still said the thing about didn't want to move at this stage of my career. You know, the usual nonsense. Then immediately moved to another Algerian side. <laughs> Oh, dear. It's sad times. Uh, wait, what? Oh! I thought this was auto-rejected. Yeah, no. You're not going on loan to Serbia. Although I did technically send Jan Vosterek out on loan to Benfica. How's he getting on that there, by the way? Is he actually playing? Well, he's got a goal. I suppose. That's something, right? It seems like Udai Alonso is actually... Just about back. Oh, Salgado, 20 and 30 is ridiculous. Is he available now? Uh, yeah, but for like 12 million pounds. And he still won't talk to us. <laughs> Are the board ever going to get back to me about that? Ah, here we go. No. Well, we have more finances. Let's see if I can ask that. Sufficient for you to reach your objectives. Yes! Okay. Do you know what the funniest thing, Chose Chat, is? Half the time, when you agree... When you get them to actually up the transfer money, sometimes they'll up it by, like, 100 grand or something. So, we were at 12 point something million before. If this isn't at least 15, then there was no point. Well, okay then. January's going to be fun, isn't it? <laughs> oh, swipe or par. We are going to be smashing and passing all the way through January, my friends. I'm glad we got those emotes. Mike Murphy's just completely forgot to take his pills today. 24 million in transfer budget. 
And we can keep adding loads of cash in because we'll hopefully get some points for Champions League results. We could try the affiliate thing, actually. I'm just going to shift a little bit towards wage to get a realistic idea. We've got about 20 million, I'd say. That's much better. Uh, more wage I think they might pull my hair out if I did that. But what I do want to check is to see if we can get an affiliate club again now. Right. Other countries. There you go. I told you. If we cancelled it, they'd still say that we had enough affiliates, even though we have one affiliate. Oh, the affiliate thing is so dumb. It just doesn't make any logical sense. But there you go. Oh, that's what we do, Hyde. We, we don't... Um, that's why I didn't buy any players during that period before we got into the group stages. Because we were just on the teetering on the edge. I mean, we could ask for more trans more wage budget, but... Or no, actually, no, we can't. Interesting. They've actually... Maybe it's because they granted one, they then don't let the other one work. Stadium. New stadium! <laughs> we're literally moving into our new stadium today, and I can ask them for a new stadium. <laughs> Shared youth training. Just, just a commercial. Oh, okay, fair. To be fair, at no point have I managed to get them to accept any of them lately. Like I said earlier, I asked them for a, a foreign affiliate and they gave me a lot of Irish clubs to pick from. Just mad. It just... That, that whole menu just feels a bit broken again. Save and ask. Uh, nah. Should we be moving in today? Like, we're supposed to be in the, in the stadium today. A backup stadium. Rotation option, you know? <laughs> It's happened! And it can be expanded to 20,000. Well, obviously, we'll change the name. I'll uh, change it for the next stream. So the Dara Galvin Memorial Stadium. 9,958. Why couldn't you just make it 10,000? Why? <laughs> With the capacity to go up to 20,300. That's pretty good. Under soil heating. All seater. Does that mean we'll actually get to play Champions League games at home this season? No, it doesn't. <laughs> it might have to go along. I think we need to uh, like 4k. But I don't understand why they wouldn't make it 10k. Just add 30 extra seats, you muppets. Some of these guys could be quite good too, actually. Uh, one game, Derry, then Bayern. We'll go ahead a day. We'll see. Expand Stadium. I'm worried about the money side of that because I don't want to go too low on this just in case. Then again, we probably will end up at anyway at some point. Uh, now let's have a look. See if it changed now. Nope, we're still playing them at Homer Park. <laughs> Apparently. Maybe it's because the game's already like locked in there or something. That certainly seems to be the case, because apparently we're still playing our home Champions League games. After expansion out, I didn't, because it would cost too much. I probably can though. But if I do, I'm worried that it will take us too close to. I mean, we might as well have a look. Can we not, like, sell the old stadium? Is that not a thing we can do? Just get some seats out. Exactly. Bring your own chairs. What is it fit for? Uh, how do you mean? Uh, they're just not going to bother showing me anything. Oh, there we go. Get these guys in as well. Carlos De La Fuente is a superb name. Do you want to Ah, it could be, yeah. I think we might have had the option to buy stadium. Oh, it says competitions when you look at the same. Good shout, actually. Champions League. So it is big enough for the Champions League. Yet. Confused. So, so it's big enough for the Champions League, but we're still going to play our games at a different stadium. Is it because they were already scheduled or something? But then so were all our league games. They were already scheduled too, and yet we're playing those in the Richard Nangol Bay Park. Maybe they've sold tickets. Yeah, but we've sort of... Yeah, it's weird. It must be because when they schedule those fixtures or something. Although all our league games have been... <laughs> yeah, maybe because it's midway through the season. Maybe like after Christmas we'll be able to play in it. That's a shame. That is weird though. Considering we've been able to rearrange all our league fixtures, fine. Odd. Must be because of the time of draw, yeah. Whoa, that was weird. Negreus banned for what? Who? Oh, it's the other, the other Romanian guy. Yeah. Big enough for some of the qualifiers. Yeah, it could be. That might be it too, actually. 
It does seem weird that they wouldn't just go straight for 10,000 though, right? Velej under 20s. There's a couple of... Oh, Inzaghi. Fuck it. It's worth a punt. 8,000. Yeah, so we got uh, 9,900 and basically just shy of uh, 10k. Chance for Kabonga. Oh, he'll talk to us now. Or would he already? I think he was the guy that didn't look... Wasn't actually as good as... Yeah, he's not actually... He's fine, but he's one of those players that looks a bit overrated. Keep these guys going. This is basically just our shopping list being prepared for January. So many options. Oh, Venezuela will talk to us. Lovely news. Most of these guys are probably not that great then. It could have been because of construction stuff, yeah. We'll see. All right, so we've got... Ah, wait. Uh, okay, let's see. But to be fair, they're probably going to say something like we can't fill it. Fan base isn't big enough. How would you know, Mike? Oh, shit. Oh, God. They're selling. They're going to sell frozen thighs now, aren't they? Watch the expansion cost like 10 million quid. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I'll take that. That's like an extra 1,500 seats for a million. We're basically paying a pound a seat. Not a pound a seat, but like, that's fine. A million and a half to get us to 11,300. That's, I'll take that. Surprised they went for it, to be honest. That's really cheap. Maximum wage. Uh, I think our maximum wage is 50,000. Uh, it's on finance screen, isn't it? On like, uh, summary... Maximum basic wage for a star player is 55,000. And 53 for an important player. Obviously, we don't have star players because, yeah, we don't do that around here. Um, but yeah, maximum of, uh, yeah. So basically, the maximum I'm allowed to offer a player is 55,000. Not that I would. Our highest pay payers on 40, and even that's too much. For the moment, anyway. Yeah, Mike's also building himself an extra lake house on the side, of course. Plus, if you want to offer more wages and you've got a load of budget available, just dump a load of your transfer budget into wages for a bit. It'll allow you to offer more wages too. It's a, a useful thing to do occasionally just in case you need that extra bit of cash to get a deal over the line and you've still got the budget there in transfers. Just dump a load of it into wage budget for a bit. You can always move it back again. Uh, right, so I want to rotate for this. Wait, which one is this? This is the actual FIIR. Right, so we need to have a team that's good enough to win but not so good that we can actually not rest players, right? Rodriguez in there. Interesting. Uh, Martins and Milosevic. I'll bring Danko in because he won't play the next game. Diaz, I, he won't, isn't in the Champions League squad anyway. Espen, I'll put Chenkin instead. Who else do I want in midfield instead of the donut? Hmm, so many options. Silvera again? Actually, could Negreia play there? He could play there, actually. I could put Negreia in. First game in the new stadium. True. So the fans will have turned up and they're going to be disappointed when our first team squad doesn't. That'll do. Uh, who's getting the number? It'll be Negreia. Nope, no number 12 for you, bud. There we go. 20 million budget with... Yeah, so that's the thing. Dump a load of your transfer budget into wages for a bit when you're trying to negotiate a signing and they'll, in theory, let you offer more. Unless there's other restrictions based on the league or the club itself. Diaz is a striker. Yeah, because he can't play in the next game and I don't want to risk... I probably could have put Preo Taser in, or is he still on international duty? He might be. He might still have been on internationals. Oh, that is just a very large squad, um, because some of the players that I brought into Lone Farm haven't been able to find loans yet. He's like, oh, I probably should have started him then. Oh, well. Bring him in the second half if we need him. But yeah, it's just a very large team, because not every player I was able to get out on loan, so some of them just end up sort of mulling about for a bit while I try to find them loans. But it's also very useful with all the... Uh, extra fixtures to be able to rotate into a completely different 11 and sometimes a completely different third 11 as well which when you're playing like four games in a week is very useful like what we are right now actually where you have that saturday monday wednesday saturday kind of schedule it's a pain oh nice one how cross in oh unselfish from tommy h nice work i've always been a fan of big tom h croft i will continue to give this man contracts as long as he wants Dev Center, yep. Uh, it's 28 loans we've got at the moment. We have a look, had a little look at it earlier. Four rotations, yeah. I mean, I just can't do that most of the time. Particularly not. I mean, this save we can, but in my other save, I just can't. Because then we just lose the game. Because the squad isn't strong enough. 
Yeah, I think it's possibly because of the higher tempo that the, the Trek is just spraying past his first time. I do wonder if that's part of the reason. Because that's the one other change I made was the higher tempo. And it does seem to make a difference. But just, that's really bad. <laughs> that's so bad. <laughs> but we will see. This tactic has been surprisingly defensively stable considering how much we can see. The amount of times our opponents have hit the post. And I reckon it's because of the same reason that we were before. Because the chance isn't actually as good as it says it is. Or shows you that it is. Because I've noticed today, we're, we're not hitting the post anywhere near as much, but our opponents continually hit the post. It's like I've flipped the game on itself. We're using the game's worst elements on itself now. Howcroft, good pock. Oh, some nice work. Little one-touch stuff. Ball in. Diaz again. Good save. I think my neighbors just started up a barbecue chat. This is excellent. We, I, literally, I feel like I found a way to FMFM. Because th suddenly now we're the ones that are scoring every shot on target half the time. Uh, not today, admittedly. But we've had like three or four games. No, at least two games today out of the small number of games we play where we've had every shot on target be a goal. That's the opposite of what would happen before. I'd have like 15 shots on target and have no goals. Cheeky sausage. Oh. I haven't had a barbecue in such a long time, mate. Fucking love a barbecue. When I went on um, holiday with my mates, oh, Pog and I went on holiday with our mates a few years ago, every night, because we were just lazy like that, apart from the one night we ordered an Indian, we would just have this barbecue. They had this like giant Argentinian fire pit and we just had barbecue every night and it was amazing because we would just sit around the fire cooking it on the fire because it had like a giant grill plate across the top of it. Had some food, had some drinks. It was lovely. Oh, a hard mode. I think if FM had a hard mode, it would just exacerbate all the things I dislike about it currently. So the players would be even more whiny bitches. Um, it does look good, actually. Do you know what? The new stadium reminds me a lot of Tromsø's ground. <laughs> I only just noticed that it does look quite a lot bigger, doesn't it? Particularly that stand there. Howcroft's in. Tommy Howcroft digs the keeper. Finishes it straight away. One on one. Goal. It's um interesting. Hello, Pogs. You've had an idea. Oh, dear God. Do tell. A barbecue. <laughs> a chat. We'll get chat round for a barbecue. <laughs> we'll find a way to have a barbecue at our Airbnb when we go to Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> we were looking at Airbnbs for Limerick last night so we can plan this. Going to away in October and ask if we could come down and look after the house. Correct. Yes. What what you're thanking? Oh, good finish. And again, look. Just in there, one chance goal. These would have been saved before. Spikes Master! Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, my friend. Let me just get you a shout out. What if some of the guys came with? Well, I don't know. I don't know if some of the guys are in chat right now. I don't think they are. I'll ask him. Sure, some of them wouldn't mind a bit of time away. Wouldn't be far for Viking to go. How was stream, Spike Master? 2-0 to the Dundalk. Oh, 2-1. Okay. This is the rotated squad. Is you happy to come? <laughs> Bring the mods in. Get everybody down. Oh, I mean, I'll talk to the guys if they wanted to. But where would they sleep? Because I know it's not. there's not that many rooms in the house. I don't know how big it is. I've actually never been. What have we missed? Um... Did you see Dundalk get to the group stages of the Champions League? I don't know. We could squeeze, Wasser. We'll all... We'll get a giant bed. Pog's parents then. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Dundalk got in the group stages. Could bring tents. Nice. Three rooms. Ah, oh, fair one. I mean, if they fancied it. I'll ask them. I mean, it wouldn't be far for Viking and the Dank. It's probably less than an hour. Inflatables, exactly. Does. Em's parents live in Devon, so... And in a nice place, too, so... It's, um... That's not a penalty. Wrestle State at the Lake House, precisely. Yeah, we finished the new stadium, which is what we're playing in now. Uh, we asked for the, the board to double our transfer budget, and they did it, so we've now got 24 million. And also Dundalker in the group stages of the Champions League. It's good news. Isn't yours with the Champions League? Um, that ain't ever gonna happen. Just no chance. But unluckily, that's not the criteria I'm using. Thank goodness. FM streaming. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's just sat around what? Just sat behind me with. 
Uh, bring the dogs. That's true, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if um, Tina Charlotte would be able to come, even though because of the Baba. Oh, dear. And the facilities. Yes, I forgot about the facilities upgrades. And we're expanding the stadium, too. And didn't lose any players. Yeah, bring bring your own beer. What is it? Oh, turn the street team. <laughs> Chat's just sat behind me like, Matt, mum said it was our turn on the computer. <laughs> Did I? Yes, um, Dean, we were just talking about it. So Pog's parents are going away and Pog and I were going to house it for them uh, towards the end of like, like late summer, early sort of autumn kind of time. Because um, it's one of the few times that like, I could conceivably take time off because it's right towards the end of the game cycle where things might, I wouldn't be, <laughs> it wouldn't be hemorrhaging finances if I started doing that at that point. Um, so yeah. Do they have a hot tub? Do you know they don't, was it? No. I love how you've all suddenly appeared. <laughs> Not a peep out of them, but I've suddenly mentioned holiday for free. And they're like, oh, hey. Uh, <laughs> like homing missiles. Jet ski, no jet. Whoa. Holiday for free. Vike is actually Viking's second account. Ruskin! Thank you for the gifted sub to hi. That's very kind of you. I know it's not Viking because Viking's at work today, I think. Only just loaded it. Sure you did, Mikey. Sure you did. <laughs> oh, dear. But it would be a very cheap bolly hops because obviously we wouldn't have to pay to live there. Um, that said, the deal we got on that place in Devon last time was unbelievable. <laughs> How many channel points for a free holiday? Eight billion. <laughs> Better get saving your pennies. Oh god, are we gonna concede? We are. We've conceded again. This is unheard of. Well, it's almost like I'm simming this game. I suppose it is rotation. And we got Bayern next. So that's nice and easy. Don't be fair. They they're good value for a goal or two. But I reckon part of the reason we're conceding goals, though, is because El Barto's back in goal. If that was um, Mihov, I don't think we'd, just, we'd probably have a clean sheet still. That guy is an absolute monster. Clear yourself to beat traffic. <laughs> well, he'd get there before us. It's not exactly far away. When we went to Devon last time, we all stayed at Vikings House the night before. We drove down to Vikings, and that way we'd only have to do like an hour's drive the next morning. It was great. Plus, we got to watch high and watch Titanic. <laughs> Up down the season so far. So... Obviously, smashing the league, standard sort of behavior. Um, made a slight tactical tweet today, and it seems to work dramatically. We're in the group stages of the Champions League, of course. And we've got Dundalk in the Champions League group stages with us. I shit you not. Ambos are in the Conference League group stages. That is not a penalty either. So different. Um, It's probably the skin uh, softer, if I'm guessing. If you mean like the overlays and stuff, then it's probably... If you do exclamation mark skin, you'll find the, uh, the skin I'm using anyway. Or a download link to it, at least. Well, I was, you know, if anyone was actually in Ireland or whatever, when we went, then I would happily do some, like, chat me up thing. Obviously, I realise that it's, you know, it's not the most perfect scenario. It's, it's difficult with stuff like that, isn't it? Um, because, yeah. <laughs> We've had a good time today. Yeah, Diaz with the hat trick at the new stadium as well. That could have been Emmett, I realise, but hey, you know, it's JD3. It's John Joe Diaz. I think two of them have been penalties, haven't they? <laughs> but he can clearly do it as a striker. But actually, it's not so much that he can clearly do it as a striker. I just feel like the striker in this system now gets so much more freedom and they just score. Through on goal, score. It's just... I don't know what it is. They're just scoring everyone on one now. It, I don't know what... But it, it works, doesn't it? Five goals again. It, they just go through it and they score. It's something about the chance... The type of chance that the game thinks it's creating. Because it's not like it's just the CMs that are doing anything. Suddenly the strikers are scoring loads of goals now. To Prague. I'd love to go to Prague, honestly, Hyde. It does sound like a lovely place. When you tour in Australia. Oh, it's going to be a tough one, Leaf. Um, the flights are just expensive. Oh, another goal conceded. Is that passing to space? Nope. I'm not using passing to space. So this is the key. We have no directional player at all. What? So this is the thing. They're creating the same chances as before. But it's doing it, and they're scoring them. I... Yeah. For whatever reason, this works. In Croatia? Oh, hell yeah. I'd love... Whereabouts in Croatia, Anna? I'd love to go to, like, 
the, the Dalmatian coast. She rang my... Oh, God. Hang on. Chat. Does that mean that... You, hang on. Did you just provide... Deprive us of an opportunity to do a High Helen? Dubrovnik would be lovely, yeah. Because I don't think I can speak to you anymore if you've just not allowed us to do a High Helen. <sighs> Bye, Helen. Indeed. Bye, Pog. No, but, yeah, I don't know. We started trying out to see if we could almost create the same kind of chances, but without forcing it into space all the time. And it seems to work. <laughs> Stoyanovich. Oh, good lord, the chances. 5-3, what a game this has been, by the way. Oh, Rieka. Oh, CX, oh, God. Juliet's home set. You don't, I just, everything there would remind me of him, Anna Riff, you know? <laughs> I've not made any subs. That would be good, wouldn't it? Get Prayer Taser in. I'll get Barry Cunningham in, and I'll get uh, Anders Hansen in for... I mean, does it matter? <laughs> They're all defensive midfielders anyway. Other dogs being around Oscar and the cats. Ah, yes, I forgot because of... Yeah, of course, Oscar's not going with them. So <laughs> that's a good point, yeah. Probably be quite territorial, wouldn't he? Considering he's like that already. We'll get a rain. Well, I mean, the way I look at it is I'm still resting legs, so... That is also kind of dumb that if they don't get a rating, they don't get any development. It's like, they played matches... <laughs> Just judge them on what they've done. Please. Oh, God. Hang on. This game might not be done yet. Oh, never mind. Hansen's there. So many runners again. Prayer Taser's in this time. He's so good from these positions as well. Oh, good save. Fair one. I think like Prayer is going to be great one day, but it's just so hard to look past Emmett Doran. Every time we try to find a striker that's better than Emmett, I'll have to take, him out, take them out for a bit, and Emmett comes in and he just starts smacking it again. He's just so very good. Diaz has got four goals in this game, I realise. Decent. And Corker knocking out bows. That was good. Saw it. Right, okay. So, now Bayern Munich. <laughs> this is going to be a baptism of fire. I won't care as long as Rene lose. That's all that matters. Top four. Yeah, just a bit. Just the four goals for you there, bud. Move to Ireland from the US? Oh, sick. Depends on how close you are to Treaty. It's still a fairly big place. Uh, wow. They don't have a lot of players in their reserves, do they? Yeah, yeah. Emma's parents are just like, yeah, it's fine. You can bring 280 odd people. That's cool. Just, that's just about the dogs, you know? How are they going to cope? Uh, are they getting blasted off the face of the planet? Um, yes, but also no. They got Valencia as their pot three side. So... I feel like they could maybe take a point against them. Maybe. Watch Dundalk go and beat, like... I, don't, I can't remember who else is in their group, actually. Oh, God. Hang on, what? Andrew O'Kane. Oh, they got the hips guy! Wow. Look at that. 23 for Liverpool, then 28, and now for Bayern Munich. 132 million. For Scotland's very own Andrew O'Kane. <laughs> They've seen a Harry Kane and gone, no, 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 no. <laughs> and he's a bit good, isn't he? Wait, you came through at Falkirk? Or was that alone? Yeah, it was alone. Whoa. Oh, they got Chelsea and AC Milan, yeah. And don't forget the bodies. You can't forget the bodies. True. Never forget the bodies. Up the bodies while we're here. If you're a body and you're watching this and we're four hours in nearly, drop a like. That'll be gorgeous. They did. They've made Harold O'Kane. Uh, set for outline loan intentions. Yeah, no. Not loaning you to the Seattle Sounders. Uh, because definitely not. You're going to be a homegrown player for us. And I really like him as a backup right back. I need to get him in there. If anything, he's going to progress more than Stoyanovic at this rate, I'd say. Yeah, the volleys will turn up a bit late. Now, technically... I've, Twitch have finally fixed the export function, so I no longer have to actually download the VODs. Wow. Oh, I imagine if he would talk to us. I'm shortlisting him now. Because there could come a time when we might actually be able to get him to talk to us, and he looks outrageous. Like, intriguingly outrageous. Oh, this guy will talk to us. But he's injured. Probably got a broken leg or something. They always seem to. No, 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 it's fine. He's got a hip injury. It's all good. No broken legs for you. Just no more jet skis for you either, apparently. 
as Gassy Boy. John Johnson there at Manchester City with his world's creative, most creative Cooper, parents. Do not hate Sheriff me. Cat's finally shined for hearts too. CDB was taken. Freaky. Thank you very much for all the follow. Yeah, I make loads of bids outside the window. Um, the only reason we're not at the moment is just because I'm trying to sort of get more scouting knowledge about these players and build up a little uh, batch of them. How much are we on our scouting list at the moment, actually? Because I just keep adding new players to it as we go along. So we're going to have so many players to look through by the time. It should be still... It's down to 200 now, which is perfect. Because I feel like all 200 of these guys are players that we should actually be taking a serious look at. Uh, Amuzu key. Jordan Amuzu is... What a right back. Came through at Bayern. Just an outrageous talent, isn't he? Who do you believe should have a chance? Regan, I admire your optimism, son. Oh, good. I have no longer admire your optimism. Perfect when you lose your best centre back the day before the game against Bayern fucking Munich. Definitely needed that. 5-1 win for the under 20. Wow. Good stuff. Davo Jovetic as well with the brace. Yeah, he's getting there now. He is going to... Oh, he's back to one, five stars as well. He is really... I like him a lot. And he's developing nicely. Realist personality. So solid. I think he's the next Mihai Alaku. So that's the one attack. Yes. Although I feel like from like long term, I actually feel like he's a better Trek further up the pitch. That's exactly what I mean, Hyde. I like that as a metric. Watching how our underage sides perform using the same tactical style is always a good sign. Now... There's been some really weird results in the Europa Youth League anyway, though. We've had some years where we would, like, hammer Manchester United's youth team, even though it's clearly better than us. Chelsea versus Dundalk. <laughs> what a start. Who are Bo's playing today? Uh, oh, that's Europa League. Bo's are away at Kukechi. That's really important. Epic door in every season. <laughs> yeah, Literally. <laughs> Every time I think I'm going to get rid of him, he's like, no, no, I'm going to bang another 20 for you this year. You should. That'd be cool if you got it. Let me just check the coefficients to make sure that we haven't somehow scrounged up any new coefficient points. No, still at four. Which is fine. We're actually doing way better than I thought. It is a bit of a mess, isn't it? Um, right, okay. Tactical meeting. Let's do this. Let's get ready for buy-in. Okay. So. Doran, that's fine. That's fine. That's... I want Spack there because he's... Better in Actually, you know what? You know what? I'm going to go with Danko. Can I go with Danko or did I not get a chance to register him? I don't think I was able to register Danko. Oh, no, I did. Yeah, there he is. I feel like Danko's aerial presence is going to be key for us today. Diallo or Espen? It has to be Espen, right? Millie and Espen. The donut and flies freeze. Sensible. I don't need to keep on the bench. Who else do I want? Uh, since, yeah, it's going to have to be Sinise just in case. Oh, actually... I'll put the toes on the bench instead of Hanson. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so sadly, Hyde, um, our under nine, under nine, oh, no, our under nineteens team don't even play in the Irish under nineteen league for some reason. They just—it's obviously programmed wrong, so we don't have a league at all. There is an Irish under nineteens league, but we don't play in it, and we have found no way of getting into it. It's absolutely dumb. I think it's because they added treaty so late to the game that they just didn't bother. It's very annoying, though. Overall, Emmett has got... In the league, he's at 165. But in terms of best 11, he's got 340 plus 26. So he's currently got 366 goals for Treaty in all comps. So he's not far off. He's coming close to 400 goals, which is still ridiculous, by the way. How's Moses getting on at Hoffenheim, actually, while I'm at it? He seems to be doing okay there. Three goals and 15. It's not bad, really. Still gutted that we lost him for free, but... Eh. Yeah, it's... you. I think you still can ask the board hide, but I don't think you can unless you don't already have an under-19 or something. Uh, uh, Alan is now at um, uh, a Middle Eastern side because he came back to us for a few years and then I sold him again. <laughs> He'll be back in a couple of years. It's fine. Yeah, my only... Basically, we got a, a weird contract thing, Hyde, where I tried to offer him a new deal, but he wouldn't sign it because of playing time stuff. So I promised that he would play more and then I started playing him more and then the promise went green. But the problem was the expiry date for the promise was after the window opened for other clubs to be able to offer him a contract. So even though he was playing every week, I was still not able to offer him a new contract until such time as the promise expired. The promise expired the day after the window opened for that and he just signed for Hoffenheim the day before. So yeah, 
Should have offered him a contract sooner, but I thought he had one year left on his deal and he didn't. It's annoying, but hey, it happens. I do miss him, though. He's a good player. So let's see. They've got Dietmar Winkler in goal, who's 18. They're playing an 18 year old keeper in goal. Then Amazu Alejandro Lopez, Paul Stout, who's Dutch. Frank Dele. Are they taking us? Maybe they're not taking us that seriously. Tange Un. Oh, no, wait. Nyanzu. They've got Alfie Devine as well, who's 32. They've got Giacomo Combianchi, solid player. Callum Grundy, who's English. 30 year old Englishman with two caps. Sorry, three caps for England. This is a weird looking Bayern Munich team. They've also got Silva, who is absurd. They paid 53 million. Wow. And obviously, they've got Andrew O'Kane through the middle, who is an absolute monster. Okay, well, this is going to be an interesting test. Because soon we're going to go full out there, balls to the wall tactic. We're going to lose this heavily, I suspect. But I feel like we'll get a goal. Yeah, they've got some quite a high quality of them. Yeah, he's absurd. He will... He won't miss the sort of chances that those other players are missing against us. You have one. Ah, that means he's probably a face in the game then. Right. Danko's very aggressive. He's probably going to get sent off. As long as Atleti beats Stad Rene, it's fine. That's all that matters. I mean, I feel like we'll be able to beat them in both games anyway. So we want this one on Conference League. To see if we can keep an eye on those, which we can sort of. And Dundalker there. Dundalker will probably lose like 5 0 to Chelsea, but you know what? They give it a go, right? That's all we can ask. Um, Can we talk about how after 10 minutes, Bayern have had no shots and we've had like four? Like, it's obviously very early days and we've had this situation in the past before, but we. Ah, that's disappointing. We don't look awful so far. Right, Brundy's throw. Oh, and then they score their first shot of the game. I think he might be off. He's not offside, I don't think. I think they're going to get that one given. But we look like we've offered something so far. That was a bad header, unfortunately. It just fell into the path of the Bayern Munich player instead of our own guy. That was a shame. I think that's going to get given. Yeah, it's a given. That was always going to be given. He didn't look even close to being offside there. That's a shame. That's their first shot of the match. Um, but we've done that so many times already. Let's... Uh... Have they already slipped off the page? Yeah, there's no way we keep hold of that. But so far... It looks like we're at least having shots. And already Atletico winning, which is good. I just want to see us actually have a goal threat at times. And I feel like we will have goal threats. That's poor. Oh, he could have won that there, I feel like. He was so close to winning that ball. We're going to get FM. I don't know. Like, it was a big chance. Oh, Divine's now through. Oh, dear. Keeper's been a bit bad today. Hey, Sam. Welcome in. That's two shots for Bayern Munich and two goals. <laughs> They're doing it us to us. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, that's twice now. The keeper's just sort of stopped. That's unfortunate. It's nice football from Bayern, to be fair. Like, he comes out and then... Oh, that's a full-on FM thing. It happened to me yesterday as well. Two shots, two goals to Bayern. Disappointing, man. We've been all right so far. Keeper's having a bad day. Why is it with the Champions League and our keeper's just sort of not showing up? But, oh dear, that's poor. They're a very good side. Are they just going to score every shot on target? I reckon we're about due for a penalty as well. I feel like we're about to concede a penalty. Also, Dundalk not losing to Chelsea, by the way. It's half time nearly. Um, Can we talk about that? It's half time and Dundalk are not losing at Stamford Bridge. <laughs> what is going on? Like, they've been better than us, but we've not been that bad. Danko's had a poor day, though. Uh, actually, I'm, gonna I'm not going to touch it there. I'm actually going to get Danko off for Tortosa. I just, I wouldn't normally make a halftime sub like that, but he's been very bad, and I'm worrying that he's uh, going to do something silly. I wonder how long they can hang on for. Chat betting time. What minute? to Dundalk concede because they will lose this game and if they don't then big pogs but they will uh Bose also need to sort their shit out budget in the first season uh basically nothing I don't think our budget I don't think we really even had a budget in the first season essentially it was mostly freeze third season of the team recruitment don't know how to improve yeah that's a big tough one it's just you just have to aim for younger players that you can sign before they become big 
like targets for other sides and that's always a very difficult conundrum unfortunately uh we'll press silver they've lasted 63 minutes right what we're looking at for the bench all right diallo for espen just to freshen it up Hearts been poor too, actually, but then both the fullbacks have. Fuck it, I'm gonna put Prio Taser in. It's worth a hit. How did you make money if you didn't have any budget? Because the budget is the transfer budget, not your club's like money. Um the transfer budget was zero, I think. Oh hang on! Oh, there you go. Treaty one. Bayern Munich two. We're only 2-1 down against Bayern Munich at home. Thighs freeze has absolutely twatted that. Glorious. What a finish. We got a bit lucky there because this looks like the uh, legendary back pass assist there. Look, slide tackle assist. What about that? First time hit from Frozen Thighs. What a hit. Patience, exactly. You have to take it slow. Ah, oh, 64th minute. And of course, it's Alejandro Vulcan. But can we... Uh, yeah, free transfers, loans. Pretty much what you have to do. They scored yet. Yes, bows have scored. So the good Lord giveth and the good Lord taketh away. But that's fine. If Imagine if Dundalk found an equalizer, though. Can you imagine the scenes? Imagine if we found an equalizer. We're on a 3-0 down in their game now, which is excellent news. There's not really much we can do other than... Look at this. There's something here. Ah, oh, maybe not. Oh, good save. Cleared off the line. Hang on a minute. Uh, are you seriously saying that us with a four on two breakaway there it wasn't worthy of seeing a highlight for it disappointing we must have fluffed it with our bad passing oh Ron, I got on back honestly i think we've been a bit harshly done by to lose this match i think it's been a pretty even game in all honesty i think if we hadn't had that weird start with the two misses we could <gasps> wait he didn't touch the ball he made no contact with the ball. What? How is that not a penalty? We have VAR. It's the Champions League. Maybe he touched it on the way through. Let's give this an actual look. He just sides our player down and touches the ball in no way possible. All right. Wait. Hang on, what? Wait, is this going to get given? Wait, no replay? Why is there no replay? I'm so confused. You're right, it will be after the final whistle, won't it? I'm a little bit annoyed at that. I think we've been... What the f*** was that? So... This is... Ahmed was off. Ah, he is, yeah. Off the initial pass. Wow, what a crock of shit that game was. Ah. Uh, what I want to know is why didn't we have a penalty right before that? That's what I want to know. Because that was about as blatant as a penalty as you... The, the amount of times the game gives penalties for perfectly normal tackles. And yet, one where they actually don't make a normal tackle and don't win the ball, that's not a penalty. So we've been screwed out of a point there. But, on the plus side, we just gave Bayern Munich a fucking good game. Is, what, is my point. And that's good signs. Submit explanations. Um, how do you mean... I'll obviously yell at them there, but uh, 
Refs do make mistakes. Oh, yeah, of course they do. But we've got VAR. The only reason the referee mistakes were introduced is so that VAR had something to fix. Like, it's a blatant penalty. He's just... He's dived into the... Wow. 2-0 to Chelsea in the end. Uh, oh, the referee's average rating will be like a 9.2. They always are. Ref knew. Yeah, true. Now we have five freeze. He'd have smashed it. But at least our goal difference is better than Ron now. They got hammered. Was it 5-1? 4-1? That's a good sign for me. Showdown starts. Uh, I don't know what time it starts. At 7 o'clock is usually when showdown goes full bore. Um, full bore. You know what I mean? It like goes fully starts. It's Liverpool. So it actually is clip. It is. I don't mind if referees make mistakes so that in leagues that have VAR, so that they can be fixed by VAR. But we have VAR. Ergo, that shouldn't have been, that should have been a penalty, and we've just been not that we would have scored it. But um, uh, the draft was on Wednesday. Uh, I actually don't know what the it was under twenty fours in s like six different leagues. I think some pass keep winning, don't they? But I'm back in Tom. I want to see the Tom team win. That'd be hilarious. Uh, right, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. I want to see if they, uh, if Bose won. 2 0. Get in. So Bose won. Spurs only beat Aberdeen 1 0. The key thing is, though, I think Bose are going to get third in this group. But you never know what they'll do against Aberdeen. Maybe they could come second. Ah, okay. So 350 mil. Top 20. Under 24s in the top seven leagues. Okay, fair one, yeah. Team of Thompson and Lincoln. You'll have to see it. Uh, right, so that's coefficient. We'll, we'll get a little bump from that. 4.4 because of Bo's winning. But that's still decent work. That's what? 0.4 points just for them winning one game. And they could win a few more of those. Like, so we're, we're above Greece now, which is key. So, so far, just Czech Republic... Serbia and Denmark are ahead of us, but we've gained a spot, so we're only at a net loss of one, uh, of two right now. And we're very, very close to Belgium, amazingly, and not far behind Denmark either. So that's good. It's not too bad. Right, now let's look at this ref. How do we see the ref rating? I've forgotten. Do we, like, click the game like that? And Oh, yeah, of course, we're on the wrong day, aren't we? Could get... I don't know about could, but... Sh oh, they're Red Star. Come on. We had loads of bids for him, but the bids all fell through prior to the... Uh, Unknown. How could a referee be unknown when it's a Champions League group stage game? Sadibi, thank you very much for the follow. Why is the referee unknown? I, do I not have scouting knowledge of the referee? <laughs> so dumb. Uh, we did really well then against Bayern. I'm so pleased with the lads there. That's genuinely impressed me. And this is why I wanted to test the tactic against the big sides before we tried to make an alternate version. Regen ref. Yeah, but it should still show up, right? Referee's already gone into witness protection. <laughs> he knows the Treaty United Ultras are coming for... I mean, the guy's called Milton. Does he have the porno stash? No. Useless. We had to witness his refereeing. I quite like Alexander Lindbergh. It's a shame he won't talk to us at the moment, but there's a hell of a player in there for Bromby, for sure. And this guy, Mania, has come back through again, and he still looks pretty decent. Benjamin Burke is a cool name. It's the bloody... Do you know who it was, chat? I'll tell you who it was. It's always bloody them. I think, yeah, Mihov had a, a rare poor game, honestly. Exactly. That four and a half yellow potential is, is my bread and butter. When I see those, I tend not to turn them down. If we could get him. Why does Bart keep mouthing off about random players in our league? It's like, mate, have you got nothing better to do? You're not playing for Porto. He's, he's obviously not playing for Porto, by the way. Ackman. Show him pleasing pro. Yeah, he's a bit good, isn't he? I wonder how much development in terms of his actual attributes we've had since he joined us. Marking's up two. Positioning's up three. Concentration's up three. Lots of physical stuff, too. But his general progress has been pretty good so far. I like it. Plus, he's the most expensive player on the team. He's worth nearly 30 million. Weirdly, we don't ever get bids on him, though. Maybe it's just because he's so expensive. He's a cracking player, though. What a decision he was. Uh, ooh, is that Chinese? There's a couple of Chinese players, actually, in the SPO. In the Sao Paulo uh, youth ranks. 
Diaz is now happy to play. Good stuff. Hey, lockers. Yeah, he's having a lovely time, Bart. He doesn't have to play anymore. The only he plays for it's basically Netherlands, Villa, Porto in that order. That's Bart van Bruggen right now, and I'm here for it. Now we have a huge gap before any more um, Champions League. Weirdly, uh, let's get Pro Taser in for a bit. Might as well go and win the EA Sports Cup final, I guess. <laughs> you know, if we have to. Uh, although I wouldn't mind playing. Oh no, Danko probably needs a rest actually too. Right, cool. I I think we're onto something tactically today. We've lost obviously that game against Bayern, but that was Bayern, and it feels like there's something to it. If we didn't have such a rocky start in that game where they scored their first two shots of the game, oh, we, and even then we still should have got a point in that game. That penalty decision was stupid. Um. It makes me feel happy because I feel like Bayern are better than Atletico. And Atletico beat Ron 4 1. Lockers with the five bits. Thank you very much, Lockers. That is very nice of you. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Must be pretty early for you, right? Two good chances. That's what I mean. So it makes me think that maybe we were, if we weren't caught so cold in the early stages of that game, I don't know. I think we could maybe get a point off Atleti or maybe even win. I don't know. I think in the away games we'll struggle a bit more because they'll be even more aggressive. But provided we do a, a home and away on Star Rene, then it, it's all good. Because I don't see them taking any points off of Bayern or Atleti. So that's good. We'll take our third place. We'll go to the, the group stage of the... Uh, sorry, the knockouts of the, comp the Europa League. Hopefully not draw Man United this time. Try to progress. Even if we went to like quarterfinals or something, which is only like two rounds of knockout. And I think we'd be good enough for that. That would be huge, particularly with the potential for Bose to go quite far in Europe as well. As Diaz is in again, and he scores. Managed to win the Europe Champions League this season. No, no, we haven't. We're in the group stages for a start. It certainly wasn't a smashing. And all the balance of play, it was a very even game. It wasn't... We, we got a lot better in the second half, interestingly. I think one of, the one of the substitutions, I think, seemed to free us up a little bit. It's a lovely little pass there to knock that one through. 11 oh, right, of course. That's very late. Wow, that's like full-on... Wait, where are you, Lockers? <laughs> My brain's just got into meltdown. For some reason, I thought you were NA. Unless you are, and it's just like so far. You're in Guam, I bet. I knew it. I'll have a look at Espen Falconos in a second, actually. Because, uh... Oh, no, he's not in the team, is he? Because I dropped him. <laughs> I think this has been a very productive stream. At all, Wallet Treaty. You're right. Oh, no, that's not true. Actually, we do have one serious injury. Uh, weirdly, not to a first-teamer, but we do have a player with a broken leg, which is Fiddle Fay, the, um, the Senegalese striker I brought in that's actually getting better and better and better. Unfortunately, he broke his leg in training, so he's been out for, like, six months, which is a real shame because he's basically going to get John Okoro because of it. Uh, and it's a real mess because he is ridiculously good. And he reminds me of, like, he's basically Dia, but for the middle. He's got good finishing, and he's improving so much. Well, obviously, not at the moment. I think he one day could be a phenomenal striker, but we'll see how much it hurts him. Because obviously, you get like you get a lot of mental hits from injuries like a broken leg. The bravery sometimes takes an enormous hit. Oh dear! Own goal there from uh, from our goalkeeper. He's not had the best week. Praise his tackles lately. I'm afraid to honestly. I'm afraid he might storm out. That was amazing for those who missed it on Thursday's stream. I, um. Ahmed Ackman got sent off for using the force on a guy. I.e. pushed a player over who was like six feet away from him. <laughs> then, when I tried to yell at him after the game for getting sent off, he said that he had a perfect tackle... Uh, sorry, he said, have you seen my tackles completion? And we went and looked at it, and he'd made one tackle in the game. <laughs> but he had completed it, to be fair. It was just absolute jokes. Oh, what a ball from Alaku. Oh, my goodness, mate. Oh, just wide. Like, Ackman's good, but I don't want to go near him, just in case I piss him off. Also, we really should have given him that new contract when he wanted 41 grand a week, because now I forgot that he had that wage clause. So now he's on 40 grand a week on the same contract. <laughs> so we definitely should have given him the new deal. But that's on me. You live and learn. I know. What can I say? I'm a slave driver clip. I want the very best. He's already gone to the dark side. I saw that red lightsaber sticking out his shorts. Oh. This better be baking. 
Yeah. Nice. Sick. Uh, so he started off as an... Okay, yeah, this is a fun story, Hyde. So basically, when he came when he came through, when we saw him at Greuterfurt, he was an inverted winger on the left-hand side and had no other kind of... Wow. Like, positional roles. But we saw his tackling and went, this guy is a right wing-back. And so we've retrained him from scratch to play right wing-back. And he's done phenomenally because he's got such good attacking attributes, but he's got a bit of, like... He's got okay tackling and the rest of them can be trained alongside and they are, which is so good. He's easily one of the best players on the team now. <laughs> you never know, Anarith. I'm a sexy man. <laughs> How about that Kipre chap? Never heard of him, mate. Saw him at a bar once, though. 16 times. Also, since he's come back on loan from PSG, he has now started missing training again. But sadly, the game resets the counter on it. Which is such a shame. I was hoping he could get to 20. I'm still going to make a TikTok about the 16 missed uh, training sessions. Not all of them are even training sessions. Some of them are matches he's missed. 4-2. Looks like we would probably be on for another five-goal game. I mean, at the end of the day, we're going to get so much money out of that Kipre deal. Like, five million quid plus a 50% of the next sale fee clause. PSG don't know what kind of player they're getting. They're not going to be happy. Uh, I don't want to do that. I do want to do that, though. I didn't really structure this bench very well. Prio Taser doesn't seem to really like this new system. And I think it's because of that comes you to get ball roll. I would start as early as possible, RDI, honestly, because there's no reason not to. How are we going to get tickets to see Treaty? I think you could probably buy tickets on the door, but if not, I can have a word with the club. I think they might be able to help me out. He would fit in. He would, absolutely, yeah. And Diallo is having a lovely time in the Irish League. He's won Player of the Month in his first uh, first month here as well. He's finishing out his uh, career in having a nice time. That was a bit close to being a penalty as well. Oh, and there he is, continuing his nice time with the fifth goal of the match for Ahmed Diallo. Looks like we're going to win the cup again. Nice, and another five-goal haul. This team just has so many more goals in it now. It's great. It's like everything that I wanted to build out of a tactic is now just working. But one thing I've also noticed about this tactical style is that you seem to get the goals spread out loads across the whole team. Unless, like, Emmett's feeling cheeky, in which case he'll take them all for himself, but most of the time not. Six. Good. Uh, neutral stadium. I think so, yeah. Yeah, what, 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 Pog, you're coming up with all these problems. We don't need problems. We need solutions. Although, admittedly, you are, I suppose, at least providing the problems for which we then can create the solutions. Three assists for Thais Freeze today. Good signs. I think he's nearly up to 30 goals. He's nearly got 30 goals and nearly to a hotel. Well, we were going to do Airbnb, weren't we? Which I suppose is a hotel in many senses, but I'd rather just stay in a, an Airbnb than a hotel. Because you just get more freedom then. And it ends up being the same fucking price anyway. Sometimes cheaper. I quite like having self-contained spaces that you actually are in control of. For the most part, anyway. Plus, all the Airbnbs we've said in the past have been good. Be good whether you use a tent. Yeah, it could be. Man can't be contained. <laughs> I am in containable clip. You know me. I'm spilling over the sides. <laughs> Actually, in a way, I kind of am, but it's just my clothes and my belt. I'm spilling over the sides of that. Sleep in the car. Like yeah, I've got to rent a car, too, actually. Let's have a look into that. Nice Airbnb. Yeah, but the thing is, um, hotels will be more expensive and worse. <laughs> and I don't really know what, what the benefit is of that, really. Oh, go on. Slip it across. Emmett. Oh, it's 7-2 in the cup final. Emmett with another goal for the year. He's just a bit good, isn't he? We'll have no trouble getting tickets for Treaty M. I, I can talk to the club. If I'm sure they might at least vaguely know who I am by now, hopefully. Just a cheeky little 7-2 victory to finish things off. Take ages. Um, Have you got lots of leagues on? Or is the computer just slow? Because it could be those one of those two things, potentially. Although certain days do take a long time, randomly. Is that seven different goal scorers as well? Oh, no, it wasn't. M Milosevic got two. Double for us. Another, another. How many is that in a row now? No, to be fair, we didn't win it last year. Yes, yeah, so why I tend to keep my short lists short for the most part. And this other scouting thing I do tends to sort of just kind of function like a short list anyway. Small car, a giant SUV. Oh, for sure. you got to go. We're hiring a bus. 
I'm going to get Wassa to find us a bus like he was when we were in Africa. That's the dream. Cool. Uh, Kai Fine, why not? Get the Volvo. That also works. True. Okay, I'll leave that for there. Uh, let's see. So, all in all, today, tactically, I think this is obviously the stream today, but so far, the only games in which we've scored to, failed to score multiple goals, in fact, for the Dundalk game and then the Bayern Munich game, I'd say things are looking pretty good for us this year, considering three teams in Europe, two in the Champions League. It's about as good as it can get at this point, really. I, I think this today's got about as good as it could have possibly for me. The one exception would have been if we'd managed to get a draw off of Bayern and that referee hadn't been an absolute scumbag. But other than that, I'm super happy with that, to be fair. Right, I'm going to raid Sean because I see him there being all Sean-like. You are not. All, you can't just allow someone to be all Sean-like and not raid them. It's not allowed. I, I make the rules here and these are my rules. So, thank you so much for joining me today, friends. Uh, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Thank you for the resubs and the new subs as well. Always very appreciative of that. And also, of course, for the new followers. If you have enjoyed and you are new to my content, then hey, drop a follow. Follow me on other platforms too. I, I do stuff on YouTube too. Uh, and I will see you guys on Tuesday for the rest of this group stage, which could be make or break for Ireland in a way. And then we get to set ourselves up for that ridiculous transfer stream on Thursday. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you soon. Hold your gun. Capybara. Let's go right over to Shawnee Boy.